Hi guys, I hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Hi Double Tap and Prolly. Thank you both of you for the resubs. Both 15 month inning as well. Thank you. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. It says patch. Did, did 125 go live today? No. It always says patch in the title on Twitch, dude. It's just a link to the command so you can see what's in it. There's no new patch today. Still on experimental. Right, uh, bear with me one sec, guys. I'm just joining a server, hopefully. Hi, Goddess. Hello. Uh, hello, Piping Paul. Uh, JJ Burger. Hello. JJ says, smash that like button on YouTube. Do it or don't, guys. It's all good. I'll be here either way. <laughs> uh, hi, Adam. Uh, hello, Thomas, as well. Finishing up Clan Wars. Oh, Clan Wars, eh? Sounds like one of those made-up mobile games that you keep getting seeing videos to, but when you download the claim, it's the game, it's not what you see in the video. I'm sick of seeing adverts for mobile phone games. Like, like somebody that's clearly not a streamer going, Time to play a game that says nobody says exists, but here we are playing it, and then he plays it in the most dispassionate way. Oh, let's see if we can unlock, unlock that. Oh, no, I didn't do it. All right, let's, do, let's try for this then. Oh, I didn't. Oh. It's like the most cringe fucking advert I've seen in my life. I shouldn't swear this early in a stream. It'll get me... It's my, the most the cringe fudging advert I've ever seen in my life, it is. Uh, right, bear with me, guys. You can't see yet, but I want to keep it that way for now. I just want to suicide and get my right character. If I can. Keep on running, dude. Alright, there's a zombie there. It's only a word, yeah, but advertisers don't like the word, dude, that's why. Right? I, depending on the advert, you can see why they might not want to be associated with the F word, right? It's, it's advertising, dude. Right, now I've respawned. In a second, I'll put the overlay up. Yeah, I said I was leaving it up on purpose, Redline. Absolutely. Somebody was listening, weren't they, Redline, at least? <laughs> right, there we go. Let me turn the music off as well. Right, there we are. Right, okay, Alteria it is. Let's see how she goes. <sighs> Dubhole, thank you again. Uh, cheers for the 20 month inning. Okay, I enjoyed Chernerus yesterday. We had a bit of a bad run. It was really tough teaming up, right? Like it was really tough, like getting joined up with everybody else. Like we we seemed to be forever running back because we had loot and someone else didn't, or I died and I was running back. It was, it was tricky, but I still enjoyed it, and there was loads of action. So I may well do Chernerus again later, but for now we're going to do Ulterior. Have a life or two on that, and then maybe we'll switch later. The bigger the group, the harder it is to keep everyone in the same place. That's very true. L shaft. Well, I can only do it in certain, like, unique circumstances, and these are not they. <laughs> Who knows? And Redline, I'm going to have to unfollow you on Twitter, by the way. Nothing personal or anything, but everything I see that you reply to annoys me. <laughs> or everything you tweet annoys me as well. You tweet too much about current affairs, okay? Can you not? Can you not tweet about things you care about anymore? I don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm sick of seeing all, the, all this stuff, okay? <laughs> it's depressing. Straight up robbed that fellow. He had a stab, it was a stab fest, but we definitely did rob him. Right. Dutch Maestro, dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. You're very, very, very kind. Uh, Darth Fester, cheers for the support as well. That's a very long one, dude. Thank you for staying with us for that long with me. Cheers for the 94 months. Dutch Maestro, thank you very, very much for the gifted sub bomb, dude. Thank you. Right, I'm going to keep that. Gonna see how we go. 
So we know there's shots just up there, some kind of SMG, and I don't want to get any any part of that really, if I can avoid it. Dutch Maestro, dude, thank you. Cheers for the kind words. Right. Oh, there's a bridge there. Let's go this way. We'll go away from the shots. That's the castle. This is kind of a cool way to go. We'll go this way. See if we can get a little bit more loot at some of these houses that I've not looted, and then we'll head towards that castle, see what we get. <coughs> Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. I've had a really exciting morning this morning. I spent about somewhere between three and four hours trying to pay a tax bill. And in the end, I've had to give up. For now. It's not, it's not beaten yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start again on the quest to pay the bill that I owe tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Fucking hell. Uh, hi, Roy Bowman. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Prometheus, I tell you what, it's been riveting. I particularly like the bit where I walked into my bank and said, so you want to charge me for paying a bill and it's took me four hours to get this far. Uh, can I charge you my hourly rate for the last four hours? <laughs> she said no. <laughs> oh God, it's been painful. Obviously, there's there's lots of protections for fraud and things nowadays, but it seems like if I'm paying HMRC, like it's the government I'm trying to pay, and for my own protection, they won't let me spend my money on a on a bill. You know, it's like, it's just done my fucking nothing. I definitely feel like an old man shouting at a cloud today. Hey, Fessenden, how you doing? TRMZ Balloon. Dream Labs thing back up. I've lost it. There we go. There was more shots. Yeah, well, bank, banks definitely are quite keen for you to keep your money in there, but then not to use any of it. It is getting it is getting that way. I understand there's a lot of online fraud and people do get ripped off, but I've got every kind of, like factor and face recognition and fuck knows what else but oh god it's been infuriatingly frustrating it's 1am in Australia struth mate sorry I, you may have confused me for an Australian then but just to confirm I'm not one Y18 adds crying face lol. Dear. Yeah. Another regular viewer slides into the Twitch chat. <laughs> uh, Bobsy, thank you for the 15. Hi, Tope, you're right, dude. <sighs> I don't think we need that. Jambon, did you? Interesting. Uh, Oybeck, thank you for the new sub. Cheers for the support. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, cheers for subscribing, dude. Thank you. Tin dubs, yeah, I've been running ads for about 18 months on account of the fact that Twitch basically uh, structured the wages via streamers as such that you'd be dumb not to. Got you submit your self assessment in time, got a £100 bill, went, which I paid. Unbeknownst to me, they took £2 of that for some random thing, which led to me having to. Oh, fuck that, that sucks. Late payment fees, lovely. Oh, okay, I can go that way. Oh, 
Oh, dear me. Oh, way back. Well, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Appreciate it, dude. Um, I don't think I missed you, Bobsy, but just in case, thanks for the resub, dude. Pretty sure I caught you, but anyway, let me just make sure. I'm feeling a bit full. Have had a, I've had a dirty KFC for lunch, and obviously KFC has gluten, so I've had a glutolytic tablet. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have had it. It's salty as fuck, and nobody ever... The idea of KFC is much better than the actuality of it, right? But I, I've, I was so fucked off and so pissed, like, literally spent from 9 until 1 trying to sort out paying a fucking tax bill. And I was like, fuck this, I'm getting something bad for lunch. And that, that's just compounded my issues, I'd say. <laughs> Does anyone play official here in chat? Austin, I play official from time to time, but I do have some issues with cheaterers. What did I have from KFC? The mighty bucket for one. So it's just chimpkin. Just chimpkin, chimpkin, chimpkin. And a side of gravy. Sixty-nine piece bucket. Blech. I've truly never run into a cheater, but uh, well, I've I've died on my last four characters on experimental. Sorry, on official. I mean, feeling like an Aussie with that. It's truth, mate. There we go. Another Aussie accent. Bang on. Yeah, uh, the, my last four highly geared characters have all died to cheaters on official. Uh. It depends what gear you've got, but if you're running around with a DMR or a FAL or an AUG AX or an SVD, I tend to find that you die on official within about half an hour in extraordinarily strange circumstances. If you run around with an SKS or something, you, you might not get killed by a cheater for ages. Say the line. Oh, yeah. So go keep us bye! So I had my daily calories. Yeah, pretty much. There's a Popeyes in Leicester, is there? A cuck cuck. <laughs> I did not try experimental yet. Has it got? No, it seems okay. I I, I quite like experimental. The the suppressors, uh, the suppressors on zombies in military areas is quite a nice improvement. You know that they're, they're viable. You can actually use suppressors uh, in military bases. That's a kind of cool change. I like it a lot. Uh, you still have to be a bit careful, otherwise they aggro, but it's not like it was before. What, would you, what advice would you give someone who's wanting to stream with zero viewer base? How did you originally generate your first viewers in game that can sometimes look like a running sim? Lethal Bloke, uh, I made a video on YouTube, it's about 15 minutes long. Fuck me. That was pretty exciting. Do things like that is one thing you can do. <laughs> do things like that will help. But no, I, there's a video on my YouTube channel called The Honest Truth About Growing on Twitch. 15 minutes long. The Honest Truth About Growing on Twitch is contained within, dude. Uh, honestly, uh, rather than me try to re repeat it in a not as thorough way, have a look at that video and it'll tell you what you need to know. TLDR... Good luck unless you start doing YouTube. I don't think that guy was using headphones. Somehow. So we've got, got ourselves a Vepa. Bones. I can't get bones. I ain't got no... Uh, I ain't got no... Uh, noif. You can't get bones unless you've got a noif. To be fair, I didn't hear the other guy coming up until he until he was hitting me, but 
I was a bit more able to swing the gun. The honest truth, is there any kind of truth? Yes. There's, I just wanted to tell my truth. Which is not always the truth. It's When people say, I want to say my truth, it means they want to say their opinion. So yes, nowadays, there's the truth and there's, there's opinion that you're taking to be true. That There is a big difference nowadays, so up your bum. <laughs> Oh, getting to the middle of this is a bit of a bit of a ball ache. I'm going to have to go back the other way. So things seem to be running a little bit smoother today. I've got G-Sync working, and I've given up trying to make G-Sync cap my frames. I don't know why they're what I've done differently, but it's it's running better today. So I'm using G-Sync. And I've not got my frames limited in any way, and that seems to be working pretty well. It's feeling smooth. Uh, cheers for the support, guys, once again, uh, before just now. My character wants to tell his struth. Ah, good one. Struth, mate. <laughs> ah, dear me. Let's not get all philosophical, okay, Lars? No more philosophicalness. I don't, I'm not into the philosophicalness. <laughs> I'm aware of what I'm saying, by the way, but yeah, let's not, do let's not do philosophy. It's too early in the day. My brain can't handle it. Actually, there's not much point. We're not on experimental now. The baseball bat is a complete travesty. Let's fuck it off. I'm quite pleased about the blaze. Should we have that? 35 slots versus 30. No, I'll keep the one with the grenade slots, I think. <clears throat> Pixie Dust, thank you very much for the gifted subbing. Very, very kind. Cheers for the support. Thank you. Right, now I've got to run past all of those towers that I've already looted. I think we've looted four, so. And, uh. But yeah, Pixie Dust, thank you very much. Another, yeah, let's eat another can of tuna. Don't you limit the FPS via game options 1 to 3 FPS below your hertz. Truckers, I'm not doing that at the moment. No, G Sync used to do that for me. You're not meant to limit the frames if you're using G Sync, I believe, but like what used to happen is that I would my my refresh rate of my monitor is set to 120. And the reason for that is because my secondary monitor is 60, and if it's anything different to 120, it really starts fucking it up, and my monitor, my monitors don't play ball. So, while I'm streaming using the two monitors I have, the main one needs to be set to 120. And it used to be that I would use G-Sync, and it would just lock my frames with G-Sync at 120 in line with the refresh How's rate the of the monitor. Looking? But it now, it, now it ain't doing that. So. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, like, strictly speaking, you shouldn't do that with, with G-Sync Active. You should uh, should just let it fly and you get a smoother experience if you let the frames go higher. It doesn't mean my graphics card's working harder, and my graphics card's working very hard right now. It's uh, And it's a it's a good graphics card, of course, but it's it's streaming Daisy 1440 in the highest frames it can. It's streaming, or it's playing Daisy. It's also recording Daisy with Shadowplay. And it's streaming to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, separately. So it's doing quite a lot of encoding and all sorts, but that's why you get a 40 minute, I suppose. I have had a run with Holly Rex a long time ago. Well, yeah, it was a while ago, but we did have a run together. We've met each other randomly in game once or twice as well.
No, I didn't even use. I could have used this against the dude, couldn't I? I had this. Whether it would have been better than fisting or not, I don't really know. Not very good against Zets, that much I do know. I'm kind of hoping we might get ourselves a cheeky uh, tundra or a scope or something. There's too many hats. How's the map looking? Uh, there's still work being done on this map. There, I think John McLean's done the surface a fair, fairly well. But I believe there's some underground areas that he's in the process of adding. So there's extra things coming. But this map's pretty good. It's a smaller map. It's a PvP-focused map. But it is a lot of fun to play. I've been enjoying it loads. Another Vepa. That one's damaged. What's this one? Pristine. Right, let's leave the Vepa there then. No sense in moving it. Yeah, well, I, obviously I've got a G-Sync monitor, so I, I, in theory I shouldn't be capping my frames, but I could try capping them at like 118 and just running it that way, but I, I don't know if I need to or not. I tried playing yesterday. My monitor set to 120 hertz, and I set my frames to 118. Sorry, I set my frames to to 120 in Nvidia, but I got quite a lot of screen tearing. It was only for me; it didn't show on the stream, but I was getting screen tearing because I'd capped my frames. So maybe, uh, maybe not for me. Bowenin got a kill, but not when we were together. BFG, he got a kill with a blaze in Steroy, but he was apart. We met back up and uh, eventually Sauer left and we met back up and we started shooting at Gilly and then Berwinning was the first to die, unfortunately. Then me and Muller went running around. I got quite a few kills, mostly against lower geared players, but we got quite a few kills. Then we took out a little two-man squad between me and Muller. We got one each. Uh, and it was going pretty well and we were just going back down towards Berwinning's body and we got killed by some dude with like a, a suppressed gun that fired all the bullets in the server all at once. Every bullet everywhere all at once, I believe it was. It was good though, I enjoyed the day, it was good. Playing with four players wasn't too bad. I was expecting, like three others, like, I was expecting the Discord to be, be crazy, but it, it was alright, we, we did fine. Would have been nicer to get a bit more luck in, in running, but unfortunately it don't always go that way, you know. Sheesh, almost a year. My how time has just flown by. Thank you for the tier 4 entertainment. TRMZ love. Uh, I think you might be here bow winning, by the way. I see someone else saying hello to you. So hello to you, dude. Hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. Oh, bullet. Thank you. Cheers for the support. Lethal bloke, thank you as well. It's feeling pretty smooth today, I have to say. So that everything's feeling a lot better today, which is good. If you're using G-Sync, you should set your max refresh rate. Well, I've seen other comments suggesting you shouldn't do that, Sticky, but to each their own. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I've done a bit of reading up on it, and I've seen plenty of people saying you shouldn't cap your frames if you're using G-Sync, but uh, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just seeing I've seen other, other comments disagreeing with it. <clears throat> The trade-off being that if you if you'd cap your frames, obviously you're you're limiting your frames, right? But if you don't, uh, it can allow for a more fluid experience potentially. I'm not, I'm not again. I'll I'll try both over the course of a few days and see what I think. Today I'm trying not capped. Do I want that? I don't think I really do. Do I? I'll keep it for now. Yeah, I'll keep it for now. I suppose I'll bollocks. No, I won't. Fuck like that. Do you have a favourite general weapon? If I can get it, it would be the Org X. Yeah, if I can't get that... I don't know. The SKS is decent. The SKS is pretty good, but I'd, I'd probably rather... Uh, probably rather an Org X or... similar. It really depends, because for me, the general weapon is the one that doesn't have a scope, you know, like... 
I'd always like to have a Blaze or a Tundra or a Mosin or similar with a scope for longer range. And then I'd be looking to use my more general purpose gun at, without a scope. So the PU with a sorry, the PU on an SKS. I'd rather have a Mosin with the PU and then use an SKS for mid range without a scope, you know, like kind or short range. Antelope, I uh, I use wired headphones myself. I, I'm not much of a believer in using wireless stuff unless you absolutely need to, you know. Like like if you absolutely can't play DayZ without a wireless mouse, for example, because the wire just makes you want to hurl or something. Fair enough, but I'm a firm believer in uh, using a wire if at all possible because it's better. I don't really have a favourite map, Gravesy. I think the OG map through the history of the game is Chernerus, I suppose, but I don't really have a favourite as such. How did yesterday's adventure end? With some PvP, we got a few kills between myself and Muller, and then we got shot in the back by a dude. He killed us both. Well, he knocked me on con, and then he killed Muller afterwards, and then as I woke up, he threw a grenade that killed me. So my final death was uh, half to bullets, half to grenade, but mostly dead. Sauer got some crazy kills like through the day before before he died. Uh, after that, we kind of met up, and he got his DMR and whatnot back, DMR and M4. But then he then he kind of called it. But while he was alive, he got a load of kills. <laughs> What's better, the Org X is is better in my opinion, AJ Mark. <laughs> The, all the AKs are very good, but the Org X is my, is my favourite by a fair way. <sighs> the longest shot I've ever had in DayZ uh, was just over a thousand metres. I, it's an, it was on a part of Chernerus that no longer exists. It was from the very longest apartment away in Dubkey towards Triple Yellow as it was. In Chernerus, and it was it was about a thousand and fifty meters just under, about as far as you can shoot someone because beyond that players don't render. Uh, and it was so far that I had, I shot him, saw him fall, and then I had to move fo closer to confirm he was dead. I couldn't see him from that far away very easily, but it was I, unfortunately it was on Twitch, but it was never on uh, it was never on YouTube because there was nothing else that happened other than that one kill. So there's some kills at nine hundred meters or so on YouTube. Uh, but my longest ever kill is about as long as you can realistically kill someone because they won't render in beyond that. Yeah, the AKM has the drum mag, yeah. Bit dark, isn't it? I think I'm going to turn the gamma up. God, it rains a lot on this on this map. This map just rains fucking constantly. Favorite loot paths from the main spawns in Cherno. It's kind of imp I, I could spend an hour talking about loot routes from Cherno. <laughs> if you mean the whole of the map, like if you mean one from Berezino, one from Svetlo, and so on, dude, that, that's like a that's like an entire YouTube video. My favorite two loot routes are going from Cherno to Prison Island to Kamenkamili Base up round the back towards Mishkino tents via the summer camp and checking along the convoy spawns along the way. I kind of enjoy that loot. And the other one is more Berezino uh, checking for NBC loot, then to Kelm, then to Krasnostav and the northeast airfield for NBC loot, four civilian barracks north of Krasnostav, 
uh, and then depending on whether or what I'm looking for, I might either go towards the middle of the map and Green Mountain for hunting loot, and the summer camp, summer camp that's near Green Mountain, or I might go more towards uh, Troitsko military base, or Kamensk military base, whatever you call it. But it's, it's a bit of a complex thing because my loot routes aren't stuck. I, I don't play a set loot route. If I found a hunting scope at Kelm, summer camp, I would probably go looking for a hunting rifle and bullets. But if I don't find any hunting stuff, I might carry on looking for NBC, you know, like... There's no one way to sort of play, depending on what you found so far, affects which way you kind of go. It would be a cool YouTube video, but Amish Zed's done loads of loot route videos. There's... But I, there, there's lots and lots of other... Rad Plays, I think, has done some. There's loads of YouTube videos in terms of loot routes that you can do. There's loads on YouTube already, but the problem is that the meta changes, so it might be the meta right now to do a couple of loot routes like I just mentioned, but they've only just added the uh, they've only just added the convoys, you know, if I'd made that video six months ago, the convoys weren't in, then the loot route changes, and then next year they'll add something else, and then it'll change the meta again, so in other words, the if you're going to do loot route videos, you have to update them every three months, and that's the sort of thing that Wobo kind of gets involved in. I, I just play the game. I, I, like, you can see my loot routes by watching the streams, and we can talk on any given day about the loot route and taking and why. And I think you much more learn about the current state of the game from a stream than you will a YouTube video, personally. This feels really smooth today. I, uh, one thing I did do, which might have helped, I, uh, Wasted helped me some, so thanks Wasted. Make sure you follow Wasted on, uh, on Twitch, there's a link coming in the chat in a minute. Uh, hopefully. But yeah, I, uh, I changed my NVIDIA graphics drivers to the studio drivers this morning. So I'm on, like, a slightly more stable version rather than the game-ready drivers. Didn't help me with G-Sync, but it, it, it seems more stable anyway. Whatever whatever I've been pissing around with this morning seems to have helped. find myself a vest. How to increase the gamma for us but not change it for yourself? Birdie, it's just having an extra scene set up in OBS. So I have two scenes for streaming DayZ set up inside OBS. One with flat Gamma and one with uh, like a 25% increase on the like a filter for gamma. So it's just setting up the the stream itself differently so that one has increased gamma. Actually, do have some okay stuff. I was thinking I might need to loot some more. We've got kind of okay loot. I think we're just going to go this way a bit. I'm not going to go up to the red and white tower up there. I don't think we're going to go this way some more. Yeah, uh, Y18, I, I, I don't kind of allow talk about glitches and exploits in the chat because it's also providing tutorials on how to glitch and exploit. Dude, sorry. <clears throat> well, that, that's exactly what I, what I was just saying, Groundhog. It, it's much better to play and change what route you're going based on how you're finding it. You know, you, you, you can change your course based on how the loot is and what you found along the way, you know. Let me just catch these messages. My message sent me a few messages. Better.
Salvia, uh, Tarkov is a, a great game for the right person, but to me, Daisy's a lot more interesting. It's not to everyone, and Tarkov's a more popular game, you know, so Tarkov's got lots and lots of fans. But for me personally, Daisy's a much more fun game to play. Uh, Tarkov's much better in, in terms of PvP. If you want out and out PvP, Tarkov is probably the best. But there's many reasons to play a game. This feels way smoother. Almost at 100 million views on your YouTube channel. Well, I just need to get to 200 million views and maybe I'll get a million subscribers on YouTube. So far, it's roughly been that every 20 million views on YouTube, I gain about 100,000 subs on YouTube, right? So, whilst that may not bear out, I just need to, to, to more than double it and I might be somewhere close to a million subs. That That's one of my goals, really, is to try and get a million subs on YouTube. That would be amazing. Get the gold play button, then retire. PUBG is better than Tarkov for PvP. I don't know about that, dude. It's a subjective opinion, but depends what you want. Whether you want more arcade-style shooting or whether you want more tactical, you know. If you're more of a fan of, say, Armour 3 or something, then Tarkov is going to be a little bit more up your alley, you know. Like, PUBG is a bit more arcade -y. Depends what you want. Gene Diamond, if I try Project Zombie, it's more likely to be on stream, to be honest, but I don't anticipate it being anytime soon. Oh, that's good. I'm a few in a, like, if there's a few and it's easier for me, but if it's only one, then can't really be bothered. The knife I've got is like pretty fucked as well. can't retire on unsubbing. Well, I would imagine at the current rate, it's took me 10 years to get... Up. Well, it, it hasn't taken 10 years yet, but by the time I get to 10 years on YouTube, I will probably be at 500,000 subscribers. So, unless my rate of, in, of growth grows massively, it could take me another five, 5 to 8 years, I would suspect. So, <laughs> uh, I, I, there won't be any retirement anytime soon anyway, rest assured. I should think I'll be retired by by you guys in the audience rather than my choice. Why isn't Tarkov an eSport? I, I wasn't aware that that was the barometer for what made games good, to be honest. If that's what it is for you, then fair enough, but it isn't for me. I don't think PUBG as an eSport is particularly popular anymore, you know, and I think more people play Tarkov. Certainly if you look at Twitch views, there's more people watching Tarkov than there are PUBG. Uh, it, but popularity doesn't make anything any different anyway, you know. If you like PUBG, you're right, but there's no argument you can find to make more people like it over Tarkov. That's just what you think, right? It's not what everybody thinks. But Tarkov isn't really an eSport style uh, game. It's like y you get a handful of players in each in each round. It's not like a 99 players down to one game that's ready for an eSport. It's a game that involves, like on some maps, four, five, six players, like on Factory or something. How do you make an eSport on, e on Factory? You don't. It's not a team versus team type game like CSGO. It's an extraction shooter for single players. But it's not really ever likely to be an eSport. I quite like PUBG, but I, I don't think the, the PvP is better in PUBG.
You do know that PUBG and Daisy came from the same game, Endo. You don't know what you're talking about, dude. So Daisy came from Armor 2, and PUBG has absolutely nothing to do with Armor 2. The only vague relations between PUBG and Armor 2 is that Brendan Green, player unknown, made PUBG, and he also made an Armor 2 Battle Royale, but that doesn't mean they came from the same game in any way, shape or form. It means that a modder that modded something for Armor went on to make PUBG. That's all. They're not, does, they have no relation. Daisy uses the Armor 2 engine. PUBG uses the same engine as Fortnite. They're not at all related in any way. But Brendan Green, player unknown, he, he watched the Daisy Survivor games and was inspired by the Survivor games and one or two other things like the film Battle Royale to make a Battle Royale mode and the first one was Armour 2, then there was one on Armour 3, then he made H1Z1, then he made PUBG. Now he's making a different game with his own company. But none of those things affect Daisy in any way other than the initial inspiration for Armour 2 Battle Royale. That a dead zombie on the ground. We'll stealth these at the heli if I can. That's annoying. What a fucking crazily annoying thing that is. Like, let's just tell everyone what server I'm on. So uh, maybe I should have checked my scenario, uh, surroundings a bit. So I just got killed by the same gun as me, I think. I think he had the same gun exactly, but never mind. But yeah, PUBG and DayZ are not related in any way, and no, they didn't come from the same game. That's just an untruth, and you've got your facts wrong. I played the PUBG uh, early access weekends when it first came out before it was open before it was open to the regular players you could only get a key if you were a streamer and then some of your streamer viewers could get a key so you like you could as a streamer of the game you could give away keys to your audience to play it when it was free it definitely didn't come from Daisy <laughs> Daisy was a mod for Armor 2 originally and then it was made into a standalone game but that has no bearing on PUBG which is not made by Bohemia, has nothing to do with the creators of Armour or Daisy in any way, shape or form. It's more like their parents were friends before they were born. Not related. Rust is just its own game. No, he had endo, endomanadia. You, all your information is like third hand from some dude that told it you in the pub or something. It's all wrong. Player unknown is the is the gaming handle or the nickname of a guy called Brendan Green. Uh, he made a battle royale mod for Armor Two, which was based on Armor Two. That doesn't affect PUBG in any way. He made a battle royale mod for Armor Two. He made a battle royale mod for Armor Three. Then he made H1Z1. And then he left H1Z1 and made PUBG. But none of that makes PUBG anything to do with it. It was just a guy that made a mod, you know, like that, that doesn't make it any relation to Daisy at all. Other than the fact that his initial idea for Pub for Player Unknown's Battle Battle Royale was based off of a mod that he'd seen on Daisy, but it doesn't make it from Daisy. They're not not related in any way. That's like saying the guy that made this map, John McLean, whose real world name is Benny. If he goes on to make a game one day, it won't be inspired by or made by Daisy. He just cut his teeth making a map on Daisy. Doesn't mean that Daisy have anything to do with it. You just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just a man that like it's like saying like I don't know, like when I was younger I worked for Asda and now I'm streaming. So Asda are the reason I'm streaming, you know? That's what you're saying. It's just not the truth, is it, you know? When I was younger, I worked for Comet, and so they are responsible for me being a streamer today.
It's a bright light, isn't it? That sucks. That really sucks. I wish I'd uh, had a good look round. He was. He must have just been waiting to see me coming across, maybe. I don't know. It's not even a good analogy, that, because I worked for Comet and Asda, whereas Brendan Green didn't work for for DayZ. He just made made a mod, and that's all. It, it's not even a good example. I fucking hate that splash screen. I, I understand they want promotion for the server, but it's really not streamer friendly, is it? <laughs> it really isn't very friendly to... I know this this particular server is very good at supporting streamers with stream snipers and whatnot, but it's like a fucking own goal. <laughs> it really is. In fact, on that note, I'm changing servers. Fuck that. I'm not. I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to keep. Uh, I'm not going to keep like. I don't know. When any time the server restarts, it tells everybody what server I'm on. I just don't see the point. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do some more Alteria. I'm just going to play on another one for now. If we change to another map, I think I'll do uh, Chernarus because it was really fun yesterday. Uh, JR, thank you for gifting Owl out the support. Engrich, thank you very much for the 21. Uh, Regan, thank you for the bit. It's more like their parents were friends before they were born. Yeah. Anti, holy shit. <laughs> it's not an East Enders mix, no. <laughs> Right, let's, uh, let's suicide then, shall we? Uh, it's not raining on this one, which is nice. It will be soon enough, though. It seems to rain all the fucking time. Uh, we're right next to that same castle. I'd quite like to go back there, but I think we're going to need to uh, find a zombum or something. Oh, there's some there, look. Anthony Manzi, thank you very much for the for the sub on YouTube, as well as M and Todd Wodzinski, got Higgy, P Daddy, uh, Matthew, Matthew, uh, Matthew, and uh, Rap Batco. I don't know how to say that properly, but I tried, dude. Give me it. To the face. Redline, very nice. Doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't think I disagree with you on many things that you talk about. But the problem is that I try, I've become... Like, for example, let's say in another country there's a race. Let's say in, I don't know, Botswana there's a race between two people. And I don't want to know about that race because it doesn't really affect me in any way. And there's not much I can do about it, nor am I involved in that race in Botswana. The idea that I might keep getting updates about that race kind of depresses me because one of the two people in the race I really, really, really don't like. And so if I can just avoid it, given I can't have any impact on the outcome, it makes sense. So yeah, I, I just try not to see that particular race because otherwise it's just going to make my head sore it's a fictitious race Mayan Lansky it's a fictitious race in that circumstance that's just an analogy
What's my prediction for Liverpool? Uh, well, they were 2-1 up after the first leg. They're at Fulham this time, though, aren't they, I think? I, I, I'm not sure. It's going to be a tough game. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 0-0, one all, one nil. -nil, one -nil. Uh, I don't know who's playing. I kind of hope that the players coming back, like Sir Bosley and whatnot, don't play. But uh, Liverpool are on form at the moment. I think they'll get through, but I think it'll be tight. 1-0 to Liverpool. Robbo coming back might be pretty good because uh, he had a shoulder injury. I'm more concerned with people like Trent. If they come back just a touch soon, they could en end up out for longer. You know, like, uh, I think, Sub I forget what Sabozlai's injury was, but I think that was muscle related, wasn't it? You know, Rob Rob Robbo's is uh, shoulder. Uh, you would hope that, it, like, running and playing, unless he's unlucky, he's, in he's less, less likely to aggravate it more, but afternoon. I, I fear that so Bosley and Trent coming back sooner could be a problem. Hamstring, yeah, I thought Sir Bosley's was hamstring, but if you bring back a hamstring too soon, you know what fucking happens, right? And there's no way to test it as well. He oh, could be hey, running Grace. full pelt in training, well, you heard it here first, people. and then ten yep, minutes yep, in in a game, and he's fooked. <laughs> Mister Can a drink in the cabin? I thought I got it. Maybe there was another, but I'll just keep this one and move on with my day. It'll be all right. I missed a coke, did I? Oh, damn it. It's there for the next guy now, right? Pizza fracking, yeah. Liverpool have got some big games coming up. They've got Arsenal and Chelsea in the league. Not next, but coming up soon. Uh, like Liverpool Arsenal if Liverpool were to beat Arsenal it's, it's Anfield as well I think both are because we played them both away so far but if they were to beat uh, Arsenal it would uh, maybe give them a bit of a next to no chance in the league obviously if they lose then it's all all open exactly scary always thinking of others The loot is BS in this game. Please hold these. I don't think it is. It depends what game you want, dude. There's this game that was invented by DayZ called PUBG, where you can like it's like basically DayZ but better. Uh, we know this from a from an experienced viewer that was in it, uh, educating us just a little while ago. But if if you want easy loot and more action, then you should play PUBG. I, I like PUBG by the way, so I'm not I'm no I'm being a bit sarcastic, but. Daisy's a game where you, you kind of have to put a bit of time in, and when you're new to the game, the loot is hard. It's hard to find loot, it's hard not to die, because it's a survival game and not just a PvP game. But once you've got a little bit of experience in the game, you do find loot relatively have quickly. Day, you can get Eddie. geared really quite quick, and then the game changes and it becomes a lot more accelerated. But when you're new to the game, it, it takes a lot longer to get used to. You don't know the map. Like an experienced player can spawn in and know, know exactly where they are within about four seconds and know exactly what way to go and what way the best loot is and why and and they can get geared up in like an hour to 90 minutes whereas somebody new an hour to 90 minutes later might be starving to death. Oh, there's a well up here, we might as well go to it. Done alright with the two cans of food. Uh, Uncle, I use Shadow Play, which is NVIDIA. I use Shadow Play for recording. Or at least I normally do. I've, I've only just activated it. But yeah, I use Shadow Play. Hateful Angel, thank you for the bits. Alpha Wolf, thank you very, very much for the resub. Guild Star, thank you for the four months. Chainsaw, thank you for the gifted subs, dude. You're very, very kind, man. Thank you. I don't know how many wells there are on the map, but you can normally do okay. Daisy is a game that takes a bit of uh, nuance to get good at it, but that's part of the fun of it if you have the patience for that. If you don't, it might not be the right game, you know? That's not a bad thing, you know? Like, 
Fortnite's not the right game for me. Doesn't make it bad. Just means it's not for me. Uh, but yeah, I, it, it, one of the things that makes Daisy so fun is that you have to put in some time to get good at the game. And even when you are, you have to put in a little bit of time to get the loot that you're kind of looking for and building up a character. Like you, you put in a bit of time in to get to where you need to be. But then when you're having interactions and fights and such like, it means so much more because of the time you put in, you know? Like, in a game like PUBG, you spawn in, you check a few houses, you've got some kind of basic vest and a gun, and then you're having a fight and that's fun, it's, it's a fun game. But if you die, ten minutes later, you're back in collecting loot, having another fight, maybe five minutes later, you know? You can you can die in 99th spot in PUBG, find another lo lobby and be playing again in minutes and fighting again. Whereas in Daisy, it might be three to four hours, and then you're fighting, and when you die, you have to do that three to four hours again. Which means that you need more patience, but it mean it makes everything so much more meaningful as well. You don't just get to go, oh fuck, I died, let's have another go instantly. You have to put all that time and effort in to make it happen again. So it all matters a lot more, it's all a lot more heart racing. It's a lot more painful if you lose, it's a lot more joyful if you win. I quite like PUBG. I think it's a fun game. I did, I did enjoy it loads. I was a partnered PUBG streamer for a few years. I played it back in the day. I even had the, I even had the streamer douche coat. You know, I had the, the streamer douche coat and everything. Uh, but I haven't played it for a while, uh, because, it kind of lost its allure for me. Eh? Hi Cut Bait, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Captain Picard. Uh make it so dude. Thank you for the bits. Frankson, loot is BS. Yeah, there was a patch, I think it was 0.57, where loot didn't respawn after it was picked up. That was you a see patch. If they had updated the game to offer spicy chimkin dinner, not just regular Paul would still be streaming it on the daily. It wasn't 0.57, it was something like 0 0.53. 0 0.57 was the horrible one where there was a bug where you couldn't get killed unless it was a spinal, like a headshot. You could literally tank 30 stomach shots and not die. But that, if you had the bug. But I think it was like 5.3 or something like that, 5.2. But there was a patch on Experimental where if you picked something up, it just never respawned. And I remember playing once, this is before I was a streamer, so it would have been about 2014, late 2014, early mid, early to mid 2014 probably. Uh, I remember playing for 11 hours, and after 11 hours of surviving, I'd found a trumpet. And I'd only been able to survive by picking berries in bushes, uh, trying to eat apples and such. Like, on that particular experimental patch, the devs increased the calorific value of apples. Because nobody could survive. <laughs> it was impossible to survive uh, because there was literally no loot. It was crazy. Uh, I don't think I, there's a military base over there, but I don't think I really want to go to it. It's kind of. It's always looted. I'm going to go this way. This is running much smoother today. My entire rig is running better, so. Moose beans, interesting. Deer Isle is basically Die Hard 6 based on the Nakatomi Plaza incident and others. Uh, for newer players, what is going to be overall, overall better? Highly populated servers or less populated ones? Disagree. When I first started playing, I played on lower pop servers just to try and get a steer for the map. You might not want to do it for long. You've got to bite the bullet and get into a server where you could bump into players sooner rather than later. But let's say for the first 20 to 40 hours, I would personally probably play, if I was brand new to the game, I'd play very low pop servers and I would play to start getting the basics of how to loot, how to make bags, how to fish, how, how to get gear from zombies, how to deal with the zombies, uh, how to find my way from one town to the next, and so on, you know, just to get the navigation a little bit, the basics starting to come right, you know. 
and after that I would be looking to play kind of mid pop so you have a bit of a balance so then you're not playing necessarily on a full server but let's say it's Chernerus with 20 to 30 players you might bump into players and on a server like that you're more likely to get an interaction and maybe you'll find a teammate that will help you for the day and you can learn more quickly as well but you've also got that chance of dying and the edge of bumping into players because the edge of that really helps so it's a balance you know one thing that I would really implore people not to do is what I did at first but very quickly realized wasn't a good idea that being play on an official server that's empty gear up until you've got all the good gear and then switch to a full server you can still do that you can't server hop so you can't say gear up log out of the northwest airfield and then switch and still be there you'll end up back on the coast but you'll still have your gear so if you do that you're robbing yourself of all of the game because most of the best bits of the game happen along the journey you know like whilst you're trying to find loot whilst you're trying to get from a to b you bump into the players and the game happens, right? That's where the best of the game is, is the random stuff you weren't expecting, you know? The best of the game isn't when you go to a military base and there's players there and you were hoping there was. The best of the game is when you're trying to go somewhere, I don't know, you're going to Chilaya Palana from Svetlo and then somehow you get, like, held up by two players and, and, like, really crazy things can happen and maybe after they've been talking to you for a while they take pity on you and take, them on, take you under their wing and help you or maybe they kill you, whatever, but... The best of the game is when you weren't expecting it, rather than when you go somewhere that you think is a bottleneck and you'll probably get action. But yeah, I, uh, I remember for a time I, I was playing in a group and we used to we used to play together in a group and there'd be three or four of us and we'd gear up on an empty pop server and then we'd switch, sometimes in, the, in an airfield or sometimes in Berezino or something. We'd switch and find somewhere to defend like we'd maybe we used to log out in a in a mid-size apartment in Berezino and then we'd we'd PVP there until we died but what would happen is one would have to be covering the doorway some would snipe out and then we'd we'd be in there for 2 hours like doing fuck all gradually getting either kills or dying and it wasn't any fun and i very quickly realized that i don't know scrapping from one town to the next with a repeater and then getting a kill was worth way more than sitting in an apartment getting getting 10 kills. It was much, much more fun to do it situationally as and when it came up. That is a big town down there, that's good. Or when a guy empties an entire AK mag into you and, and misses and then asks you to team up with him. Exactly! <laughs> Have my prime, dude. Thanks for many hours of entertainment, T-R-M-Z-O-N-M-E. Effing, thank you very much for the support. Rubber Gorilla, thank you for the resub as well. Yeah. You see, if they updated the game to offer spicy chimkin dinner, not 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 just regular, Paul would still be streaming it on this day. <laughs> exactly. Spicy chimkin, he knows it. <laughs> One for sour. Uh, Captain Picard, thank you very much. Uh, Regan, thanks again. Sorry, I did see a zombie. That's the castle there. We could maybe try going that same route from here. That we just did. What's frustrating about that death we just had... There was a press vest, like, right next to me. I don't think I got the press vest on my body. But if I'd been wearing the press vest, I may well have tanked the rounds better and been able to shoot the fucker. <sighs> I've seen the super hard zombies uh, once or twice, dude, Winnie's. Deer Isle itself has zombies that take more than 20 plus... Well, 20 plus headshots with a gun, maybe, but Deer Isle has some hard zombies that take... Well, when they were at the hardest, it was like six to eight SKS shots to kill it. Uh, I've seen the, the mummy zombies during Halloween events and stuff in the past. So they've had them on all servers for a time, but I, I don't go on... I don't personally enjoy that kind of thing. You can tra trap them in doors and stuff. You can trap them in houses, but it's not really for me the, like, regularly playing Daisy. Maybe for, like, a Halloween event, but... Wetworks, thank you for the sub, dude. On YouTube, thank you for the follow. I 
I'm poorer. I don't think it's just zero. though. Those uh, stag zombies are actually meant for Deer Isle, as per John McLean. So it's possible, I suppose, some, some servers might turn them off, but it's John McLean that's, that's done those, so it's part of the map. It's meant to be, not just on zero. This feels way smoother today. Way smoother. Hide a great one, hope you're good. So my frames are still going down. Like the other day when I was playing, I was going going down to like 80 frames. Which might sound really high, but it was getting really, really jaggedy and horrible and like rubber bandy almost. But something was wrong, but now it's all smooth and lovely and the frames are still getting about the same level. But it's working smoothly like it should, so yeah, all is good. I can hear the shots, there's not much I can do, that's a mosin. I wonder if maybe we might just bypass the town now and go somewhere else. I was going to go to the PD. Maybe that's not an emotion. It might not be. looking this way is he? Oh he's coming this way now. <laughs> he's saying careful because there's a dude but <laughs> okay. two geared players on, on uh, police station sniping. Alright thanks dude. Two geared people, police station, 10 4. That's the police station right there. Now he came from in here, so he probably looted this hunting shot, but I'm still going to have a look. Now, one thing I probably have done here is come exactly where they maybe saw this guy running too, so they might come to me looking for the other guy, but. They do, they do. I've not exactly lost a lot so far, have I? Alright. I'm just going to try and pick up another little thing or two if we can, and then we're going to head towards that castle and get the fuck away from here. found on on like tables even at places like this like around here I found blazes and stuff but for whatever reason I don't feel like we're likely to get them today so was it a driver issue commander son I don't sorry not commander son commander I don't know I've pissed around with loads of stuff today I still haven't got it completely fixed it's not capping my frames like it was I can still manually cap my frames with Nvidia though if I want but it's just much smoother today I did uh, uninstall the game driver and I reinstalled the studio game driver, which is like the content creator one. So I'm on a slightly older driver now, but it hasn't fixed the problem I was trying to fix. It just feels more smooth now anyway. Great. Was that a magnum? It was on the fence. Don't waste your bullets. Hey, buddy. Are you, what hey, what buddy. do you want? What do you want? Looking for a man with a crossbow. We heard man making crossbow. Yeah, he was over that way. Yeah. I just seen him by the church. 
He said he was being oh, shot at by two people, little... but I'm no, not, not there. Us, mate. Can I have a look at your backpack, though? Yeah. Just a little look to see at it. I think oh, it, there's only a can of going. beans in it. Do you mind if I bandage? I am going to die otherwise. Bandage? Mind if I eat your beans? Well, if it means I don't die, then not really, no. I don't mind. All right, thank you very much. You can have your bag back. Thank you. All right, can I'm going to go... look at your, in your trousers? Yeah, sure. Oh, do you mind if my friend has your 9 mil in that magazine? No, everything I've got's on the ground. The only thing I can't do is drop my T-shirt because it's ruined. Oh, you can have a look inside it if you want, but... Yeah, let me have a look at your T-shirt. Oh, don't waste your bullets, dude. I ain't going to shoot. Uh, no, no. Can I have a look at your hood? What do you want? Your hood. You can't keep loot in the hood. No, I know, but I want to keep it. Okay. Can I pick my Thank stuff back up? Thank you very much. If I was... Yeah, yeah, carry on, man. Thank you. We're just going to take the uh, bullets in the 762. Because we're right. all out of ammo. I don't so blame thank you. Thank you very much, my guy. Thanks for not killing me. I'm going to run away. Hate you, bye. Still kept the best thing though. So fuck are you. <laughs> I wish I'd eaten those beans now, but never mind. At least I'm not dead. That's the main thing, right? Thank you very much for the three months. Uh, Wizard, Kaki, uh, Jake, and Kayoshi. Thank you for the follows. Right. Let's go this way. It's annoying, actually. I did eat the spaghetti, which is kind of good, but I wish I'd eaten those beans. It would probably have been better if I'd had them in my stomach rather than in my bag, it seems. Am I in Electro? Uh, I'm not even in the map Chernerus, so no. Uh, I normally put it in the title of the stream. We are on it today as well. well I'm on the map Alteria. They were pretty geared for where they are. Now, a lot of that stuff you can get in the town. Even the plate carriers, you can get it in the town. But you have to be pretty lucky. Just got to work, help someone fix a tyre on the way here. Now I'm all dirty. Well, GG to you. That's cool. I would be useless at that. If I had to change a wheel, like with a jack, like jack, jack the car up and change a wheel, I don't think my car's got a spare wheel. In fact, I know it hasn't. Uh, yeah, I know I could be wrong, actually. I'd have to fucking check, but I don't think it comes with a spare wheel. Uh, it's probably got run flats and you just try and take it somewhere, I suppose. I don't fucking know. But if I had that, I'd, I would be knackered. I'd, I'd have no clue. I'd, I'd probably just wait for a, wait for a, like a assistance van. It's the law that all cars have to have a spare tyre. It's not in the UK anymore, dude. That's not true. I think they can come with like other options to keep you going. Sometimes like a like a foam, a foam thing that like, makes your tyre able to drive until you can get it somewhere. But I don't think you have to have a spare tyre anymore. I guess the different countries might have different laws, but in the UK you, you have to have a, an option to keep you on the road. But it doesn't have to be a spare tyre. Good. We we'll use that one as a melee weapon for now. Morning fire. Uh, Blizzy, pleasey, thank you very much for coming in. Cheers for the resub. Good morning.
2022 Lexus RFT ride flat tyres, no spare. Yeah, I think that's quite common. I don't know what my car comes with, to be honest. It's not something I asked. I really should know, shouldn't I? But I don't know. Legacy, uh, you're not really meant to be able to see better at night, if I'm being honest, dude. That all you can do is set your monitor up correctly. If you try and do anything else, like using filters and whatnot, you'd probably be considered uh, exploiting or glitching or whatever you want to call it, dude. But your, your choice anyway. But the only thing you can really do is set your monitor up correctly. But if you're playing in a dark server and it's night time, it's meant to be dark. You can use light sources, you can make improvised light sources, you can get NVGs if you if you go to the right places. Exactly, VSA, you have to pay extra if you want a true spare tyre, and then it usually goes in the way somewhere, you know, like like in in my car underneath the like it's flat when you like the load space is flat to the to the back of the car, but you can pull something up and then there's more loading space underneath. You there's no space for a tire. Some servers are lighter than others, though, so if you play on, uh, just for example, if you play on a true vanilla server, like an official server, or if you play on Spaggy's vanilla server, because that's true vanilla as well, if you're on first person, it's going to be very dark, because that's the way the devs have intended it to be. However, if you're on day one, for example, and you play Chernerus, it doesn't use the really, really dark settings, it uses more like a third person type dark setting, so you can see better. So you've got choices. If you play on a server that's lighter, you can see better in the dark. But on the flip side, you can easy, you can be more easily killed because people can see you better in the dark as well, you know. Zero does have a true vanilla server now as well, you're right. I've been keeping an eye on that. I probably will play it at some point, to be honest. Uh, I do still play Spaggy servers from time to time as well, but I uh, I will keep an eye on that. True vanilla is kind of cool. It's a little bit challenging on the player pop at the moment. I think it will gradually get fuller. Chainsaw, I don't blame you. Blame you. Holy shit, dude. Had to blow out in the company van. No spare. No jack. Waited six hours for a tow truck. Was two hours from any service company. I made the company buy me a donut spare after that. Yeah, I don't blame you, dude. Uh, it sh the Deer Isle server did change IP, but it shouldn't be very hard to find them if you just search for the word zero, you know? Like, and obviously you can go to the Zero uh, Discord to confirm any details if you want, but I don't normally have any troubles uh, finding the servers. The only thing that sometimes happens is that uh, like there's someone pretending to be a second Zero, tour at second zero server for Alteria at the moment, I think it was. So there's someone trying to grift a few players with the name, but normally you can just use the launcher and search for Zero. We want to see Takistan. I don't think we want to see Takistan M3. I think you want to see Takistan. Trust me, there's more people that don't want to see it than do. And I'm one of them. So sorry. <laughs> no bueno. Uh, Takistan looks great. It just doesn't play very well for non-uber-modded Daisy. I have played Takistan this year briefly, but... And Zero added a Takistan server. I played it for a short while. It's not very popular now, you know. It... it it's not got the legs, Takistan, for a lightly modded Daisy. People just don't stick with it. Ow. Oh god, the alarm stream. 
The great beeping. My god, I'd forgotten about that. Two bullets. We just got shot at by two dudes. Yeah, it is fate, isn't it? What's worse is we actually got some decent PvP as that kind of happened as well. Uh, effing Torag, thank you very much for the three months, dude. Right, let's go this way for now. Is that the last of it? No, there's a bit more. Sapien, I don't blame you. I particularly like the bit where you said you told him to fold the wing wheels and and then stick it up, poke it up his hoop. I'd have thought that was a bit polite, you know. Open the doors and stick it up your ass backwards. I don't know why we don't have maps country oriented like Ireland, Australia, South America. They've tried a little bit, Skippy, but the simple reason is the assets that the game has, right? The assets for the game don't suit... Um, you, they, there's no buildings that look like Manchester. There's no buildings that look like UK houses or American houses or German houses. They all look like they do in the game, you know? Red house, green house, stilted house, yellow house, pink roof house and so on, you know? It's very hard to make a map that looks like Manchester and then fill it full of houses that don't exist in Manchester. You know, like, that's the problem. And, and there's not, there's not like an infinite supply of assets. You can only use what the game has. They don't come with a model of Greg's, no, can confirm. I don't think it's just about layout, Mylin. I like Deral is made made on based on Maine, but that doesn't mean it really looks like Maine. You know, like like this map is based on an island in Greece. The buildings don't look like Greece, do they? Uh, it's really hard to make an authentically designed map that's like really going to remind you of Manchester because there's no Manchester-like buildings. There's no cars that you can like put up on bricks and stuff so that, that you, it's clearly had, had the wheels stolen and stuff you know there's no like dilapidated football stadium that where formerly great things used to happen in the 90s sorry man you fans I couldn't resist okay <laughs> uh, there's a corky bars on by And obviously the noughties and the 2010s. Let's not take away too much of the, the glory years, okay? But it's tricky, you know? Like, I remember Sumrak talking a little bit about why they can't just make a map in another area completely. Why Livonia is where it is and it's not somewhere else. And his answer was basically what I just said. Livonia is basically set in a, in a kind of area... It's, the, the language is Polish. But it's all set around the same kind of area as uh, Chernerus because all of the assets they've got to work with are there. You know, they, that's it. That, that's what they've got to work with. And so that's what they have. They can't just make a new map from the ground up because the cars don't work, the vehicles don't work, the gun mix wouldn't work. And like, If they did all of those things, they'd be making a new game. Here's hoping they are going to make a new game one day. Kind of pleased with the knife. I might make myself some crossbow bolts now. We've got a few knives. Seem to be going around and around quite a lot today. When am I going to stream Livonia again? Uh, it depends really, dude. It's kind of hard. Like when I started this stream at 2pm, the only full server on Livonia would have been an official server and that's going to be tricky to play. And even that might not have been full, but like day one Livonia gets full every day, but not until later in the day, or at least I think it does. But a full pop Livonia server that's lightly modded doesn't exist when I'm live, necessarily. Tiny Cat, well we might see some of that at some point. Maybe that's what the announcement is going to be, but we're not going to get those yet, I don't think. I doubt I doubt Daisy's going to get too many Reforger assets until Armour 4's released, because 
if Daisy was seeing those things before Armour was, I should Time think it would be like her. an own goal, have you know? Have you seen anyone menacing? No, I don't have any medicine. Video. Do you remember which one it was? I can't remember which video that was, dude. I remember that question. Menacing, menacing. I remember the question, but I don't remember the video. I'd love Daisy 2, if there ever is one, to have like a an updated version of Cherneris Doc, yeah. If there is a Daisy 2 one day, I'd love it to have like a like a completely remodeled Cherneris. I think that would be cool, yeah. Not as the main map, but as like as a secondary like extra, you know. If if there's a new Daisy and it happened to come with uh a brand new map from the ground up with all new assets and a remodeled version of Cherneris. I think that would be fun. It might have been Crazy Chris footprint, but I, I can't remember it. Lone Strider, thank you for the 19 months, dude. Cheers for the support, man. Sorry I can't answer your question, but I can't remember it. Man, I'm useless. One and only cut. Well, I've got three knives for now, so I'm, I'm not too worried about... I've got the bow knives just as a backup, but I think just to save a bit of time, I'm not going to bother. We back to the start now. I don't think I looted it, so I've gone all the way round now. Yeah, so a couple of people in chat think it was Crazy Chris, dude. So that would be your first one to check. Lone Strider. Crazy Chris. What's today's plan? Andrew, there ain't much of a plan, dude. See how we go. Find some gear, get some action, maybe switch to Cherneris later, maybe not. I did not see the, that. He got shot. Unable to... That's a cool penalty if you can intentionally inflict it, isn't it? I saw a trailer for Argyle yesterday. Uh, Argyle is being made by the same people that make Kingsman and stuff. It looks kind of stupid, but maybe kind of good. Uh, the cast looks pretty decent. I kind of want to see it. I hope it's alright. I, I did see a trailer for it last year at the seminar and forgot. I saw a, a trailer for it, completely forgot all about it. But yeah, I quite like the look of that. It looks great. The basic premise is that a lady writes a book about a spy, but it's too close to the truth and then a load of bad people start tracing her because she's basically predicted an actual real world spy type situation. Kind of looks like a silly film that could be good. Matthew Vaughan. Yeah, Sam Rockwell is in it, and he's he's very good. Yeah, funnily enough, when I said the cast is very good, it was Sam Rockwell in particular I was thinking of, but I couldn't remember his fucking name. Damn you. Come on. The program, dude. 
Yeah, we really don't need to worry about bone knives, I don't think. I could maybe keep them for fishing just in case, but I don't. I definitely don't need to make any knives. That sounded like it ricocheted. Oh well, I don't know where that one went. Had a foul and a blue UN helmet in it. Uh, there's a video on my channel. That might be it. There's a video on my channel of exactly that picture, and it's called something like... The video's titled something like, Having a Foul but Making Friends Anyway, or something like that. That video's got a picture of a blue UN helmet in the thumbnail. And it's about 90 minutes to two hours long. It's unedited. That might be it. It's the one where me and this other dude, like, stop someone and then blow him up with a grenade. I remember that bit. On the wall past the picnic table. Really? Okay, I'll have a look in a minute. I think it's having a foul, but teaming up anyway, or something along those lines is the name of that video. Yeah, Bryce Dallas Howard is the writer, yeah. That's exactly the that's exactly the film, yeah. I think it looks kind of fun. And it's got uh, uh old matey in it that's in everything. Superman and Witcher Guy. That one. I don't see it on the wall. Ah, oh, there it is, look. With a, he does have an awful haircut, yeah. Henry Cavell is exactly who it is. But his, his hair does look a bit weird, doesn't it? I agree. I thought that. It's like not quite a flat top from the, from the early 90s, but nearly. And John Cena was in it as well, yeah. That's the name of the video, Tales from the Berg. Well done. Having a foul, but making new friends anyway. There we go. Poor. F.O. Yeah, good job, dude. I don't think John Cena's all that, you know. I don't mean like as an actor. I just mean he's not that big, you know. When you see him in films and stuff, I reckon I could take him. I think I could beat him in an arm wrestle. No worries. My my gamer my my weak gamer wrists are definitely up to an arm wrestle with John Cena. No bother. I I I'll, hey I'll piss him. Well. I'll shit him. I will. No worries. We've just added 50% more bullets to our uh, to our tally. As in one more. You ever see Batista's cage fight? Nope. Did you get Godzilla minus one? Never heard of her. Fuck. Shot in the back. Been a frustrating start today, hasn't it? Oh, look, we're right there. I think I'll have got shot from somebody that came from over here.
So now I've lost my PU scope. I probably will be able to get a blaze back, potentially, but... He probably came from here and he was following me around. I was just killed by that picnic table over there. can see somebody running. There's two players running across. I bet it's the fuckers that were... Uh, that held me up before. I got shot in the back. I fell forwards like I was shot in the back, but they, they were coming across from this side here. Maybe there's another player. Maybe they're chasing after somebody else. Oh no, they could have shot me from there because it wasn't that picnic table, I don't think. I think it was, I think it was a bit around the corner. Let's go and take him a savannah as well. Yeah, no, they were going around to loot me. I'm just going to go and talk to him anyway. They can kill me again. Hello. We both have two shots. Oh, hello. Hello. There. Oh, don't waste your bullets. Hey, You're hey, right. Sorry, no, I didn't no, know. You're cool. No, you're no, cool. no. I didn't know you're you cool. were there. Oh, dude, is there oh, somebody good. dead? Yeah. What happened? Yep. Oh, yeah. I need to say. Fell down. You murdered him. Well, fair yeah. enough. I'd say <laughs> fuck him. As long as you don't murder me, I'm alright with that. Do you mind if I check him for something? Yeah, Is that alright? Yeah, yeah sure. go for it. Alright, sure. thank you. Go for it. Oh, he's got sunglasses. I like did, sunglasses. Did, did you check this castle already? No, no, I just I just swam over. I saw you running and I thought, bloody hell, maybe you might know where to go. I don't really know where to go on this. Where's the well, good loot at? Well, the first 50 minutes on this map, so I don't know. You're doing all right. You seem to have I'll good leave. gear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But ambush one from time. So all right, well, I got me some new fight. trousers. So all right, well, thanks for not killing me. I'm going to go over that way. Take care. Well, uh, enjoy the day. Bye-bye. Bastards. There's no, there's no win in that fight. They've got my, they took the blaze and the tundra, so now I've got to make do with the savannah. Oh fuck, that sucks. There was no point telling them that they'd killed me. There was nothing to gain from it, right? So I might as well just take what I've got, take the savannah, and and go. So they've got my, uh, what did I have that's of worth keeping? They've got my uh, water tablets, which are kind of good, the chlorine tablets. They've got. Uh, yeah. The PU scope, they've got the blaze, and they've got the crossbow, and the bolts, and the, and the tundra as well. Fucker. Yeah, I did, uh, my, my story wasn't exactly checking out there. I didn't know you were here, but then I did. I just want them to waste time looting the castle is the thing, you know. Fuck them, I'm not, not, I'm not going to give them any extra head start, but yeah. You're right, I did roll back on my story somewhere. Well, I had to empty the savannah because the, the tundra only had one bullet. There's, you can't take off a gun, stay with a gun with one bullet. If I had, you're right though, if I'd accidentally done it or something and left the two bullets, that'd have been amazing. I'd have at least killed one of them before the other one had a go. Yeah, you're right. I, I, they didn't, uh, they didn't break my story, did they? That's the main thing. I can use those for knives. I, we're, we're, we're still better off than we would have been. My biggest issue is food now. But that shouldn't be too big of an issue. There's a well nearby. We just did this route before on the other server and then got killed at the helicopter crash site. So I, I can do this loot route fairly easily. I think we might go straight to where the well is first though. Rather than that house. 
I should have said you haven't got a can of beans I could, you can spare if you're only I'm fucking starving. That dead guy looks like he had a can. <laughs> I don't think I had the beans. The other the other dude stole them, didn't he? Oh, everything's so much smoother today. I'm very pleased about that. This was... My game was feeling almost fucking unplayable yesterday and the day before and the day before that. So whatever's gone on this morning has made it better. I have been getting bullied today, but that's the kind of story of Alteria, you know? Like, it's, a, it's very similar to Essica. You're going to have to have some lives and you're going to have to die a few times. And then you'll get a life where you get fully geared. Very nice. And then you make the most of it, you know? Like, it's exactly like Essica in that way. You're going to get owned a few times before you're the one doing the owning, and then you'll die and have to start again. <clears throat> right, I won't eat the tuna yet. I'll, I'm going to I'm going to fill up at the well, drink a few times, and then we'll eat the tuna. I don't need to fish, Doc. I know I can fish, but I don't need to fish. It's all good. Uh, new, new Joe. They had different guns. The the, the guy, one of the guys at the, that we bumped into that held me up had an SKS. Uh, definitely had an SKS. And the, the guy that killed, knocked me on con had a Magnum. They weren't the same dudes either. They, the guys that killed me had plate carriers and stuff, and they were not, and they didn't have those accents either because we heard them talk. But those were not the same players, and I don't think they had their loot either. Half of the guns that they had on their backs were the two guns that I just had on my character, right? But they would have killed me with a Tundra or similar. Uh, go. Could have asked them for bullets to kill him with. Yeah, I think that would be uh, would be a stretch, don't you? At least I didn't have a scope. If I'd lost a scope in that, they had a scope, but I didn't lose a scope, which makes me feel less bad. Jakey, thank you very much for the 11 months, dude. Thank you for the support, man. Very, very kind. Cheers for the resubscribing. Yeah, I lost a PU, but it won't fit on any of the guns I had, will it? Is the... It's okay. We can get another PU soon enough. Didn't quite fill that up, but I'm going to drink more anyway, so... carry on. So we could go up to Spikyville up there. Up that, that's that's a little military base, but I think we're not going to do that. We're going to kind of head that way. There isn't dirty water from Wales Bentley. The only dirty water that you can you, you need to worry about in the game, well water is clean. It, well water is considered clean in the game, so you can just drink it. Dirty water is when you find, if you fill up your water bottle or your canteen or whatever, at a river or a pond, that is considered dirty and you can get chlorine, sorry, you can get cholera from it. And the other water that's dirty is any water that you find in a bottle. So if, if I just loot a canteen in this building and it's half full of water, that's dirty. If I drink it, I'll get cholera. But well water is fine, so all you need to do is empty your canteen completely. If you fill it with fresh water from a well, you can just drink it. Uh, Mackie, first time here. Well, thank you. Cheers for coming in, dude. Appreciate it. Might as well take a green raincoat, I suppose.
What about water at farms? Any water that's not from a well is not clean. I don't really know what you mean by water at farms. Uh, you can't collect rainwater except for on some modded servers. There's one or two mods that allow you to do it. But uh, I guess that would be down to the servers. The last time I played on a server where you could collect rainwater, you could drink it. Which you could in real life. I guess it would be clean, wouldn't it? Benzie, I know that. I'm just answering the, the dude's question, right? You can obviously clean dirty water with chlorine tablets, but that wasn't what he asked. Did you just eat a dried bollock? No, I prefer a moist dude. If I'm going to eat a, a bollock, I prefer my bollocks moist. Not dried. I enjoyed yesterday, Substatica. It wasn't frustrating with a large group. I thought it was fine. <laughs> The only thing that was frustrating is that I couldn't stay with bow winning for long enough. I wanted to try and get a bit more of a run, but I still enjoyed the stream. It was good. We had loads of action. I enjoyed yesterday, actually. Enough that... Uh, I think because as a group, like me, Sarah and Muller play together so much, right? And bow winning was uh, fairly quiet. Probably quite nervous with all three of us in anyway, and on stream for all three of us streaming at the same time too, but... It just worked. I think it was fine. I, I think we could have had a better run in the game, but I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Why is that not a stealth attack? At least near the end, we myself and Muller got some decent PvP near the end as well, which kind of took the edge off a little bit too. We got some kills and stuff. That was kind of cool. Shadow, I'm not talking about a barrel. Uh, I'm talking about canteens and whatnot. I, I've never... Yeah, don't drink the water trough water. I've never done the base building and used a barrel for filling up water or anything. I've never done it because I don't do base building. So that's not... But it's not something you ever need to do. You can play the game without that. Has, uh, ruined my uh, ruined my knife, but it's okay. We don't really need it. You can fish in the water troughs. Yeah, I don't. You shouldn't be able to, should you? I bet they fix that at some point. You used to be able to fish in the sink in the mouse, but some rack fixed it. In an inside Athena three, there's a sink. You could fish in that at one point. This is so much nicer today. I'm eating a bit quick here. There's uh, oh, oh, what's that? Is that a motorbike? I think that's a motorbike. Oh, it's a quad. It's a quad that's missing all its wheels by the look of it. That sucks. What, I, I wonder if someone's hidden the wheels somewhere, because I don't think it spawns like that. No, I think it really has spawned like that. It's got only one wheel. That's completely pointless then. I may, That may be a negative look on it, but the idea that you're going to go around such a small map trying to find tyres for that... That's just no bueno. You're just not going to bother. You could get anywhere on the map before you found one one tire. Chances are. Hmm. 
How many hours do I have on DayZ? Crazily loads. 16,500, maybe more. Gin and Sofa, thank you for the bits. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, all the way from Virginia. Hope, you go, hope you're doing well, dude. That's crazy, really, thinking about it. In May, I'll have been a full-time streamer for eight years. Eight years. I think that's the longest I've ever done any job in my time since I left school. And I've done some jobs for quite a while, so eight years is the longest I've ever done any single job for. I've not got to eight years yet, though. It could all go tits up before I get there. You never know. Zombies, that zombie's got a plate carrier and a helmet. We'll have that fucker. Fucking jip. Right, I'm going for a piss while I think about what's just fucking happened. Right, be back in a sec.
and we're back. Data verification. Boo! Sofa, thank you again, dude. Hector Chavez, uh, cheers for the 32. Happy Shackiversary, dude. Thank you. <sighs> Wait till this song finishes. Sorry, dude. It never finishes, by the way. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. Please let me in. Little game, little game, let me in. Me, it worked. <laughs> it worked, it did. Well, there, there goes a fucking like bang goes an assault. Uh, sorry, a plate carrier and a helmet. That fuck sucks. Well, let's have a green hat instead. That'll be good. In theory, it should How still spawn. How about Has it been that long? Here's to 80 more, hopefully. How is Altaria treating you today? Uh, I've basically been getting shot in the back, left and right, dude. So it's not been treating me the best. Been shot in the back, shot in the side, shot in the front, shot every which way. Pretty much is how it's gone. This one time I got held up and didn't die. But that's the, that's the closest to something that was good that happened so far. They just took my things and I didn't die. Uh, Garrett, thank you very much for the very long resub, dude. Very, very kind. Uh, even just now, I was I was creeping up. I was about four meters from a, a military zombie with a plate carrier and a helmet. And then the server restarted. Now the zombies haven't respawned, and so I'm stuck here with no fucking zombies to loot. Happy New Year. Here's to 2024, and if we could arrange that reach around, that would be awesome. Reach around. Uh, Thanks much, Lee. I need to lose a bit of weight, otherwise your arms won't be long enough, I reckon. <laughs> or you, if it's the other way round, then definitely not. I've got Tyrannosaurus wrists. Uh, here's for the support, Bish. Thank you very much for the resub. Yeah, I know there's there's military loot that that tower decline, but it's not very good normally, and it's very often camped, so I don't go there very much. It's nearly always camped, and and there's not that much military loot. It's mostly civilian or industrial, and there's like an armor two barracks and a tiny bit more. But every time I've been there, it's been camped by players, so I normally don't bother. There's another military boot loot, not military area, not that far this way, which is not often camped, so I'm better off going there. Chainsaw, well, GG on that, dude. In fact, that, that is the shots at that camp. So we're definitely not going there. Zombies have spawned in now. Do I go back? If the zombies have spawned in, there should be milled zombies here. Hunting camps have more loot on this map. Too many different servers have got different loot economies at the moment. So, Karma Crew's got its loot economy set up one way. Zero's got it set another way. John McLean's got it set another way, who's the map creator. So, it's actually a bit hard to work out where the loot is. I've not found very much at the hunting camps on this particular server, for example, or the summer camp sheds. Most of the loots I've found has been good at, at most of the good loot has been from military bases on the whole. I did see it. Did see a military zombie. It's not what I wanted. There we go. Armor. Ah! <laughs> 
I think the one I had before was better condition, but this other one might be better condition. Have I just aggroed the other one? This is not good condition either, but I have got a pox in danger, I think. Hey dude, I'm here again. Thanks for the entertainment. Yeasty, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Thank you for the resub, dude. Thank you. Badly damaged, pristine. What's this one? Pristine as well. Cheers for the support, dude. Fides, I think it's Fides. Thank you very much for the bits. Wish we had these maps on console. Whole pool as well. Thank you. Unfortunately, I think you're never going to get the modded maps on console, but I do think there's going to be some kind of news. This is all speculation, but I feel like there's a new map coming to PC and console at some point soon, maybe. Maybe it might be the end of the year. I'm guessing. I don't know what's happening, but I feel like they've teased something in the last trailer on the 16th of December. We'll have to wait and see, but I think it's going to come at some point. I, d I kind of stashed the, the vest image, but I didn't take it far. But I did exactly that, dude. Doesn't really matter if I don't get it. Like, if I come back to here again, there'll be more zombies with plate carriers anyway, you know. But I did stash it as such. I said there might be an update soon, Substatica. I didn't mean the update for the game, but we might hear about it soon. Or it might be the end of the year. But I think it's possible they might tell us about it in the next two to three months. That's all guesswork. I've got nothing to go on there. But they might tell us about it in the first two to three months or even three to four or five months. Who knows? But telling us about it and then actually having it. Like they told us about Livonia way before Livonia came, for example. So they might tell us about it and then not let us have it for a while. They told us about Livonia in the spring and then it dropped in, like, November or something, for example. Repsol companies like to like to uh, tease stuff and intri like like titivate the player base a little and let them know that there's more stuff to come. But maybe they're not ready to announce it yet. That's not uncommon. It happens a lot. Like everybody was speculating about Grand Theft Auto for ages before they released a trailer, and even then the trailer like Grand Theft Auto isn't coming out till 2025, and they put a trailer out about four months ago. You know, for example, <laughs> it's not abnormal for companies to do shit like that. You know. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I was hoping for something, but I get nothing. I think I'll be dead before GTA 6 comes out and I'm 35. Well, that's a bit... Uh, an, uh, like, it's a little bit uh, unambitious, let's say. I think you'll be... Uh, You'll be alive and kicking for GTA 10, don't you worry, maybe. I think it's a sales gimmick, it's just common, isn't it? Like, keep a little interested. Like, for example... TRMZ titivating my player base for 22 months. Well, thank you very much, Chubazza. I'll titivate away, thank you. <laughs> like, the amount of hype that Dead Matter managed to create with some upda updates before the game... Same with Scum. Now, Scum is still going strong. It's still having updates. There's still Batman's something in Scum, so not sure there is for Dead Matter. You go, girl. Could ha -ha. be wrong, but Have I'm not sure. Like a full ghillie, and if so, how did it go? Keep on running, VKing. Uh, I'll come back to the question. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. Really, really appreciate it. Batman's, thank you very much for the tip. Ubaza, Yeasty, thank you very much. But 
like Scum sold a million copies in about two weeks when it first came out and it was because they got people really interested in it for about two years before it came out there were so many people signed up to the to the like early access like like supporting dead matter before there was any game because of some footage you know like of course it makes sense if you were going to release something you wouldn't just like i work on it in secret and then tell everybody when it was ready like you wouldn't do that i don't think i don't think you think be fucking stupid if you did anyway wouldn't you you know makes much more sense to to like titivate the player base a touch and then release build up some some extra interest No, they're not military zombies. I'm going to go and check this tower over there. Do I... Yeah, let's go and check this one. Uh, I have played Keep as a full ghillie a few times, have dude. You tried your hand at Vigor? Never played Vigor. I'm not really a console gamer. I've not <laughs> played much on console since 2014, to be honest. So, no. If I was going to play Vigor, I'd probably just play Tarkov, which is the... Wait, what the did kind I do? Of, did like, I do the it PC right, OG looter shooter you know like a escape kind of game i've played as a ghillie many times it never really suits me though because i don't stay still my most famous ghillie suit back in the day you didn't used to find them at heli sites you had to make them and i once spent seven or eight hours finding all of the burlap sacks and all of the things to make a ghillie suit from scratch because at the time that was the only way and i made the ghillie suit and then 10 minutes later got killed <laughs> That's the most famous time I ever had a ghillie suit. I spent seven hours making it and died as soon as I was wearing it. But yeah, I, ghillie suits and me don't suit. I've, I've used them from time to time over the years. But if you want to play as a ghillie, you've got to play really sedentary. You've got to stay in trees. You've got to not move around. And I, I don't do that. I move around. I don't have the patience to play all like static style. You're a big fan of titillation before release, Lee. I think I think I can I can understand. I can relate. Not finding a great deal in these towers, am I? There might be a dude at the top aiming at me based on the fact that the first two doors have been shut. Sorry, open. Every door's open so far, which makes me wonder if somebody's maybe here. Closed door. Should be okay unless there's somebody in it. Oh, fucking Vega. Marvellous. Thirty five slots, that's the size of the bag we already have. So 35 bollocks to that then. Right, the military base is there. That's a military base there. So we're going to go that way. We'll check a few houses on the way. Then we'll check check at the base. Does this server have Zed stealth kills? Yes, but as I came around the wall there, I aggroed a zombie and then had to kill him quick. But yeah, it does. Every I'm not aware of any server that doesn't have it. It's not easy to do unless you play really patiently, and I'm not a very patient dude. I tend to just run in. Vega is better than a sharp stick. Arguably it is. Maybe it's not. Remember the powers of the sticky stick back in the day. The sticky stick used to be OP. Right, what bullet are we putting a green one in? Yeah. I kind of want a green one, to be honest, because it's my only gun. 
Might as well use the green slug. Slightly more powerful. We'll use it as like like a sniper rifle, like Muller does. We're now sniping, official sniper. Uh, Bubble Star, thank you for the three months. Cheers for the support. Thank you. They've changed the recoil a little bit for the Vega on experimental. They've reduced the fire rate a little. And I think they've reduced the recoil a little bit too, but I don't think it's going to be a goer anyway. I'm not, not a huge fan. Shotguns are... I'd rather use the double barrel personally, I think. Green ones work at further away, Tofu, yeah. So this is rotten, but I can eat it. Uh, yeah, the green ones, like, if I fired at someone from here to there away, if I hit, it would really do damage to them. Whereas if you're using red shells from here to there, that you, would, you wouldn't hit, really. The, the spread's so great that the bullet, the shells... The red shells fire, like, eight little bits of bug shot, buck shot. And the spread at that range is such that you'd be hitting half the map. Alex, I've never done a Sega sniping run with a PSO. No, I've always met, been able to get a better gun than that. Never seen any need. There's probably been a few lives over the years where that's the only gun I've had. So I've used it because I had no choice. But that's that would be the end of that, really. How much longer to the stream? Too full? I don't know, dude. Every stream, pretty much, other than a Sunday... It's usually kind of six to eight hours. I normally try to do a 12-hour stream on a Monday. This week I didn't manage that, but normally I try to do a 12-hour on a Monday. Every other stream, six to eight. I've only been on just over two hours, so... for some bullets here. I'm, like 308 would be a distinct possibility here. And maybe a scope as well. We've got a savannah. Shit out of luck so far then. That sucks. Looks like we're not getting any 308 then. Bollocks. Or a scope. Backfire. Well, thanks for coming in. Cheers for tuning into the stream as well as the YouTubes, too. Thank you. Now, there's a little military base up ahead, but in this tree line up this way, there's, there's two or three hunting stands and summer camp sheds, or... Sorry, hunting stands or... Uh, feed shacks. I think we're going to have a quick look in those first before we go to the milli base. Like like this picnic table as well. They, they're all little chances for 308. Uh -huh. uh, Hells, you can eat a whole one of something rotten, but with the bigger ones like bell peppers and uh, zucchinis. You need to, if the stomach full symbol comes up, you need to stop and wait for it to disappear. But you can eat one rotten thing and you can just eat it. Oh, we've got a hunting stand up there. I'm pretty sure there's a feed shack in the trees over there. I went, went to one the other day, so we'll check that as well. We're gonna, I'm going to look, look in the houses because each one of these houses is a reasonable chance for a Mosin or something similar as well. Why only one? If you eat rotten fruit too quickly, Garrett, you get sick. It's rotten. It does make you ill. So if you eat two pieces of rotten fruit back to back, it makes you sick. You have to eat one and then wait like 20 minutes and then eat another, I believe. Will I go to the antenna up the hill? No, there was a big firefight up there. I haven't got a gun, really, that's any use. I'm not. The antenna's got a little, little tiny military base at it, but no. There's been loads of shots there, so I'm not desperate to go there. I've not got any gear at the moment, really. I've, I've got a good plate carrier. I think that shot was from there. But have no clue on how these resubscriptions work, lol. Yeah, I'm not going to the military base at that tower. 
while I've got no no real ability to properly defend myself. I'll just be suicided. Uh, well, thank you for resubbing, Trijin. Cheers for using using your resubscribing, dude. If you if you subscribe manually, like for money, not for Twitch Prime, then it's set to auto renew. You can unsubscribe though. If you go if you click into your subscriptions, you can set it so that it's not on auto renew, or you can leave it, or do whatever you want with it. So. Your choice, dude. You know, you can go into your subscriptions and change it however you see fit. I'm just going to keep the blaze because it uh, it's slightly more versatile. I've got no bullets for either, but with no scope. I much prefer the blaze over the uh, savannah, personally. There's another hunting stand up there, Hill. I'm going to try and go to that in a sec. Dave, uh, Daft Clark, thank you very much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Cheers for the gifted membership, dude. Thank you. Trijin, thank you very much for the support. Uh, cheers for the resub. And Patswit, thank you for the resub too. Where's the hunting stand I saw? Oh, there he is. He's hoping for some bullets. I used chlorine tablets to purify water, but I kept throwing up. You were probably already sick, Brandon. If you're sick when you eat or drink anything, you're already sick. So it's not that this... Like, if you get cholera already, and then you try to eat or drink, it, you throw up. So you must have already been sick. There's a gawky barzo on me! That's not what I wanted, really, but I guess we'll have to... <laughs> I'll have to keep it, and that's that's what we got. Raider, I, I'm playing at 1440p with uh, with no uh, resolution downscaling or no bit rate changes and such like, you know. So what I see natively when I'm playing is always better than even in the YouTube videos, you know. Can't help to feel partially responsible for the last 34 months. The rest is all on you, Paul. Cheers. Bumblebee, dude, thank you very much for the resub. Cheers for the support, man. Thank you. What's the best way to get... Well, well, different illnesses require different fixes, so it's not straightforward. But an awful lot of things can be fixed by vitamins. If you just take vitamin tablets, don't multi-stack multi them. If someone says that you can take a tetracycline and a vitamin, it doesn't make any difference. That's not true. Like, uh, if you've got vitamins and you're ill, for most illnesses, the vitamins will cure you. Not all, but a lot of them. So They don't really cure you, but they allow your immune system to be maxed and then the illness goes away on its own more quickly. But an awful lot of other illnesses are tetracycline antibiotics. So if you've got a cold or flu or if you've got cholera from drinking dirty water, antibiotics is, a, is the best thing to have. There's no set amount you need, though. So sometimes if you've got... Say you get cholera... You might take two antibiotic tablets, one, then when the pill goes, take another one. And two might cure it. Another day, you might need eight. You might need eight pills to cure it. So sometimes if you say find five pills, it's not quite enough to cure your illness. It just doesn't go away. So there is a bit of an element of luck to it. But most illnesses are tetracycline or vitamins. If you've eaten like uh, burnt food or you've eaten raw food, then you need, uh, color you need chlorine tablets. I'll start again. You need charcoal tablets. If you happen to have, uh, like, eaten any food with bloody hands, likewise, you need charcoal tablets. Viking, you're right. Uh, if you've had the sickness a short amount of time, then you normally need less pills to get rid of it. If you've had it ages, it takes longer to get rid of it. There's no cure to Kuru. If you eat human meat, you've got it. Can't get rid of it. I've got a canteen. Don't need to keep the water.
Not sure about this Millie base. I was here the other day and I really didn't get very much military loot, but we kind of need to check it. We're, uh, we're getting into the grounds, the sort of realms of where geared players come to kill other geared players, and I look, I look pretty geared. I look pretty geared, apart from the fact that I don't have any bullets or any scopes. Or really anything worth shooting. Got a chambered fucking Zager and that's it. Other than laughing, does Kuru hurt you in any way? Yeah, it gives you like a nervous twitch which affects your aim. So uh, if you've got Kuru, you're kind of almost better off with a shotgun than anything else. But like roughly every three or, three or so seconds, you get like this massive twitch in your scope. So as you aim down sight, you might be just about to fire and then you get this massive nervous twitch that sort of like jogs your screen and then you... You'll miss your shot, so it really does have a massive negative impact on your ability to shoot. GS man, no worries. Thanks for coming in. We got some decent action near the end of the stream. It was all right. A bit of a shame Bowening uh, parted ways when he did, but it was pretty good near the end. Uh, is this is it the PC or the stream itself? What's special about 1440? It just looks good, dude. <laughs> uh, a lot of people... Uh, well, I was streaming in 1080p, so this is a question from YouTube. 1440 is still quite novel to me, but it's more just letting the audience know that the stream is of higher resolution. Like, If you stream good at 1080p afternoon. on YouTube, it H looks pretty gash. Map. It would be cool if the nervous twitch randomly made you pull the trigger too. Oh, I don't agree with that. That would be a fucking nightmare. I'm not going for the heli. It would be really a penalty, but it would suck. <laughs> Brishka, thank you for the gifted sub. Fumblebee and Patswood before that, thank you. Yeah, uh, 1440p just means the quality is much better in, in a nutshell. So it's just calling the stream... The, the stream is titled 1440p Livestream for two reasons. Well, more than two, but mainly two. One, to let the viewer know that the, the resolution, I've, I've now changed it to 1440, so the video quality is better. And then it lets anybody else know that as well, because a 1440p live stream looks way better than 1080 on YouTube. But more importantly than that, it tells the viewer that it's a live stream, because I, I obviously put videos out as well. So at the weekend, there'll be a YouTube video. So I title all the live streams as such, so the audience knows that it maybe isn't one they want to click if they only want the videos. Cheers, Brishka, dude. Thank you. Let's hope we get some loot. I went all that way just to check that house. It probably wasn't worth it, but... Could have been amazing. There was, yesterday, a number of military zombies around here. There probably will be today as well. Yeah, I really don't want to do the helicopter crash site because it'll be it'll be uh, close enough to some geared areas. The airfield's not far from here. The airfield's just over that hill and not far, so it will attract a lot of geared dudes. And I can't really entertain that right now. I was just going to say, it'd be nice to find another bandage. There's another bandage. How many players are online right now on the map? Backfire. The map is full, but I don't want to tell you the number of players. Because it would help somebody, who might not be you of course, work out what server I'm on. So I'm playing on a map where the server's full. But I don't want to say the number of players. Because then I'll be saying what map, what server I'm on. Look at that, plate carriers. Every, everyone's got a plate carrier it seems.
What's my social? Uh, my Twitter is the same name as my YouTube. I don't do Instagram or or Tickle Tockle. So the ones that you, there's a Running Man's Instagram and there's a Running Man's Tickle Tockle, but they're people pretending to me be to be me. They're not me. I only do Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. What's my social security number? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have a social security number in the UK. We have a national insurance number. But you can't do a great deal with that. So mine is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's my credit card number. I don't really use a credit card. Does It turns out, like I was always saying, this, this is highly exciting. Let's bring back the most boring thing I've talked about today. Even my debit card isn't much use because the fucking bank won't let you spend any of your own money, you know. It basically declines everything you try to do. Spend all year keeping your money in your bank. When you go to pay your yearly tax bill, oh, fuck off. <laughs> We're not letting you pay it. Jump through some hoops for a few days. The screen keeps freezing for me. KBB, I don't think anybody else is reporting any issues, so stop downloading all the hardcore porn on the other on the other line. Or maybe you might need to reduce the quality of touch. Maybe the bitrate's a bit high and it's not liking it. Or you could try turning off low latency mode if you're on that. Sometimes if you're on low latency mode, it can, it can cause freezes and things if it's not working well on your setup. KBB. <laughs> I'm having a terrible run in the game so far today, but I am I'm really enjoying playing today. Whether I keep dying or not, I don't care. Because I don't feel like I'm battling my own performance today. I, I don't mean my game performance. I mean the way the game is running. It's been horrible the last few days, but today it's all okay again. So good. What do I consider hardcore porn? I don't know. I'm not sure I really want to go into the minutiae of details. First person's perspective is hardcore, right? Not third person. Everybody knows that. <laughs> First person perspective, POV. <laughs> I'm not going to like start like exactly discussing it. I think I think that might be straying into a TOS territory if I My like I, I do security I, number is 696,969. Wow. I like the way she read that. Well done, robot lady. She knows numbers and everything. See what I mean about this base? It's been shit, hasn't it? Been absolutely dog turd. The loot. The best thing we got was a mag for I a fucking 1911. The hardcore TRMZ content. Hardcore TRMZ content, dude. You're in the right place. I, what's considered uh, hardcore and softcore in the UK, I guess, is mainly to do with whether things are heading south or whether things are very pert. Whether things are flaccid or whether things are not. I think that's about the most size of it, but I don't really... Who cares? If it's on Prawn Hub. Ugh. Oh, I've got like a you dream about my voice. Wink wink. 
have I dreamed about... Tony, for a minute I thought you meant your voice. I was like, I don't know what your voice sounds like. But you mean Robot Lady. Now, I don't dream of Robot Lady's voice. I dream of Robot Lady in a gimp suit, obviously. Hello, Paul. I'm here for all your, all your pleasuring requirements. What can I do for you today? What's that? You want me to make the bed and mow the lawn? I thought you'd want something a bit more sexual. No, thank you. <laughs> Just mow the lawn, please, Robot Lady. Maybe clean the car, give it a wax. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sight. She's just out there, admiring the view, minding her own beeswax. Let's kill her with the, with the Sega sniper, shall we? Have one last look at the beautiful view. But but I look alluring in a latex gimp suit. But 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 <laughs> I'm sure you do, robot lady, but the answer's no and that's that. Uh cheers for the sports APN dude, thank you. I feel like that's a bit skinny. It's not. I know I've got some food, but it's nice to get some more food. Like, food can be a bit scarce on this map, so it's nice to get up a little bit of like stuff in stock. You know, a bit of bit of uh, backup. Dissy Dre, powerful sniper that is. You seem to have turned into Yoda, Dissy Dre. Powerful sniper that is. <laughs> that was a bang on impression and don't anyone tell me otherwise, okay? <laughs> I wish I could do an impression. Just one impression other than that guy, that Dr. Claw from uh, Inspector Gadget. I can't do a single voice and I've never been able to do one. I can't even do accents. I can't do a Scottish accent. I can't do any accent. Yeah, I don't know. I think I could have done the laugh better myself, but here we are. My UK accent is pretty convincing. I'm not even sure it is, to be honest. Billy shortcomings, eh? Blimey. Swordfish, the name of the map is always in the title of the stream. Today we're on Alteria, but I always... I always have it in the title of the stream, so it'll always be there, dude. Digital, thank you very much for the Prime. Uh, cheers for the support. Rathamon, thank you. Captain Picard, thank you for the bits as well. Right, just up the other side of these trees where we're heading now, these houses. When I was there the other day, I found two Mosins. I, I, I found two Mosins. Double... Le Mosin Doubler, but for those that speak perfect French like me. Le Doubler. Yeah, let's see if we can find a uh, Doubler Mosin Paul Tabla right now. See how we go. Akimbo. Oh. So it's kind of a bit frustrating, really, because the military loot is all there. But I, I just don't, I don't want to go to a military base with a fucking single shot Sega. It doesn't seem to make any sense. We've got to, we've got to put in some stuff, put it in some time, like grift, grift the right shit. Those are, I've not been everywhere on the map, but I've got a bit of a feel for it. I've played it a number of times now, so I, I know where I am now. You think 2-1 Liverpool today, do you, Crick? I, I think it'll be a tight game today, but I'm hoping Liverpool will win it, obviously. It'll be an interesting final. Liverpool-Chelsea in the final. I know it's only the uh, the League Cup, but it would be good. It would be good to get there. Next two games are both Cup games, I think, aren't they? At, at weekend coming up. They, uh, Liverpool are on the telly against uh, Norwich as well. 
Is it Norwich that got through? I never actually checked. I presume it was Norwich. CR527. Hmm. I'm going to drop the Vega. Were pretty decent, yeah. I uh, the first leg was quite close, but and Liverpool over two legs should beat Fulham. But the first leg was tight. You just never know, you know. Like Fulham can win; they absolutely could. So I'm not not taking it for granted. Now I could go back and get the Sega as well. I think I will. Just gives me a bit more flex. Toves, yeah, I was just saying that. I, I, it's a shame. Like, Salah's obviously still going to be out for playing Chelsea and then Arsenal. I, I thought Arsenal was at home, but I think you're right. I thought they were at home to Arsenal, but I think you're correct and I was incorrect. But uh, Salah's still going to be out, but by the time we get to those two games, Chelsea and Arsenal, I suspect Andy Robertson, Trent and Sobozlai will all be fit again, which will be... Uh, Pretty useful. Yeah, D Darwin is a good player. I, I, the problem is, like I heard Michael Owen talking about him on the radio yesterday. I was listening to Talk Sport a little bit. A lot of people are still talking about him, about, about him as a prospect and how he could turn into this amazing player, but he's 25. I still think he's a brilliant player. He just needs to just slightly notch up his goal tally a little, you know. Like, But I, I think Darwin's a, Darwin Nunez is a very, very good player, but he doesn't have to score as many as Haaland likely will in the season, but I think he needs to score about 50% more than he does right now, you know. I think he's capable of it, but he's 25. When is that going to happen? Is it going to be now? Like, sort of 26 to 29 is pretty much peak, really, isn't it? He should be entering his peak. I did hear about Henderson, yeah. I, I, I don't think that's that big of a deal, really. I, I think he regretted going, you know, but... And obviously, the money was not as important to him as he thought it was, and clearly he regrets it, but... I don't think that's that seems to be such a big drama, but I don't think it is, you know. There's plenty of people that have joined a club and then regretted it afterwards. Plenty of people in the world that have started a job and then wished they'd stayed in their old company, you know. It's not it's not abnormal. The only thing that I don't uh, like about Henderson... I like Henderson. I think he's been a brilliant player for Liverpool, but he was a bit of a baby when he... Like, oh, they didn't fight for me to stay enough. Like, he's 33, I think, you know. Like, Klopp was just honest with him and said, you won't play so much, you know. We'd like you to stay, but we can't guarantee your place. And he didn't like that, so... But he acted like he was owed something, and he wasn't. Yeah, Darwin's goals and assist tally is pretty good, but that's the sort of thing that you reach for when he's not scoring enough goals, because he's got a lot of assists. But he needs to... He's a he's the focal point of the attack, you know. If Salah's not there, he's going to need to do more than assist. He's going to need to score a few more, you know. But I, I think he's a I think he's a very important player for Liverpool. I don't want to see him go or anything. I just want to see him finish a few more chances, like probably everybody does, you know. We ain't finding the Moses today, are we? Yeah, Wedders, he was prolific in Benfica, but like you say, a different sort of story. But it, it's just, he's not a poacher. He seems to be really good when he's got no time and he can just make a snapshot. But if he's got time, he seems to find a way to make it more difficult somehow, you know. But I think it can improve. I think he can improve, but we'll see.
I've, I probably should cook this deer, but I, I don't really want to fuck about with it, to be honest. I suppose we ought to cook it. I'll do that in a minute, maybe. Uh, Rod, uh, Rod Ussell, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the support. Cheers for the gifting, dude. Thank you. Dopamine, thank you for the new sub. Cheers for the support, dude. Sorry, it took me a little while to see it. Two Bit Crook, thank you for the resub. AFK Wife is yelling. Thank you for the six months. What a name, AFK Wife is yelling. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, who else have we got? Warmonger, thank you for using your Twitch Prime on my channel, dude. Thank you very much. Alex, I thought Klopp would stay, and I wanted him to. There was a lot of talk about the tricky sixth season or whatever it was, but Liverpool are not the team that can afford to do what Man City do. And, go, and I'm not. This is not me having a dig right now. The dig will come in a minute, probably. But like, there was a season where Man City needed fullbacks, and they just went out and spent crazy money and just bought the best they could. Literally, like money, no object. Let's spend 150 million on fullbacks, Magic kind of thing. You know? in it. Liverpool can't do that. You know, they're having to try and try and stop the attack getting old and stop the midfield getting old all at the same time and they have to nudge it that way so they chose to sign Nunes that season and they let let go of Salah they got Diaz in as his replacement before they let go of Salah sorry let go of uh, let go of uh, Sané sorry Mane Mane let me get the name right fuck's sake but they're having to nudge the team in that direction and then obviously things got accelerated because Fabinho and Henderson went, so they ended up signing four midfielders, but he's doing a pretty decent job of translating the team into the next era, past the one that won the league. You know, like I think he's doing a pretty decent job. He was getting some stick for the awkward sixth season, but the reality is that the players were getting to the point where they were going to have to start being changed. You can't keep the same team. I think he's made the right call so far. I think it, I think it was... A lot of people thought Mane going was a big mistake, but I think it was the right choice. Salah has been amazing ever since, and he's proven to be a, like one of Liverpool's all-time greats. But it's been a challenge for him to try and get the team right as he transitions. But he's doing pretty well. Signed the right players with the club in general, you know. Signing the players, so Bosley's been an amazing signing. McAllister was an absolute snip at the price he was. Uh, they seem to be doing well with the signings that are coming in. Even Endo started to turn out okay, you know. Do you think Mane left in time before turning not so good anymore? I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, If he'd stayed at Liverpool, he might have still been... Sometimes the system at the club really suits a player, and maybe Mane was as good as he was because of the system and the team he was playing in, you know? He might have slotted back in at Liverpool and played just as well again rather, after he'd struggled at Bayern, you know? But it's hard to know for sure. Uh... I don't know if Mane just instantly fell off a cliff or not. It's, I, you just never know, but... Certainly it looks like the right choice now, even though a lot of people were saying it wasn't the right choice at the time. <sighs> Diaz really played amazing when when he first signed and he's, he's gone a bit quiet lately but with everything that went on with his family you can almost see why you know we'll have to, like somebody i read a comment just now saying i'm hoping diaz will find his his old form and it would be good to see him playing a bit like he was uh the season he signed a bit more like that you know like he was liverpool's best player without doubt he's not right now Yeah, he had an injury as well. He missed most of last season and then he's had all the stuff with his family as well, hasn't he? So it's been a pretty tough time. I really don't have... The, I, the Mosin's very good. I'm quite pleased to have found the Mosin. But I, I don't have a scope. I'm, I'm in a bit of a tricky scenario. With it. Uh, Rockets, dude, I hope you're on your mend. You fell over at work and you're all bruised up, dude. Well, mind how you go. Hashtag where there's a blame, there's a claim or some shit. 
M4, you, you can't play Alteria on the official tab, dude. You, official is only for Chernarus and Livonia. Every other map is community. Uh, Yakati, thank you for the gifted subs, dude. A Ajvar, thank you for the resub. Uh, uh, very kind. Zach, thank you for the new sub. Cheers for using your Prime on my channel, dude. Thank you very much. Not sure I really want to loot this town, but I would imagine this town's going to have a shitload of good loot. Seen some podcasters suggesting Salah should now be considered a bigger club legend than Salah. Uh, not sure. It's very hard for somebody that's been signed rather than come through the ranks to ever be quite such a big club legend, you know. Uh, Salah is an all-time great without a shadow of a doubt and he's, he's on a par with people like Suarez and, and others without a shadow of a doubt. But homegrown players that come through the ranks that end up staying for pretty much their whole career... I, I find that hard to compare with, really. Gerard played for so much more time. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to quantify that myself. I can see the argument in, in terms of just ability, but they're, they're different players in different positions, aren't they? You know, that's an SKS. I can get a scope, I can use that as a bottle suppressor to make a bottle suppressor. Trent could be a club legend, yeah. He could be. He's had his naysayers, but now he's playing a little bit more advanced. It seems to be working, you know, but the other thing is that Trent is a bit of a luxury when your team isn't playing very well, and Trent was being noticed in that regard because Van Dyke wasn't in the form he's in now. He seems to be almost back to his best. Van Dijk was struggling. The whole team was struggling. Canate was injured. The defence was bad. And having somebody like uh, Trent in a defence that's playing badly as, as a whole, he's going to stand out way more as his defensive sort of side of things. But now they're now playing well as a unit and they can afford to have Trent being more advanced. He's not looking at a liability. He's looking like one of the key players to make 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 goals. Purely because of impact. I don't know, man, Spidey. Uh, Salah's been in, an immense player, but Gerrard has literally driven them. I know he slipped and then the they lost the league, which people bring up, but Gerrard won trophies for the whole team on his own. Like uh, the, the, the West Ham uh, FA Cup final, for example. It, like, he was on half a leg and he still scored, you know, like... Like, even Michael Owen... Uh, Michael Owen, back in the day, the heat, there was that the Michael Owen final against Arsenal at the Millennium Stadium. They won the FA Cup because of Michael Owen. You know, I guess Salah, you could argue, has done similar things, but I, I don't remember there being a Salah final. You know, he's had more of a consistency over an entire season, which is great, and he's been an amazing player. But like, there's been trophies that are in Liverpool's cabinet just because of Gerrard. And also, yeah, like you say, Mr. Barker, the players they were playing with, Gerard was not playing in a team with the same kind of standard as the uh, the players are now. 
And just look at that. Just look at that. If that final, if you look at the team sheet in the the Champions League final between AC Milan and Liverpool, that Liverpool won after being three 0 down. If you look at the team, just look at the players per player, like like Patrick Berger and Vladimir Smeitzer and stuff. From what I remember, you know, like compared to the the, the AC Milan team that was it at that time, it's absolutely staggering. start aggroing every zombie on the server. I'm a bit bored of this now. The loot has been pretty shite. I would I think I went before we leave, I'm just gonna find a house to cook this food in. Just so it's done, and then I think we're gonna go. I like this city as well or towns de, de Sanchez. I agree. I think this looks cool. So there's some like this in Livonia, but it seems really nicely done here, just the broken walls and the design overall. It does feel really nicely done. I think we're going to go for that house. It's fucking ruined. I'm standing there trying to light the bastard. For how long that's been ruined? Owen Farrell's leaving, is he? Blimey, there's been a lot of talk about whether it should be him or the other dude for forever and a day, Harry. That's interesting. Thoughts on player badges like in the Lights Out comp? Digital Bullet, I think it was really cool for an event. I would not like to see it in the game. I don't want to stri see streamer things. Like, Tarkov has got some things like uh, like the the moustache for Sequisha and the T for Sacriel and Smoke's got a balaclava and whatnot, you know? It's kind of okay in a game like Tarkov to some extent, but in a game like DayZ, it shouldn't have it, and I hope it doesn't. There'll be too much like, well, why has that person got something and that person hasn't, and why has that person got something that everybody uses and that person hasn't. I, just, I hope we never see that, and I don't think for a game like DayZ it would work either. I hope we don't get shit like that. We've got a stake in the coat. Yeah, good shout. Cereal there. <laughs> what would be my item in EFT? I don't know. I don't really play EFT, so I, I wouldn't. Something that fixes broken legs, maybe, but. I can't really remember with EFT what was my thing, I suppose.
David, I don't I don't say what server I'm on. It kind of spoils the stream if that dude. Most streamers don't. Dicker, yeah. I, I, some people were saying yesterday that the Detroit Lions are one of only two teams from the old school, like, American foosball that have never won a Super Bowl. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll I'll root for the Detroit Lions until they get predicted in the next round. But yeah, I'll, I'll root for the underdogs. I always do. Whoever's the underdog in the final is who I'll pick. I normally watch the Super Bowl only, and I don't watch the rest. So whoever's the underdog in the final is the one I'll root for. It's just more fun. Hi, Brian, Mc Brian McCraw. Hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. Right, so now I'm red. Try and move this stuff into the backpack where it has slightly less of an impact. And I'm still red, but hopefully not for long. There we go. Just after I asked my connection. Well, you can go back and listen, trucker, but I, I, I don't even remember what the question was now, dude. I think we need to kind of go this way, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't remember Acid Rain Imaginary Skills. You might be right. I didn't get to play some of the earlier tests because they were always at times when I couldn't play. But Austin, yeah, I know that, dude. It's not new news. The video's been taken down. It's, like, old news. Mr. Wipey Poo, what a name. Thank you very much for the Prime. Can Canto, uh, thank you very much for the Prime as well. Sorry it's took me a while to see it. Zach, thank you for the Prime as well. Let's G1 yay. Uh, easy. Thank you for the one year inning, dude. Cheers for the support, man. Thank you. Right, we got plenty of food. We got some water. We got some food. We're in a pretty good way. We've got the makings of a decent life here. I, I could do with uh, I could do with a scope for the Mosin, which we might get this way. Well, uh, yeah, uh, Voil or even maybe, I don't know. But yeah, the uh, only John McLean's official server has got the underground stuff yet. It's not been added to other servers, but I'm sure it'll be along at some point. He's kind of kind of tests it for a while first. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think I could be that, even if I have got a few bullets. King Arist. This is pretty close to where we had that kind of protracted firefight the other day. I killed like three players before they finally got me. If 5747 the live viewer count is not Artoctus, it's the uh, it's the sub count on, on Twitch. So that's my current active subscriber count on Twitch. J Powers, I used to quite like Football Manager a really long time ago, before Championship Manager even became a thing, but they're a bit too in-depth for me now. They're a bit too fucking serious. I used to like them when they were more simple rather than being so complicated, like, like you're having to choose whether the the cleaner that cleans the advertising hoardings uses a mop with a wooden handle or, I don't know, metal or something. You know, like It got a bit too much like you could play for three hours and you haven't even got to a game yet i used to like premier manager and premier manager 2 back in the day taking kidderminster Har harriers to the premier league thoughts on mudrick he's been an amazing player hasn't he 
truly, I, I didn't think he would turn out, like, he was great at Tottenham, but since he went to Real Madrid and, uh, like, not just for, for at, at that level, but also at, at international level, he's been a stunningly good player. Not quite the same now, but he's been great over the years. What Premier side do you support and why? Dutch Maestro. I support Liverpool. Uh, when I went to school, I went to a school in a place called Nelson in Lancashire. Now, uh, I want to say, I, I'm obviously I'm 38, so it would have been about 1989, 88, thereabouts. Or maybe it might have been actually more about 1981, 82, and I might be lying. I can't really remember. Like, it's a bit hazy for some reason, but... Uh, when I went to school in Nelson, hello, hello, continue the show. T -R -M -Z, love. I uh, every other boy. I didn't really know much about football until I started school. My dad didn't like football. I had no no clue at all until I started school. I wasn't quite five, from what I remember. And uh, every lad that was in the class either supported Man U or Liverpool, and that was it. And I just picked Liverpool. And at the time, I wouldn't have known much about them, but I liked their badge more, so I picked them. And uh, stuck with them ever since, mainly because for a lot of that time they kept winning everything. The, the biggest problem is, when I've been the most into football was when I was at school as an older kid. So like uh, like 12 to 18, let's say. Uh, and Liverpool, that was during the, a spell when Liverpool weren't very good. And like they had Nigel Clough as the manager. No, not true. They had Graham so Souness as the manager and they signed Nigel Clough as a player and John Scales and Phil Babb and they were absolutely shocking around that time and like the one season they finished eighth in the Premier League. Uh, they were just bad. They were really bad. <laughs> and so for most of the time where I was really, really into, into football, mixing with everybody else in the school that was massively into it, they were just horrendous. Is this map huge or just empty? It's neither of those things. It's small and full, but I'm trying to avoid players for now, dude. So I'm intentionally going to people. I'm, I'm hearing shots and not going towards them. I've been avoiding players, but we're about to be at a very quite populous area. This, this place up here, the edge of this base around this dam, is a really busy area for decent loot and geared players. So uh, every time I've been here, the last four times, I've either died or had a firefight. Most of the time I've died. So we're about to be somewhere where we might bump into players, but this map is really hard to get geared on. It's really hard to, to upgrade your gear and get decent gear, so I've been trying to get as much stuff as I can before I go to a military base. Ian Rush and John Barnes, I remember them, yeah. I remember being really sad when Ian Rush signed for Juventus. It absolutely, it made me absolutely crestfallen when he signed for Juve, and then the next season he came back, and I was like really happy. I remember that really well. Well, I don't remember it really well, but I remember how I felt. Gambling has ruined sports. I don't think it has, Jake. I don't think you it has. Up on the Paisley years. I didn't grow up on the Paisley years, I, I'm, I'm happy to say. I don't really remember much of uh, of Liverpool until Kenny Dalglish was in charge. So I rem I've got a Panini sticker book from 1986 when they, Liverpool did the double and I've got that sticker book all full, but I don't really have any memory of anything pre-Dalglish, to be honest. I will have been following him a little bit, but I can't remember it very well. What are your thoughts on all sports, rugby, soccer, football, basketball, hockey, all being scripted? 
I think that conspiracy theories to that level are uh, for the inanely stupid. That's what I think. Do I think it's possible that there's a few crooked people in sports fixing the odd little thing here and there? Possibly, but I don't think all of those sports are, sports are scripted. And if you do, then uh, I don't know. That That's okay. Everyone's free to their own opinion, but I very strongly disagree with it. went in there just now I think up the top Keep it in semi-auto. I can't quite work out how I've missed this guy. Just, he hasn't even got a gun out. I haven't got the fucking patience, I'm sorry to say it. Sorry, dude. I haven't got the patience. I ain't waiting for you to wake up and fuck me about. It's too dangerous of an area. I just, I can't be bothered. The last time I tried to wait for someone to wake up where we are now, I, it got me killed. I'm just not doing it. So bollocks for that. It's kind of cool we got the baby AK though, just in time to uh, to kill him. You know, that's kind of cool. See what he has.
He's not really very geared, the poor bastard. He's got some more bullets for me. I do have a Makarov mag, and I could probably take the, the Makarov. Oh, PU scope, we can maybe fix that for the Mosin. He's actually got quite a bit of stuff. Sour would be crestfallen. Look, I've ruined his, ruined his uh, battery. That shot wasn't a million miles away. Oh, I fucking hate this. We could potentially find a way to fix that, so... Well, it's a good come-up, nonetheless. Now, he's looted most of this. I would like the full-size AK that's outside. But it's damaged. Oh, will you shut the door, you fucking idiot? I say no to advert. Good afternoon, Paul. Nice kill with the baby act. Thunder, Cheers. thank you. Cheers for the support. Thank you, Thunder. Master new bad, bad flatulence, uh, scum cookie, minty. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. This is borderline unusable. I think I saw the plume of the... Got me fucking banged to rights here. I think my shot was close to him, but not close enough. It's a good gun. Whatever gun he's using is a good gun. I, I, I don't think I hit him, but I was close. I saw the plume of his... So that was purely to let him know I'm still up. Because it might just delay him from pushing me so I can bandage, basically. I think I've got to leave. stamina to get over there. Whoa! What the fuck? I don't know if I hit him or not. I was close.
Fucking hell, that's an SVD. No wonder he had me. And that just about summarizes the the way uh, this area can be. Like I just said, someone was saying, are you on an empty server or is the map massive? You go to the right place, you get action. Unfortunately, I went straight head first into a dude with a fucking SVD. Ah, oh, that sucks. That was a hard life to... Uh, that was a hard life to... Well, a hard fight to win in those circumstances. Maybe shouldn't have took the initial shot that knocked me uncon, but I, I was kind of not unhappy with my movement. I was just unlucky he did the same thing, you know? Shit happens. How long have we been on? We've been on three hours. I, I don't know if I might change to Chernerus, you know. I think I'm going to change to Chernerus. How did, he didn't need to know I was there, Ricky. He, just, he was just uh, flanking the same as I did, and I ran. I was running, and he was not running, so he had his gun raised, you know? It was, he could raise his gun quicker than I could, so it gave him that kind of half a second advantage. He didn't need to know I was there to get that kill. Um, I'm changing to Chernerus. I will be a new spawn, but if it's anything like yesterday, we should get a shitload of action again. When you think you're ready to begin Dear Isle's near impossible quest, I don't know, sweet. I've got to be honest, it's become so much of a bore lead that it, I, I'm less incentivized to do it. I will do it at some point, but I don't even know how to do it yet. I don't know the ins and outs of how to do it. Blanking was a 50-50 call. Well, the only the only way to, to guarantee an outcome there really is to run away, and I'm not going to do that. That's really dull. Unfortunately, we're about to get night time, but never mind. Oh, there we go. So I need to suicide. I don't want to be this lady. I want to be my dude. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you can't see. You're not missing anything. He's not a stream sniper, Kojo. Just because I flank and he flanks and then he shoots me, that doesn't make him a stream sniper, dude. He absolutely could have been expecting a, a flank that way and being prepared for it, you know? There's no, no evidence there that there's a stream sniper. Sometimes I'll say this feels a bit sus. There's nothing in that that feels a bit sus. The reality is, though, every time I die, ever, someone says it's a stream sniper in the chat always, you know? Uh, thanks for saying no to adverts, Thunder. Withhold, thanks for the 33 months. Uh, Minty Boy, Scum Cookie, Johnny, Feezy, thanks for the resubs. This isn't the best spawn in the world either. I, I don't really want Solnichi. It's dull as fuck. I think we'll take it, but Solnichi is such a dull spawn. Alex Hat, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. What do I mean by hardcore server? I don't remember using the term hardcore. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know, but I don't normally use the term hardcore. In the in the old sense of the, the, the game, Happy hump day. hardcore meant first person. Uh, nowadays, I guess hardcore maybe means more a bit like more like an intense server where you just die over and over again. Like it's a much harder server to get a start in. I don't normally use that terminology myself. Unless I'm talking more generally, just as in it's a bit hard or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get a different spin. I, I don't want Solnichi. It's so boring. The options from Sony Solnichi are so dull. Alex Hat, thank you again. Very, very kind dude. Fragrant Badger, happy hump day. This, uh, this seems better. Cherno, Cherno. I knew he said Chernerus then, but Cherno, much better. 
I'll take it. God, it's running so much better today. 183 frames looking into Cherno just then. Now 130 odd, but nonetheless, that's high. Three Valleys is dull as fuck, Glex. Yeah, Three Valleys and Solnichi are the two two spawns I dis dislike the most. The options are just kind of dull. The, the options for looting are not that exciting, I don't think. What did I change? I, uh, I fucked around with my NVIDIA settings a load this morning. But the main thing I did was I uh, I uninstalled the driver and reinstalled the studio driver. So they do like... A, the studio driver, is, they have an option to have uh, like a creator driver, which means that you're just getting a slightly more stable driver rather than the most up-to-date one. So I'm using the, cr the creator driver rather than the game-ready driver, which means it's just a slightly older version. It's just more steady. I've done a few little tweaks with my settings as well. I, I completely rechecked all of my settings with G-Sync and whatnot. Uh, it seems to be working pretty well so far. Wasted, how you doing, dude? So, it's not locking my frames at 120, but all of the things I fucked around with this morning, it's like butter again now. So, it's not locked my frames at 120, but I don't need it to do that, basically. It seems to be running just fine, so... My uh, my monitor refresh rate is set to 120, and my frames are just going to whatever they want to, so I'm seeing well into the high 180s and whatnot. And that's fine. There may have been two, di two guys, Grandpa. It's hard to know. There may have been two guys, but uh, it was only the dude with the SK SVD that killed me, I think. It doesn't matter. It, that's that's exactly how artillery goes, you know. You've got to keep keep buying tickets to win the to win the lottery, as it were. But the one trouble I had there, as such, is that I couldn't. Like, if I'd have been in that scenario from across the way there with a, a PU scope that wasn't fucked, it would have been a hell of a lot easier to to be in with a chance, you know. I'm shooting against possibly two players, both with better guns and better scopes, by the look of it. And I've got a Mosin and a scope that you can barely see out of. <laughs> and that's the best option I had. It, it It's just the way it goes, you know. Sometimes you get the good scope, sometimes you don't. Where can I buy amazing computers for the right price? Exclamation PC. Have a little look at, have a little look at what PC specialists do. What's the best daytime to post a video, in your opinion? Big cams. I've always done really well on the weekend. Uh, I, I personally have done well 3pm on a Sunday. But if I'm going to go in the week, I would personally choose about 6pm UK time. Which means you're going to hit uh, most of the evening prime time in the UK and Europe. And then after that... Oh, I did that wrong. After that, you're going to hit prime time in America land as well. So... By releasing at 6 p.m., you hit peak of Europe, your video's building up some viewership, and then you hit peak of America as well. So, weekday, 6 p.m. ish. Weekend, I would go either Saturday about 6 p.m. or Sunday about 3 p.m. That's UK times. Doesn't make mean I'm correct, but. Actually, if, you, if you're if you releasing videos, you can have a look at where your view base are. There's a little heat map of your own viewers. And you can see when you get the most views. And like Your own behaviour might change that heat map a little bit, but you can see when most of your viewers are online. And you can release your videos as per. Well, 5pm Friday is a possibility, but... I, I, I don't think the thing is to try a few different options, but the trouble is, it, it's hard to know for sure. 5 p.m. Friday kind of makes a bit of sense in that it, you're leading into the weekend, and then you've got the whole weekend when more people are going to be off school or college or uni or work or whatever. More people are watching, so 5 p.m. Friday might work. I've always done pretty well releasing on the Saturday. or the, uh, I've, My release schedule before I was streaming at the same time on YouTube was always Sunday 3 p.m. Sunday 3 p.m. worked really well for me. But uh, it doesn't work really well now because I'm streaming. 
Anyone know what tends to be more popular, Tissy or the Northwest Airfield? Now it's the airfield boosty, but on full servers, there's people there a lot on both. I think the thing that really matters, to be honest, if if you find a slot that you think works for you, you need to settle on it. So, I released videos at 3pm on a Sunday. I might have not hit every week, but I probably hit 45 out of 52 weeks of the year for many years, you know? <laughs> like, if you release on the same day at the same time and you do that metronomically, people will literally start looking for the video. Uh, and that really helps. I can't do that now, but... <laughs> It really does help if you can always hit the same time, always, every time. That's good. I can drink that and then I can eat some of this copiously large amounts of food that we found. We've certainly hit a good pocket of food so far. I enjoyed that run. We had no kind of good run on the loot and I kept getting shot in the back. At least that last death I was shot in the front with a live chance. But I enjoyed that run on Alteria. But like after many attempts and not quite getting the life I wanted, I've, I've had enough, you know. I'm ready for Chernerus. But I'll definitely do Alteria again probably tomorrow. I... Uh, Streaming on Twitch when the video goes out is a good idea, Gringo. I don't think streaming on YouTube at the same time is a good idea, so I don't know if you do that or not, but... Streaming on Twitch at the same time is okay, but if you're streaming on YouTube, it's counterproductive. Description still showing Alteria. Uh, the video title, I think, should have been changed, dude. It's just not updated on your side. If you have uh, if you refresh, it should fix it. How long have I been finding YouTube before I found the theme song? Not long, dude. Hardly any videos in. You can go back and find it relatively easy if you go back and... F I feel like it was inside my first 20 videos, so... Still in 2014, I would guess. But yeah, I, I, I started using that pretty early. I just really liked it and never never left, never stopped using it. <laughs> well, very nice. I, I'll use that line. That I'll use that fictitious line, Huxka. Uh, I wore my running man's t-shirt at the gym and people kept asking me where I got this amazing merch from. It was overwhelming. I had to take it off. <laughs> uh, I like that. Yeah, that's definitely true. 100% not made up. Euro did make that music, Dubs, yeah. Inspired, inspired by Goldeneye on the N64. How many hours does Twitch expect each week? Twitch don't expect any hours. You can... I think if you want to maintain your partnership, you probably have to do some hours, but... There's no requirement of hours from Twitch. Like, if I wanted to stream three times a week for five hours each stream, and do only 15 hours per week, I could. Uh, there's no... They don't employ me or anything. Like, like they get a share of the, the revenue that I generate. Uh... And I get a share of the ad revenue that they kind of generate with me, I guess. But, yeah, there's no minimum requirement, hours-wise. I think to maintain partnership, there may be a minimum amount of streams. But only if you're not holding down a certain sub count. It, you could stream once a month if you've got a thousand subs. Twitch ain't going to care. Sorry, guys, just one sec. I'm just alt-tabbed out. Just something I needed to check, actually, relating to Twitch. But...
can find the thing I'm looking for now. Oh, it won't be long. Sorry, guys. I just needed to find the... Uh... Sorry guys, I'm back. Happy anniversary, Paul. I don't suppose there is a discount code for PC specialist? M-A-N-Z. T-R-M-Z-G heart. Yeah, use the code M-A-N-Z. Thank God you asked, eh? <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Nobody knows when 124 is coming out, dude. Sometimes the devs will announce a little bit in advance when a patch is coming, but they haven't done that yet. And given that Experimental only dropped last week, it's probably a bit early. I, I wouldn't expect to hear when it's dropping for another couple of weeks yet, unless it's really ready. But I'd expect I'd expect it to come sometime in February. Uh, but when it will be, we don't know. They haven't announced it yet, and they don't normally very early. Uh, what's next? I guess I could uh, I could make a stone knife and cut up the chimpkin, but I don't really want to. Uh, I'll do it if we see a rock, and I remember. I'll probably forget. We had so much action around Starry and. Uh, all around that castle and whatnot. It was absolutely crazy yesterday. I, I'm Learn hopeful that we can we can do running. similar today. We'll be a bit different, Lone Wolf, but maybe we can play a little bit more passively and try and stay on the edge of stuff. But I'm not very good at playing a passive play style, but we could try. God, it is so much smoother. Pops what? Thank you. Cheers for coming in, dude. Appreciate it. Got myself a frozen pizza. Oh, you lucky, lucky. The one thing definitely with frozen pizzas everyone should be doing is slightly, uh, slightly adding to the toppings, you know? A little tiny bit more cheese, even if it's just cheddar. And adding a few extra things to taste, whatever, you know. I, I like to add boring things like uh, chopped up peppers and like bell peppers and even sweet corn. Yes, I know someone's going to say, what, sweet corn on the pizza? <laughs> but yeah, uh, nonetheless, stuff like that, I like that. NVIDIA Studio Drivers, Admiral, I don't think that's true. All the Studio Driver is, is a slightly older version of the driver that they're already using that's more stable, dude. They call it Studio, but all it means is that you're using a Creator Driver. It's literally the driver they used in December rather than the most up-to-date one now. It's just a more stable version of the driver that you... They don't give you the latest one just because a new game came out today. They give you the most stable one from a little while ago. Yeah. 
I don't think you're right in what you're saying, Admiral. I have a uh, 13900K, but I, I don't... I know I have a 4090 graphics card, but I don't think you're correct. The, the definition of what the creator driver is, or as it's called in the thing, the studio driver, is nothing to do with Quadro GPUs, and it's just a more stable version for people that are going to be uh, doing things like rendering or editing or streaming. Hey, with you, you're right, dude. keep looting. We are finding a lot of food. I, I probably don't need all this food, but better for me to have it than someone else, I suppose. Admiral Air Biscuit, I'm not going to argue with you, dude. If you go onto NVIDIA and read the description, it doesn't say anything about Quadro GPUs. It says it's a more stable version of the latest driver, uh, which is better if you're looking to do content creation. That's all. Go and read it. It's the, dive, it's the driver that people are using in mid-December. That's it. Not the one that came out a few days ago, pretty much. Anyway, I, it doesn't really matter because it's working way better, so I'm glad about that. Are these doors and bars ever going to get rooms? I doubt it, Bristow. They have opened up one or two things like that over the time, but uh, I shouldn't think it's too high a priority. It would be cool if they did, but uh, I, I'd be surprised if they opened up every door that's barred off. Admiral, go and read what it says. It purely says that the uh, the studio version is a more stable version of the current game-ready driver. That's it. Go and read it. I'm, I'm fed up. I've read it this morning and I've changed it accordingly. But it, I, I don't know why. Go and read it. And if you f find, me, find me a link and tweet it to me otherwise. But I've read it myself. Rather than tell me what you think you know. I read it this morning myself. And I've done it and it's worked. So I'm happy. One sec, guys. Just need to fix something on my second monitor. So what it says on... I'm, I'm not doing that. It says Studio Driver provides the best experience for creative apps. That's all it says. But it still works for my graphics card, and it's working better than yesterday's one. From NVIDIA website, if you are a content creator who prioritizes stability and quality for creative workflows, including video editing, animation, photography, graphic design, and live streamings, choose Studio Drivers. Thank you, Boosty. Exactly what I'm referring to. You can dry clothes really quickly, Pappy. Yeah, if you light a torch and then... St you don't even need to drop them. You can light a torch and stand next to it and it dries clothes pretty quick. Most of the time you don't really need to bother, but you can do. You can do that if you need to, yeah. Four chickens, holy shit. Uh, Popswat, thanks again. Steve knows you. Uh, happy anniversary, dude. Thank you very much. Cheers for the support as well. And Alex, happy before that. Thanks a lot, dude. <sighs> 
That's good news. I've, I've got a mag and I've got 100 bullets. That's very good. A shame it's my only gun, but it's still very good news. At least the sub worth something. Twitch in general is going downhill with all the hot tube junk, etc. Your stream only reason I use Twitch. Coxie, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the resub. I think they've changed some of their, their rules on what can be on the homepage. I don't know if they've got it right or not yet, but Twitch are trying to do things correctly, I think. You know, they've they've updated what they're gonna allow on the homepage in theory, so there's like if you just go to Twitch, there should never be gambling. And I'm not suggesting this is fixed yet, but there shouldn't be any hot tub streamers and whatnot on the homepage anymore. Uh, now, there may be people getting around it in various different ways right now, but that's the goal. They're trying to, they are trying to do better at that. I don't think Twitch are doing, they're doing a lot of things right. They're, they're doing some things not so well, but I think they are doing okay. And all of the same content that people are so upset that's on Twitch is also on Twitter. It's also on YouTube and some of it much worse, you know. There's properly hardcore porn on on Twitter if you if you look. There's clips of uh, like just like porn. But yeah, they are they are trying to uh, make changes. But the only difference is really that that it's a bit weird, isn't it? That YouTube is. Uh, YouTube's a search engine, but all of the same stuff's on YouTube. It just is, you know, type type licking ASMR or hot tub stream or hot tub whatever. It's all on YouTube. You just haven't found it, and fair enough. Licking ASMR. It's somebody licking a microphone and all sorts. Uh, Coxie, thank you very much for the four months. Cheers for the support. Leaf Sausage, thank you for the four months as well. I've got that favorited. I haven't, Mr. Merks, no, but I did. The studio driver is only for Atari. Oh, the shotty is a sniper, and Cherneris is a dead map. L-U-L. All of those facts, you bank. Just be careful about depositing them, because then the bank won't let you spend them later. Uh, I Jen. Well, thanks for coming in. I hope you're good. I don't think you're proving your point, dude. It literally says that people that are streaming should use the driver, Admiral. I'm kind of not interested. I've changed to the studio driver and it's working better. But the studio driver is an older version of the driver they're currently using that's more stable. That's it. I'm just not interested, dude. You're not making a point that works. I've read all about it. I've changed to the studio via driver. NVIDIA themselves, as the dude just quoted, say that if you're live streaming and you're after stability, you should use the studio driver. It's an older version of the current game driver. That's it. It's just a slightly older version that's more rigorously tested than the latest version that might come with a few more bugs that you weren't expecting. Just just give it a rest, dude. You're not telling me anything that's that's, that's helping. Uh, angry chair, thank you very much, dude. Ooh. Okay, I would quite like a, uh, an epoxy or something like that. <laughs> Red liner should be. Uh, Hunger, yeah, I did, yeah. What the hell is epoxy for? You can use it for fixing helmets and vests, so it's really quite useful. You can, oh, I may be sick, I wasn't looking there.
I also had to, uh, I had to reinstall fucking GeForce as well. I had to reinstall GeForce Experience because it wasn't giving me the option to do a studio uh, driver update. It would only give me the latest game ready one, and there was I had to delete, well, uninstall GeForce and then reinstall it. Ramirez, Still if you running. if you refresh, you'll see that it's changed. Gippy, no, I haven't heard of it, dude. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with the uh, Bolotta airfield. I think we'll go uh, we'll go behind Bolotta and try and loot some hunting stuff. I suppose I normally do that, to be fair, but I think we'll do that again. Uh, Ethan, it, it's it's vanilla with sprinkles of like it's lightly modded, basically. Uh, Cassia, thank you very much for the support, dude. Go loot Bolotta, go wild for a change. Well, the problem with Bolotta is there's no fucking loot to loot. It's terrible, you know. You don't get anything. It's not worth it. Like the best you can hope for, really, is like a. Well, you might get an MP5 or a UMP, but you very rarely do. The best you're likely to do is probably like a 1911 or something, you know. It, the loot at Bellotta is not worth the time and the zombies, you know. At least I've got the, I've got the suppressed pistol so I can shoot the Zeds. Maybe the Zeds might give me some SKS rounds or something that'll be handy later, I suppose. But Bellotta airfield loot is terrible. It's not worth the time. To get other mo mo you don't need anything furious to play other modded maps. Uh, Redline, uh, negative on Amsterdam, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, ha dude, you uh, didn't you only just have a holiday? Fucking lucky bastard! I haven't been anywhere since you went to Italy. What are the sprinkles, Ethan? I, I don't want to say exactly what this... I, I only play lightly modded. I don't play boosted loot servers, but... I, dude, uh, I, it's just like the same as I play every day. <laughs> I never play anything heavily modded. I never play anything boosted loot. Same as every day. Uh, Cassia, thank you again. Uh, also, Darth Chong and Rain, thank you for the subs on YouTube. Cheers for the follows. Bamboo, I normally play with another streamer roughly once a week. I play with Muller and Sour roughly once a month. I would quite like to uh, to go somewhere. I might be going somewhere with the missus down the line, but oh my god, that, I ain't going to hit that, am I? Oh, bum. That's not a convoy, just before anyone starts thinking it is. Yeah, I'd quite like to. I mean, I'd quite like to go somewhere. But we've had, we've got. Oh, nice! I'm glad we came here. Attack backs, okay. That was worth it. An SAV 58 wooden butt stop. Not so much worth it. Yeah, I, I think a holiday would be good. I just don't know though. We've still got quite a lot on our plate at the moment, so holidays might have to wait just for a little while. Okay, mate. Fair enough. 
going to lower my inventory space, but at least it's not like in polar white. The only thing I like in polar white is the Explorer 2. Prefer your cocaine polar white. I don't know how I prefer my cocaine. I ain't never done had it. There's usually a few more Zeds than that, to be honest, but there we go. Only three so far. Wash your hands with shampoo. Wow. Is that a money saver, is it? Washing your hands with shampoo? I feel like it's probably more expensive. But I don't know. I'm no expert on the costs of things. I can't believe I got fucking talked into coming to this crap heap. I, I think there's there's a chance of getting some SKS rounds off a zombie or something, but I think that's probably our best bet. I guess there's there's some NBC boots. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but I'll take them. I wish this game didn't cost $45. It's regularly on a sale, dude. It's It's on a Steam sale for, like... A third of every year, pretty much. They have they have a Steam sale for DayZ, like every every six weeks, it seems. So it's regularly on sale. And, and I would kind of add that it of, of most games, it's got the replayability unlike most. So if you've got a tiny bit of patience and you enjoy survival games, you're going to get your money's worth out of DayZ. Like, I, obviously I'm an extreme example, but I bought the game in 2014. I have 16,000 hours, and admittedly I do stream it, so uh, I'm an obscure case, but it's literally changed my life. But I think unless you really haven't got patience and you're not really enjoying survival games, you get hundreds of hours out of Daisy as an absolute minimum. And then you consider that a lot of single-player games, the way you just play it through, cost 50 bucks, and you play it for 12 hours, and then you've done it, you know, like... Replayability wise, Daisy is pretty good value, I think. Well, I did say the best you could hope for was an MP5. That's the best I can hope for, I guess. Oh, no, I hope you keep enjoying it, dude. It's easy to forget to loot this truck, but it is uh, often pretty decent. As you can see, like, uh, there's a knife. Where did the knife go? It, it must be inside, it is, look. That's actually a proper melee weapon. Pristine as well, that's good.
Mm, I might have to make a run for it now. But I saw another one this way. Maybe I didn't. probably going to get myself killed from another player the way we're going but a little bit disappointed with the lack of loot so far on these zeds did i get that we haven't got a great deal from them TSKO jacket. I might take that, maybe. What's that? Crappy buttstock. Ugh. I don't know why I'm carrying that, but I'll take it for now. A little bit more space. May as well. I should I should probably chop up these chickens. That will uh, that'll give me a shitload more space as well, won't it? Can you team up with other players? You can, yeah, if you bump into other players. A lot of players try to kill you, but... You can absolutely team up with other players, for sure. It just depends on who you meet, you know, and, and how you feel. Sometimes I'm not in the mood for a team up, sometimes I am, you know, but... You can do, yeah. The, the trick to teaming up on Daisy is to try and play on a server that's full, or very, quite close to full. Increase your chance of bumping into players, but try to team up with another new spawn while you're a new spawn, you know. If you're running up to a dude with an SKS and you've got no gear, he's highly unlikely to trust you, or they're highly unlikely to trust you. You're, you're much, it's much easier to trust someone if they've got fuck all and you've got fuck all. So they're the people to try and team up with. If you're trying to team up with someone and they're geared and you're not, they're never going to trust you the same. Likewise, if you're geared and they're not, they might just want your gear, you know. A quick and easy way to get your shit will be a good way for them to upgrade, you know, so... Uh, try to only team up with people like look in, look at your character and try to team up with someone that's like a mirror image of you and you have a chance keep your mic on, keep talking Wildcats, dude, thank you for the tier 2 resub, very very kind thank you since when has Pavlovo been a radiation zone? ever since they introduced the radiation zone so quite a long time I can't remember what patch brought the gas zones in, but it's been one ever since. The other thing, just coming back to teaming up, you're slightly more likely to get team-ups on first-person servers. And for whatever reason, the game is just slightly more interactive on first-person servers. You get, you get more team-ups if you're on first-person than you do on third. Do I stream community servers? Yep, I play official from time to time, but not so often. 116 was it, Yang? Yeah, it's a while ago now then. Dipster, I need to watch that video. I, ne I haven't seen it yet, but my understanding of the AP rounds was in that they don't make a whole lot of difference unless unless you manage to ruin the vests, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. That's a lot of chimkin. Damaged. I'll keep the water pots.
breaks and uncomes in one bullet, for example, to a stab vest. Dipster, that's the thing I want to find out. I do need to watch Waybo's video on it, but uh, I think versus a plate carrier, by the time it's ruined the vest, they're dead. Kind of, do you know what I mean? I, that's the bit I'm trying to work out is like against a plate carrier that's worn, let's say. I'm not sure there's much difference, but that's interesting. If it ruins a plate carrier in one shot, sorry, not plate. If it ruins a stab vest in one shot, then that's a pretty big deal. Look at that, it's almost like I was prepping for it, eh? Blimey. It's a bit o overkill to have a MK2 and a crossbow, but while I've got the space, I might as well do it for now. I could go and kill that deer and not use the chicken, but I think we'll just keep the chicken since I killed him. Four shots to kill instead of five. Still not amazing in comparison to, I don't know, an Orge X, let's say, that will drop a player in one hit unconscious, you know, so... I'm still interested to watch that video, though. I, I, I will try to check it out. I just, I'm just struggling at the moment. This morning, I've uh, achieved very... I've done my monthly banking this morning. It takes about 45 minutes. And then I spent three and a half hours trying to pay my tax bill, which we've already talked about. Nobody needs to hear it again. It turns out banks like to say no. What a question. Why did you delete my message that was just about 30 letter Ks? I don't know, dude. Maybe we felt it wasn't adding anything to the chat. <laughs> Hi, Mike, dude. Hope you're good. I see you saying hello to someone else or saying hello. Hello, someone else replying. We are the bank that likes to say fuck off, we'll keep your money, yeah. There is a lot of conspiracy theories about banks not letting you spend your own money. And I, I don't wish to start any, but I am feeling like banks don't like you to spend your own money these days, you know, like under the guise of protecting you from being like done for fraud, they literally won't like, like earlier today, I moved the exact amount to my current account to pay a bill and then they just declined it on my debit card. Like you can pay your tax, your personal tax, like so, like I'm a, like your, your, your own self-assessment tax on the, the government's website. And I put the exact amount into my current account and then I tried to pay it and it declined. And I rang up and they just went, oh, it's above your daily limit. I'm like, well, I can't transfer it because that's above my daily limit. How do you suggest I pay them? <laughs> we don't know. Go away. When you do full time, ch yeah, you, you, you're self employed if you're doing YouTube or Twitch, Sigur, yeah. So, like, you get, you're almost like getting paid on a royalties model if, for YouTube anyway. So, you, you make videos, you upload them to YouTube. If they get lots of views, then you, you earn advertising revenue. And that's where your money comes from, right? You're getting it for, it's like, it's a bit like a royalties model. So, YouTube pay you for the adverts that your, your videos generate. 
uh, on a kind of royalty basis. But like, if you're a musician or any royalties, you'd be self-employed, you know. Riley, I don't think I'd get a credit card limit with the right level, by the way. I, I don't know. It, I've got to pay quite a large bill. I, I, I think I'd do well to get a credit card with a limit high enough to pay it. I really do. I'm going to get it sorted anyway. I've worked out a way to do it. I just have to... I have to I've downloaded the fucking Banks app, and then tomorrow I can add the biometrics, and then the daily limit is higher because biometrics are safer or some bollocks. But but black uh, black dares. Well, that's the thing. This is a this this is a purchase that they've declined, and I rang them up, and they didn't like. I've had it in the past where I've been buying something and it's got declined, and then I've rang up and said, "Yeah, it's me. Can you let it go through?" And they've gone, "All right." But in this case, I rang up and said, "Yeah, I, it's being declined, and I'm trying to pay a tax bill to HMRC," and they said, "No, sorry, it's over your daily limit." Because <laughs> my, my bank gives me a MasterCard debit card and basically MasterCard have a daily amount that I'm allowed to spend on of my own money and it's over that so I'm not allowed to pay my tax bill according to them. But the reality is that they're trying, look at that, there's some nice bullets there. They're trying to protect you from fraud, but I don't keep lots of money in my current account, right? I only put the money there to pay the bill. I, I, I don't keep money in an account with a debit card because I'm not dumb, right? I, I don't keep money in an account where if I lost my wallet, somebody can access it. I keep it in an, like, an, like an account that's got no debit card, which, which, which can't be accessed, right? I'll get some more sticks. I could use the ones I've got, but we might as well get some more. Set up a company in a tax haven and employs you to stream. I'm getting Jimmy Carr vibes. <laughs> Big Tail, you cheeky fucker. I can see from your name that so do you, dude. Big Tail 77. Uh, it's protecting the elderly from fraud. Or do you now fit into that category? Cheeky bastard. thinking of changing banks but I I'm not desperate to I've been with the same bank since I was uh, 16 Same bank for 50 years. Fuck me dead. I'm taking a shilling, a fucking kicking on the aged front today, right? Ageism is a thing, right? Bastard. <laughs> Raft bolt. I'm with Wanky Bank, yeah. Wanky Bank. They're, they're my bank. Ginger, I don't play boosted loot, no. Uh, Alex Nifer, thank you for the three months. Buck, Buck Sin, thank you for the prime. Gin and Sofa, I had to do some actual work and stuff. Shame I'm back now, though, having a good run. I'm enjoying Chernerus. I, I've done Alteria today, and unfortunately I got shat, shot every which way. Got killed hey, from people I didn't know were there. You in a wild, sad face. Over and over again, and then finally had a half decent run and came face first into an SVD and died. But I enjoyed it, but we didn't have a good run as such. I suppose it was kind of bad luck, bad run, whatever. But it was still fun. I ever do a face reveal? No, I've never done a face reveal, dude. No, I can't. I I, uh, I can't do a face reveal.
I've been having cosmetic surgery to make myself look exactly like this guy in the game. Uh, but they can't make me look old enough, unfortunately, no matter how much I pay. Alteria can be rough, but a little bit like Essica as well, same kind of thing. They can both be rough. You can have good and bad runs. Same with Nemausk, you know. The smaller maps where there's a lot of action, you can uh, you can get yourself in bother. What the hell's going on there? stuck in some kind of never-ending loop. Can someone explain where those bolts have gone? Why have I... I've just made five more bolts and they're fucking vanished off the face of the pissing earth. Where have they gone? Partner Plus is expanding starting May the 1st. Partners and affiliates can earn a higher revenue share for subs. Qualification starts February the 1st. Check out the blog for more info. What's the TLDR on what that actually means, Redline? Is the upper limit going up? It is pretty good news, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about my revenue split anymore. There they are. Oh, they're there. Well, I just combined them together and now they seem to have vanished again. What? What's going on? Interesting. So, ah, uh, there's a trade-off there. I suspect they're going to reduce the income from Prime Gaming a little, Redline. I, I'm, well, in a nutshell, no, I didn't, Redline. <laughs> uh, but maybe I will do at some point down the line. So to answer it in a different way, some streamers were on 70-30 splits already. And those streamers' 70-30 split deal would end whenever their current contract that they'd signed ended. So it's possible that some streamers that might or may not be me, I cannot confirm or deny what I may or may not be on, uh, would already potentially still be on 70-30 from a previously signed deal that hadn't ran out yet. Thank you. Oh. And for that type of streamer, when that were to end, that would be a positive thing. Which is very, very good news, because my biggest issue with uh, with Twitch is the gifted sub revenue share being 50-50. Uh, because it's completely and wholly unfair for every streamer. It's still un unfair for streamers not on Partner Plus. Uh, smaller streamers, you know, like I was looking it's at... It's been uh, a long day, so too tired to come up with pithy message, so yay running. Muller's, Muller's currently trying to hit the Partner Plus thing, you know. He's got over a thousand subs, uh, but he's and he's just doing the Partner Plus thing, but he's, he's, he's nearly done it. I'm sure he will, but all of his gifted subs are being revenue shared with Twitch at 50-50 at the moment. But it's it's him that's generating all of that revenue, him with his viewers. It's not Twitch. <laughs> and they get... So I think it's absolutely right that it should be higher for, for gifted subs than 
<laughs> Tole, I didn't see that. No, that's interesting, dude. <laughs> right. I don't know whether I might relog or what, but there should be some bolts there, and they seem to have fucking vanished off. I'm going to quickly relog, see if they're in my inventory or something. Daisy Dunes. Well, I hope it goes okay. What's YouTube's revenue share? I think the ad revenue is 50-50, but obviously YouTube does a lot of work for the ads. But YouTube's revenue share on things like uh, memberships and stuff, I'm pretty certain is 70-30 for everybody from, from the off. It's definitely 70-30 for like gifted memberships and stuff like that. don't understand what happened to them. We saw them briefly and then they fucking vanished. Redline, uh, I don't think I can talk about what I'm getting on Prime right now. But any streamer that is not me that was on an old 70-30 split was getting 70-30 on primes as well, I believe. Fuck the ball. They're gone. Hey bud, hope all is well not been in for a while, been Abbott busy on Valheim being a viking lol. D-Monkey, I'm not... That's a very uh, polarising question, but... You're making... You're playing video games you had no hand in making, making money off it and moaning. I'm not moaning, I'm talking about the revenue share on Twitch for small streamers. It wasn't even regarding me, I'm not on that revenue share. I don't know, if you, if you think that's me moaning when I'm talking about smaller streamers and how Twitch shares the revenue with them, then fair enough, but... You make it sound so easy though, dude. If you want to go and do it and make a make a fortune out of it, go and start tomorrow. Tomorrow, Everyone can. Everyone can be a streamer. You go and start tomorrow and reap in all the big bucks. It seems pretty easy. Are we still off the whiskey? Yes. I haven't had any alcohol. Uh, I don't know how many days, but two and a half weeks, something like that. I mean, they are providing you with a platform to be making money at all. JK, I'm not denying there should be a revenue share. I'm not. But 50-50 uh, is on gifted subs, right? So when you buy bits from Twitch, you buy $10 worth of bits. They might cost $13, $14, right? That's not 50-50. They introduced a new chat feature. The revenue share was 70-30. Uh, pretty much Twitch's view seems to be that 70-30 is a fair revenue share. That's what YouTube uses. Kick has a 95% to 5% revenue share, but that's a whole other story. But Twitch across the board believes that 70-30 seems to be a right, about right. If they introduce any new feature, that's the revenue share. But gifted subs, that's not 70-30, that's 50-50. And, and to me, that, that seems... And again, that's I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about smaller streamers, not on Partner Plus. But once again, I'm not moaning because I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Twitch as a whole. The idea that you would introduce gifted subs, which, let's face it, were to, to take away from PayPal tips. So, eight years ago, seven years ago, six years ago, if somebody tipped you $10 as a tip, as a gratuity, you got nearly all of that $10. You'd lose about 20, 20 cents in PayPal fees and a small percentage. So, you'd get about $9.50, let's say, roughly. Someone tipped you $10, you got $9.50. 
Twitch introduced gifted subs. Someone tips you two gifted subs at $10, you get $5, Twitch gets 5 They've taken half of your tip. You know, what you're saying is, you should be happy that you're working in the west, the restaurant, and the, and the, 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 the restaurant's going to take half of your tips from you. That's okay, because you get to work in the restaurant, you know. It, it's, it's easy to say, well, anyone could do it, you're only playing a game, blah de blah de blah but the reality is that taking half of gifted subs is like the restaurant keeping half of the server's tips. It's a very similar thing. There used to be no gifted subs and they introduced them to stop people using PayPal that Twitch couldn't monetize and start you using gifted subs which Twitch could monetize and then take half. And, and, and I'm talking about the whole of Twitch, not me. I'm very grateful for how I'm doing and I'm extraordinarily happy with how I'm doing. But it wasn't easy. It's not like I've been doing this for nearly 10 years, you know. I didn't just wake up one day and was doing well on Twitch, you know. Okay, I don't know. I, I think uh, I think the whole playing a game you didn't make and uh, moaning about it was a bit harsh, if I'm honest. I think the fact that streamers and YouTubers can play a game that they don't get involved with developing and release content on it and make money on that by YouTube and Twitch is an absolutely amazing thing that we should all be very lucky that exists. And anyone can do it, but also anyone can make videos on YouTube about watches or about art or about finance or about collecting whatever stamps or whatever anyone can make videos about anything and make money on youtube there's a whole host of different subjects that you can whatever it might be and you can make money on it but that doesn't mean everybody does you know anyone can start a youtube channel tomorrow but whether you can do it and get it off the ground whether you can do the two years of making videos that nobody watches or not is a whole nother matter you know? but nonetheless everyone can do it But yeah, it is an amazing setup as such that you can do that. But it, it's like a, it's like in everybody's interest. The the, the the game developers want YouTubers and streamers sharing their video, sharing their their experiences, because if they do, they get more exposure for their game and they sell more copies of the game. So it, it works. It works for them. It certainly works for Twitch. You know, Twitch have got the bandwidth and they are providing something. It's certainly fair that there's a revenue share there, but. This news that Redline just told me about now, that's really good. It's really good that Partner Plus is uh, being extended for more streamers. That's a very good thing. But someone that's just underneath Partner Plus might have a 1,000 subs, but only 200 of them of are paying. That means that all of their gratuities are being split 50-50 with Twitch. I think that's unfair. On like It's the streamer that generated all of those subs with their audience, and Twitch are taking half, I think. I think gifted subs at 50-50 is literally like the wait. It's like the restaurant taking half of the server's tips. It's just a bit too much to me. Once again, I'm not one of those streamers. I'm talking about the whole of Twitch, not me. The gamma's not on. No, that's where I'm. What if they already have exposure? Shouldn't the streamer pay the devs? Well, the, the devs, if a developer wants to, a developer owns the, the rights to their game. They could try to copyright strike people. But the reality is here, here, who owns your gameplay in the game? Do you own it or do the devs own it, right? If you're playing an open world game, who owns your gameplay? You that had the experience and that made it or do the devs own it? I don't know the answer to that really myself, but... This, this adventure that I'm having in the game right now, like, do I own it? Like, the devs themselves copied real-world areas to make this map. Do they own the map then, or does, does, does fucking Mother Nature, you know? <laughs> of course the devs own the map, but when I'm sharing my experience in a game, I'm sharing my version of it. I'm sharing my, my me playing the game my way, 
and my experience there of it. What's good, what's bad. I think I own my gameplay. I don't think the devs own my gameplay. Why not apply that logic to music using stream? That's a different thing altogether, Fun Employed. If I play music, I'm using that music to improve my stream. I'm not... If I got a guitar out and played... I don't know... The latest track from fucking Coldplay or something. If I played the guitar, I'd be playing my version of it. But if I just play Coldplay, I'm stealing their music. That's not that's not a good example, is it? I would be able to I would be allowed to get a guitar out and play a tune that, that's my version of it. I'd be allowed to do that right now, but I can't play the guitar, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that, the dev the devs want the exposure. They they want it. I, I'm not trying to big up streamers here. It's just a it's a relationship that works well for both people. <clears throat> Elephanti Coldplay are alright. They get a bad rap because they're so overplayed. They have done some really good songs. I can't stand them myself, really, because they have been so overplayed. But they have done some great tracks over the years. To be honest, I just tried to think of anything that had a guitar in it, and they were the first band that came to my mind. That's all. That Lewis Capaldi suffering from Coldplay-itis at the moment. He gets overplayed so much, or he, he was doing for a while. Around last summer through to Christmas, like... That same fucking Lewis Capaldi song was on every third track on every radio station ever, pretty much. But yeah, that... It, I, I know there's lots of people playing Devil's Advocate, but... I, I, I've, I've been around Twitch since before Amazon was owning it. Uh, and not everybody that's doing Twitch and everyone that's doing streaming is doing it for money. And I absolutely think a revenue share is right. Without Twitch, I wouldn't have grown such a big audience. However, I've also brought a lot of people to Twitch because I started on YouTube. Most people that grow on Twitch have to bring people to them from off the website. It's very rare that you just start on Twitch and le leech viewers from other streamers. You normally have to bring your audience with you to get a start. Same on YouTube, you know, like, you don't normally just release a video and then you go viral and then you're a YouTuber. You have to spend a lot of time sharing your videos in like-minded forums off-site and generate your first thousand subs or so from elsewhere. That you don't get it from the YouTube algorithm, or at least you didn't used to. You normally have to generate that start, and then you start the ball rolling inside the platform. But uh, nonetheless, my view is my view. You know, like gifted subs at 50-50 is like the servers getting half of their tips. See, oh yeah, Capaldi. I quite like that. I quite like him. I quite like the songs, but they've been again. They've, they've got Coldplay. I just wiggle. It's just an OBS filter, dude. So I've got. It's just another scene in OBS. So this is where the convoy could be here. I, I don't think well, there isn't a convoy, obviously, but just double checking there's no loot. There is. I love, dude. Thank you very much, Redline. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Nate, Whistling, Skunky, and Alex Knife. Thank you very much as well. Sorry it took me a little while to get to him. John, yeah, no, I'll get there next. I'm going to go to the prison island. Gakas, they haven't said yet. I quite like it. I, my uh, my daughter Maggie asked for 
Viva La Vida the other day when we were in the car. She she like she asked for Tom Brennan. Brennan, I always forget. We, she so obviously I've got Spotify in my car. She asked for some Tom Brennan tracks, so we played a few of those. And then she asked for Viva La Vida, and then she asked for a song called Pompeii by uh, uh, oh that fucking band whose name escapes me. My missus likes them as well. Someone in the chat will say who they are. But uh, yeah, she, but she but Viva La Vida is a pretty good song. The trouble is it's been played so Bastille. Well done, yeah. Maggie's got pretty good taste in music all in, I'd say. Liking Bastille at 12 is pretty good. Thank you for the prime. Really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Oh, it's because she didn't ask for you'll never walk alone, no. Was it a leap of faith to become a streamer? Well, you, I think, unless you're very lucky, you don't really start that way, you know? Like, most people that start YouTube do it as a hobby. When I started YouTube, I had no expectations. I, I might have had in the back of my brain, like, a, a what if, you know? What if I get get really big views and I, I get, like, millions of subscribers? And I still haven't done that, and I've been doing it nearly 10 years. But I guess everybody starts in the back of their mind, like, a bit like a what if, but... That's kind of akin to kicking a ball at round the playground and then thinking you might be the next Lionel Messi or something. You know, it, you don't believe it's going to happen, but there's like a little bit of a subconscious daydream kind of going. You know, but I didn't start with any expectations. Uh, and when I started streaming, I only started streaming. I had about 4,000 subs on YouTube. I started streaming on Twitch. My first streams... I think I streamed in about January of 2015, but... I started streaming three times or more a week in, in, in April 2015. But I started streaming, and at first in January, I streamed because I was in a Survivor Games qualifier, and I had to stream. That was one of the prerequisites to be in it. Uh, and then after that, I streamed roughly once every two or three weeks, I, and I was streaming solely to interact with my YouTube audience. So I was just trying to talk to the people that I was playing with kind of thing, you know? So... It was a means to interact with people that I was playing the game with. Oh, sorry, making videos for. So I started streaming to interact a bit more with, with people watching. Uh, and after about the second or third stream, once every few weeks, somebody in the in the chat just sort of asked me. I'd love to remember who it was because I can't remember. But <clears throat> some, someone just kind of innocuously sort of said, why are you only streaming once every two or three weeks? You seem to be really good at streaming and it seems to be going really well. Why are you only doing it so infrequently? And I finished that stream and I thought about it for a little while. I was like, well, I enjoy streaming more than YouTube. Why am I only doing it once every three weeks? So I started streaming three or four times a week and then that was in... It was like literally last few days of April. And then uh, by mid-June I was Twitch partnered. So I kind of... Yeah, it went pretty well. Right, we're gonna, I'm not going to put those on yet because I'm going to need to slide down the dealy. Have I got any rounds for the... I haven't, have I, for the carbine? Not.
Was it harder keeping viewership without a face cam? No. The face cam thing is bollocks. Someone's just said you would be messy with a face cam. I, I, people that maybe don't watch many Twitch streams think face cams are important, but when I first started, one of the very biggest streamers on Twitch still is, it was Lyric, and he doesn't have a face cam, and he doesn't need one either, you know, like, face cams are not the thing that make or break Twitch streams, they're just not. You don't need one. Some streams, some games might, and some streamers suit them more, but most streamers don't need a face cam in any way, shape, or form. Did I get that? Yeah. But this stream, this stream isn't better or enhanced in any way by, if I had a face cam, it, like, some streamers, like, Dr. Disrespect is the best example. He uses it really, really well. But a lot of streamers don't really use it at all, you know? Uh, they just have it there and then you just see someone sitting at a monitor, like, talking to the chat but playing the game, you know? I, I don't really see what function that serves, but never made any difference to me. It might help that I'm playing DayZ. DayZ's a relatively immersive game and perhaps suits not having a, uh, a face cam. Maybe some other games, perhaps if you're playing uh, games that aren't quite so immersive, maybe face cams are a little bit more useful, but for DayZ you definitely don't need one. If you're playing more of a an, an immersive type game or a, like a game that's got a bit more cinematic kind of sort of elements to it, Especially if you're doing RP, for example, you definitely don't need a face cam. Face cam, face cam would bring more publicity. I, I, I don't see what you mean. It might get you recognised more if you're walking down the street, but that's not something I want. But I don't see what more publicity it brings. I you know, like just don't get it. Like, you, there's no face cam when you listen to the radio. You still listen, you know. I, I know there's video here, but the ga the video of the game is what matters. I think uh, I think uh, a bum holio cam is that is definitely the uh, definitely the answer for successful streams. You know, if if you if you give ten subs, I'll make my uh, I'll, I'll make my uh, sphincter wink at you or some shit like that. You know, that's probably the answer. Spawned in the dark, no idea where I was, then I got ravaged by a zombie, not tried again, swear and curse, it does take a little bit of getting used to. And clearly, uh, it depends what type of streamer you want to be, so... Daisy is a relatively niche game that's got a relatively small audience in the grand scheme of Twitch, so... If you want to grow a stream on DayZ, you definitely don't need a, a face cam. Just look at the streamers that are doing well on it. You know, you, the, the most popular streamer on Twitch is Smoke. Probably the second most popular is me. Then you've got maybe Sour Sweet, and then who else have you... Like, there's so many streamers that don't use cams. Clearly, it's not a prerequisite to do well. Otherwise, Smoke wouldn't be top, and I wouldn't be second, probably, of the streamers that stream DayZ. Uh, but if you're trying to be a just chatting streamer or an interactive streamer, or you're trying to grow to be like a streamer like Kai Senate or something, and maybe then you have to have a camera, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Moonlander, there's lots of streamers with face cams, but Summit is a multi-game streamer. 
I think Summit would easily be just as popular if he turned the camera off, if I'm honest. Everybody knows what he looks like. I'm not saying he should, but I don't think it would necessarily make him more popular or less. Summit's been around for ages though. Summit's like an OG streamer from back in the day, like before Lyric started, Summit was around. Don't like, like Summit's been around for ages. He's a very talented gamer and he's a very good streamer and he's been around a long time and he's got where he's got because he's earned it. But he absolutely could be where he is without the camera too. You know, Lyric is a good example of that too. I'm not saying he should turn it off. It doesn't really matter. Whatever he does is what he does. But I don't think Summit's successful because of the camera. That's what I'm trying to say. Today marks year one of losing my mind. Thank you for keeping me entertained and help ease my mind. Oh, Defiant, sorry to hear that, dude. Thank you for the for the for the bits. Uh, sorry to hear about you, mum, dude. Uh, Sat Sunday was two years with my dad, and it, it was uh, tricky. But yeah, I, I I was kind of. It's also my daughter's birthday, so it's like a little bit of a double-edged sword day. But yeah, sorry to hear about you, mum. Uh, what's the deal, bro? Thank you for the bits. Yeah, quite a few people tune in. Uh, like somebody was in earlier today saying they they listen in while they're doing other things. Exactly the same. Lots of people do. Actually, staggered that that has still got some life in it. it done? Still shoot it again, holy shit. <sighs> Do you know what, let's get rid of that. I hate that scope. I don't know why I didn't put the pill add on. Anyway. But let's put the pill add on. I kind of wish I'd got that scope now. Where did it go? Well, that sucks. But this will go on it. I think I'm just going to drop that because I've got bullets for this one. That's the f I've been saying for a few streams that you find loot on the shelves. That's the first time I've found loot on the shelf in a while. The Pioneer and the Carbine are about the same in terms of damage and whatnot, so keeping a Carbine when I don't have bullets doesn't make any sense. You're right, I did just get a box of CR527 as well up at the top of the crane, but likewise, I've got the 5 round mag for this, and I, I, I did have the 5 round mag for the Carbine too, but I've already done it now, I'm going to stick with this. The Pioneer is more fun somehow as well, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be dropping both of them soon enough. Yeah, I did pick up the box though, you're right, and I never loaded the carbine. I just completely forgot. If I'm honest, I was kind of hoping to find an SKS. And... In the spirit of taking one for the team, I have done extensive and repetitive research on all things cam. You would need to oil up your moods, document drivel on your flabby bits, and sit in a container of warm bodily secretions. I reckon it's a go up all. Dude, I regularly do all of those things as it is, but I just don't have the camera on to show it. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very, very much. Head T Ball, thank you very much. Stingray, thank you for the bits. Uh, cheers for the support as well. Can you jump into the water from that roof? Yeah, I had heard that. <laughs> Uh, 
You think Twitch just dropped another sub clanger? What did they do, Jim Fingers? Fell off that fence yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's easily done. I've fallen off the other way a few times. Well, you can just type it in here, Jim. And unless it, I don't think it's super secret. I like that scope. That is cool. That looks good, mostly. The red line was just talking about this. I, I think for a lot of streamers, that will be very, very good. I don't know how... Uh, I don't know how... It's hard to work out how braming, Prime Gaming is going to work. Like, how, how that... But I think, by and large, that's going to be good for most people. Certainly, it will be good for uh, anybody in the Partner Plus. It might not be good for smaller streamers. Which is what I was just... We were just talking about something similar to this, dude. But, yeah. Sorry, guys, one sec. I need to get my second monitor. There we go. Rally, I, I use a really overly fancy Sennheiser HD 800s is what I use. They are incredibly good headphones. I, I probably wouldn't recommend them, if I'm honest. They are very, very good, but they're crazily expensive. Damaged, damaged. I'm just going to keep the Pioneer. What's the best way to kill wolves? Shoot them, ideally with a suppressed gun. But shooting them is easy enough. You normally only need to shoot, shoot uh, three. Unless you're unlucky. If you've got a shotgun and a little tiny bit of experience in Daisy, wolves shouldn't cause you any issues at all. So a shotgun, I know it's not suppressed, but a shotgun is really easy to help with wolves. Anything to say someone that would love to make a YouTube channel? Any tips or advice? Well, stop stop talking about loving doing it and do it. It's free, you know. L YouTube, YouTube is a self-learning thing, you know. The only way to get good at it is to do it. You can't go to... Uh, you probably can go to YouTube school, but I don't, I don't think it would be a good idea. YouTube school is the school of hard knocks, right? <laughs> the, the best way to become a YouTuber you is to start making videos. So just start making videos. Like, why are you thinking about doing it? Just do it. And then, like, really focus on trying to make your videos better as you do it, you know? Every time you make a video, try to change something for the better for the next one and the next one and the next one. Whatever subject matter you're doing, you know? Learn a little bit of what you can do next and next and next. You, uh, you only, oh, that's what I wanted. That is very, very good news. You only really get anywhere on, on YouTube or Twitch if you've got the capability, especially YouTube, of looking at what you're doing Hello, and realising why it's shit. Nice day. In, in very simple terms, if you, you have to look at what you're doing and what videos you're making and realising why it's shit when you first start, unless you happen to be a fully trained, qualified editor. You know, like if you compare your videos to like, like say you're starting on Dale's and on Daisy, compare your videos to JLK's and be reasonable about how close your videos are to his. 
And if you if you if you're expecting really good views, but you've put in a, a, a twentieth of the effort that he has, you're not going to get those views, you know. So being aware of where you're at is quite important. I've cancelled my streaming services and will rely on your antics moving forward. Nice run today. Thanks for the entertainment. Mr. PJ, dude, thank you very much. Oh, they get the new one on Apple TV has got me almost thinking about subscribing. I haven't done it yet. My MP5 is on burst. Probably not going to use it, to be honest, for now. But yeah, I'll, I'll change it, especially for you. Uh, Mr., thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. People, uh, with, when it comes to making videos or streams or whatever, they get too wrapped up in the barriers that stop them from doing it to start and then waste another six months or another year or whatever, you know? Like, it's meant to be an extension of your hobby. If you enjoy gaming and you want to make gaming videos, it's an extension of the enjoyment of the hobby you've got, right? If you enjoy whatever you might enjoy. Any subject you can think of. If you enjoy playing the game Tag or It or Chase or whatever and you want to make videos on that or you're making parkour videos or whatever. You're doing it because you're into the subject. You're into parkour and you want to share what you're interested in, right? It's meant to be an extension of your hobby. So if you treat it that way but also then treat the learning of editing as a hobby too then see where it goes. $15. There you go. Point three months of Apple TV Plus. That doesn't mean I'm going to get it. Thank me later. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm going to get it, but thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Asa, yeah, I'm peeking. I'm not. I'm not really paying attention, dude. I'm. I'm. You're right. I'm peeking with the wrong gun, but I'm doing all of this on autopilot. I'm not paying attention to the game in any way, shape, or form. I'm. I'm just doing it while reading the chat and talking along. Is JLK sour? No. They're not the same people. They have two different video, two different channels. Everyone's guilty of it though. Like when I first started making videos, I uh, I didn't think they were good, but I thought they were better than they were temporarily. You know, you know, you you put. The reality is that you're proud of what you just made. If you've just started painting, right? If you've just started painting and you make your first painting, you know it's not great. But by the time you get to your 10th painting, you can see that they're a little bit better than they were. But you're not fucking Gainsborough yet or Constable or Van Gogh or some shit. I don't know, someone that can do painting. But obviously you're proud of the fact that your 10th painting is better than your first. Or your 10th YouTube video is better than your first. And you might have an overly exaggerated view of how good it really is. And the ability to step away from that and realise that it's still not very good <laughs> uh, is quite a tough challenge. You can be too proud of what you've done to expect, accept that maybe you can improve a lot more. Alison Gomez, Van Dyke, Canate, Bradley, Elliot, Maka, Gravenberch, Jota, Gakpo, Nunes. Mm, okay. I'm glad uh, I'm glad Robbo and or Trent aren't playing and and to Bosley as well. It's a strong enough team though, isn't it? Bradley looked pretty good. I I'm quite ex I didn't know a lot about Connor Bradley. I understand he went on loan to Sheffield United. Was it Sheffield United? I think it was. He went on loan somewhere. It might not have been Sheffield United, but it was a championship team when they were in the championship anyway. But he was he was player of the season for them. You got any recommendations for vanilla vanilla plus servers, preferably with no base building? Uh, zero servers aren't dead, dude. But it's zero or day one if you want no base building. It's either zero day one Karma Crew or Spaggy's really. But Karma Crew and Spaggy both have base building. Spaggy's is vanilla, so it's hard to do. Karma Crew's is slightly easier to. Defend your base, maybe.
Brother, I hope you're not deaf, dude. What happened to the Grey Man servers? Dude, they were only up for a couple of months. John Z, I've supported Liverpool since I was about four or five, yeah. Uh, I was I, I went to school in Lancashire, but not in Liverpool, and I, I just picked them when I was at school, and that was that. No, I haven't, typical. Uh, I've not met... Uh, I've met a few people, but... I've met uh, Happy Bombs in 2016, Septic Falcon, Minder, uh, a streamer called Hayes, uh, one or two others. But uh, I've I've met Spaggy, who was uh, who hosts the servers I just mentioned, and uh, was a mod is a mod in here, but doesn't watch the stream so much anymore. Uh, met a few people. I've met uh, Sacriel to say hello to, but literally that was all like hello, and then he was off. Uh, I've briefly spoke to Bibex, who's a French streamer, but I've not met many people because I don't go to the events and stuff, you know, like, I don't really go to the There's events and all of the gaming stuffs and as a rule. No man. Uh, Denine, I, I play on, from the UK, I play on day one quite often, dude, I don't have any issues. The ping every now and then will have a slight bear, bearing on you, but we're not playing CSGO here, dude, it's DayZ, it's a, it's a slow-paced game. Anything under about 150 ping, I'm not too bothered about, personally. Would I ever do an IRL fan meetup? Well, if I ever go to a TwitchCon, I'll announce it. If, if I go to a TwitchCon, I might, like, say I'm going, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't like the idea of doing a proper fan meetup. If you do a fan meetup at Twitch and they arrange it... You're sitting behind a counter signing fucking bits of paper and shit. I, I don't know about that. I don't feel like I'm in a... I don't feel like I'm in that. But I might tweet that I'm at tweet the Twitch booth for an hour or something and say hello to people, but... I don't know. I, I'm not very good at the whole uh, meeting stuff. I'm not very good in real life, full stop. You know, I, I, I'm a bit of a fucking uh, introvert. <clears throat> Imagine if Daisy 2 had a red carpet event, blimey. Skylord, thank you very much for the support. Matro, thank you very much. Redline, thank you very much, dude. Uh, cheers for the tip. Dude. I need to drop this. Uh, what am I doing here? Let's drink that. I really probably need to drop this uh, crossbow. It's, it's just kind of stupid. We've got too many things. I'll use it for killing a few more Zeds and then we'll drop it. I did... I did... Uh, I kind of fucked it up. I'd never done it before. In 2016 I went to EGX, so I was... I was a full-time streamer, but I'd not been doing it very long, and I was a bit new to it all, didn't really know, but I went to EGX for all three days, I think, and I said I was going for the whole three days, and I pe effectively put myself on call for a one-to-one -one meetup at any moment, which was really dumb. I just kind of tweeted out, I'm at EGX, let me know if you want to meet up, and then I was getting DMs, not very often, I only met a handful of people, but I put myself on call all day, which was really stupid, you know, what I should have said is, I'll be at the Twitch booth at 2 o'clock if anybody wants to say hello. That's a, like I don't know what the fucker was thinking, but I'd never done it before, you know? I, I just... Yeah, it was really dumb. I didn't think the convoy was there, to be honest. There's a police car, but it's not the military convoy. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a, a police convoy as such, but it's not the one that's got the good loot, unfortunately. Rick, nobody knows, dude. I, I, I would expect that at some point there will be a new DayZ, but it could be years away. Who knows? I, I, I don't understand how there won't be a new DayZ one day, because Bohemia is a business, and businesses like to make money, you know? I have, for the last 30-plus years, professionally considered the darker and more distressing corners of the human condition. I have reached the conclusion that Private Fraser from Dad's Army summed it up so eloquently. We're doomed. We're all doomed. <laughs> Happy living. 
uh, a reference from before my time, I'm afraid. Dad's Army is well before my time, because I'm so much more of a younger man than you. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, Sega, I just got a mag for that. I don't want it, though. I'm not going to drop the mag next to it. That would be... Uh, that would be craziness. Nine mil rounds don't... Oh, I do want them. I've got the MP5, haven't I? Cheers for the support, Head T-Ball. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll see. I I think I would. I'd like to go to a Twitch con at some point, but I do have some kind of like doubts as to whether I really want. Like, I wouldn't mind going and meeting people that were kind of like people that played Daisy, stream Daisy, or watch the streams. You know, I, I kind of don't mind the idea of going for that. But a lot of Twitch con seems to be all about like going for a meetup and comparing. I don't know. I've never been so, but. A lot of it seems to be about people overly excitedly talking about things, you know, like whooping up the latest Twitch feature or some shit, you know. I, I'm afraid I'm, I'm not, I'm too much of a grumpy old fucker to give a shit about anything like that. <laughs> it's just that, like, the, the, the rules change once a month or two and that'll be that. I don't know how many sponsors go to TwitchCon, maybe, maybe more somewhere like a gaming event like EGX or something, but... I guess you can pick up more sponsors by going to TwitchCon, but once again, going and kissing ass with potential sponsors face to face is not something I can be asked to do either. Like going and trying to carry favour with brands is just I just can't give a fuck, you know. I'm streaming, if somebody wants wants some exposure that I'm EO. <laughs> I did have a business card in twenty sixteen. Totally not, Bob. But it, they don't do a lot. Like I did have a, I had the one, it had a, my logo on one side, and on the other side it had a little bit about me and my links to my channels. But I didn't put my telephone number in or anything because I didn't want to give it. I dropped my NBC gloves. Where did I drop them? Yeah, I didn't mean to drop them. Yeah, I didn't mean to drop those. That's that's annoying. Oh, I didn't drop them. Yeah, thank fuck for that. Yeah, I didn't drop them, but they're there all along. It's all okay. I was going to say it's a bit weird there's no zombies. There is one there, but there is. There's not many Zeds right now. There should be more. Still, at least it's raining. That makes a refreshing change. Handheld radios, Big Butter, do not work across the whole map. The handheld radios have a relatively small range. I'm not exactly sure, but it's not much more than a kilometre, I don't think. So just the handheld radios are relatively limited range. There's a backpack radio that has a much greater range, something like half of the map. But, uh, yeah, the, the, the handheld radio's range is quite small. Need to get some new boots. So I could repair this stab vest 
that I'm wearing because I got epoxy, but I'm not going to repair it because I'm about to go to a base where I might get a better vest and I, I don't want to waste the epoxy. I don't think it's worth it. Handheld is 2k, backpack is 5k. There you go, that's a bit more fleshed out than... 5k might not sound like a lot, but it, it, that's, that's quite a lot of the map. If it's a 5k radius, that's a lot of the map. Do I have a GPS? Well, oh, I didn't intend to pick it up. I must have clicked it by mistake. Uh, spaghetti and Noel Lindstrom. Thank you very much for the follows on YouTube, guys. Yeah, five kilometres as a radius is huge because the map is what the map's twelve by twelve, right? So if you're in the dead centre of the map, you're doing quite a lot of the map. What are my most played maps after Chernerus? Kays, I don't know. I played loads of Namaus, but I've been having a break from it for a while now. But I, I played absolutely shitloads of Deer Isle and Namaus over the last few years. And most of the other maps I've, I've played a lot where I can. Uh, I, I probably played more Namaus than any other modded map. And the second it would be uh, behind it would be Deer Isle, I would suspect. Yeah, the mags are all damaged. I'm, I'm, I could load the AK. You're right, but I'm not going to use it. Chances are. Absolutely dominating. Relaxing Cherno rain. Damaged. Damaged. I oh, can't be. I'll keep those. I probably will change it, but I'll, or load it up. But like I say, I, I can't really use the AK with the uh, with the two damaged Gay mags. Dead, thanks to you. And the gun's Loving damaged. It so far. Got to keep running. I enjoyed the, the grind to get the space stuff Babylon. I enjoyed the, the trip to Lantier and the challenge of doing it. I think uh, it kept it fresher for longer. The, one of the things that really helped with the mouse is that even if it was a six month gap, there was a new update. Like they added Lanti they added Athena three. And then later they added Lantia. At one time at one point, obviously when you jump through the uh, when you jump through the orb it just went randomly to the ice sheet. And you just did it for fun. There was no there was no reason to do it. And then they added uh Ultra Wind. Then they added spawning into Athena three and then later on they added Lantia as well. And, like those little updates, incremental updates, where they added stuff. And they, they were not little updates, some of them were huge. But they kept the game fresh for me and kept me wanting to play it. Uh, once the updates had kind of stopped and I'd done Lantia a few times, I, uh, I, like, I've done the spacesuit twice, I think, and gone to Lantia twice. Trying to do it more after that didn't really seem worth it. I enjoyed it, but I didn't really want the Gauss rifle or anything. And so... That was lost on me, and then, then once you've done the, the adventure, you're left with a relatively small map where you've seen it all. And whilst the Mouse is a really fun map, there's only so many times you can go to the outpost. This is probably the case for the game in general, but because Chernerus is so much bigger, for example, there's so many more options in directions you can go and where fights can happen. It's not so metered around. Uh, like the Mouse is so met metered around the east and west towns. Uh, the main town, Vokuta, and then the military base is in the south, you know, and it's incredibly meta. It's in like, you know where the PvP is going to be, you know where the players are going to be, and it's not very situational. Whereas Chernerus is, you can have, like yesterday, all the stuff around the around that castle, and then the stuff around the two hills and whatnot, you know, but the, it can be different every day, whereas the mouse doesn't feel different every day. Namowski is a stunningly good map. I think it's the best modded map so far. Probably. Uh, I, I, like in terms of hours, it would be between Namowski and Deer Isle for me, in terms of what I played the most. They're both stunningly good. <coughs> There's been some other great, great modded maps too.
I think I'm going to be annoyed by this crossbow. I'm going to use it just to kill a few more Zeds, then I'm ditching it, I think. How long am I streaming? Try to, I never really know the answer to that, dude. I try to do a minimum of six hours when I'm when I'm streaming on a weekday. We're on five hours and a bit now, but if I'm still playing in two hours' time and this character's not dead, I'll still be streaming. But if in two hours' time I get killed, that'll be the end of the stream. That, that There's no set time for me to end, as it were. Now, I try to do a minimum of six hours, but after that, it really depends how the game goes. Dave and Dandelion, Ezekiel, thank you very much for the resubs. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Might be a battery in there, I suppose. Right, they're, they're a little bit of an upgrade for now because my mine were badly damaged. Loads of SKS rounds today, holy shit. And loads of food. Zenit mount's kind of useful. Quite like that. Oh my god, this is fucking twisting my mount. Maybe I should have loaded up the... Uh Loaded up the AK just to save a tiny bit of space. <gasps> Alright, I've got the space for that. the space for that one though. <sighs> zombies seem quite light today. The, the number of zombies seems pretty low. <sighs> that was that was uh, optimistic. I got the bullets out of here, didn't I? I th yeah, I, did. I think I already got them. Right, a couple more little things to check. I think we should try and get out of here fairly sharpish. I've been fucking around here far too long. As I go to try and get more food that I don't need. Ooh! I like that. One of my favourite things to find are knifey booties. You can't beat a pair of knifey booties. You're not endgame geared unless you've got Boots, it boots with a knife in it. You can forget about your DMRs and your uh, and your fucking plate carriers. It's all about the the boots with the knife.
Why don't I pick up the arrows? Because I, I got rid of the, the crossbow, dude. I, I Like I said when I arrived, I'm just going to use it to kill a few zeds while I'm here and then I'm going to drop it. So uh, I've got a suppressed MK2 pistol, a suppressed FNX and a suppressed MP5. So I'm already carrying way too many silenced stuff already to be carrying a crossbow as well and a Pioneer and an SKS. Yeah, this is like a modded baby AK, this one. It's basically a... Sim it'll, it'll behave exactly like a baby AK, I'm sure, but it's a modded version of a baby AK. Right. At least it's not raining. I need a guitar case with a gun inside. Oh, like Banderas. Yeah, it would have been nice to get the same kind of food yesterday, Big Dev. I was really struggling to get in land quickly because of food. You know, I was like struggling to get back, but I did also loot quite a lot of Cherno to, to get the food, whereas yesterday I was trying to race into the map to catch up with a fight that was already going on, you know. Bitcoin lost over 20% in the last two weeks. Where do I get some? <laughs> uh, this is not financial advice. I don't own any Bitcoin, but I've been meaning to try and dabble in it at some point. I still haven't done it. I'm sure if you if you bought a tiny bit, if you're saving, let's say you were saving thousand dollars. Like a thousand dollars is just a nice round number. It could be a hundred thousand. It could be ten thousand. It could be whatever you're saving. But if you were saving a thousand dollars and you put fifty dollars into Bitcoin, that would be kind of sensible, I suppose. You know, if you were saving a thousand dollars and you put it all in Bitcoin, maybe not. as a gorky. I don't really need to keep eating, but I've got so much food, I need to keep keep getting some in, because I need to make the fucking space. Save a little bit of space here. We might get a weapon cleaning kit off here, that would be good. Well, it's not financial advice, but I, I think it's a sensible thing to do, BP. It's decent advice, but I'm not a financial advisor, but... Like, there, there's plenty of people out there that are like, oh, Bitcoin, it's definitely going to be amazing. I'm going to put all the money I possibly got in the whole world ever in it. You know, that's a little bit gambly, you know, but it might work. Buy Bitcoin now. Keep in mind you want to hold it until quarter 4, 2024. I wouldn't buy Bitcoin if I was only intending to keep it for six months. I, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't do it. I, if I if I was like, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. By the way, that that if you're buying something to to sell it within the same year, it seems a bit more like trading than investing. You know, like, I'm not again, not not saying you're wrong. If it works for you, great. But if I was going to try and put some money into it, I'd try and do it for many years, not for six months. So this is financial advice. No, it's what I think. But you can uh, you can listen, but I wouldn't use it as financial advice. No, because I'm not a financial advisor. I love physical silver for investment. Way way too cheap. I think the trouble with physical silver, I would guess, is you've got to fucking store it, you know? Like, like I guess if, you, if you're buying silver, what is it, like, £20 an ounce or something like that? I that's a guess, but I'm guessing it's about £20 an ounce. So if you want to store a £1,000 worth, you've got to have a fucking whack of it, you know? Like, I don't know, like, more than a kilo, I'd guess, I don't know. I think 
that's partly the issue. In the UK, uh, in the UK, silver is vatable, so you have to pay VAT on it. And when you sell it, you're not. When you sell it, you can't charge VAT, of course. So when you buy silver as an investment, you're going to lose 20% as soon as you buy it. That that's the kind of the. I think the trouble with silver is that, like even silver coins, they are they are vat vatable. You have to pay VAT on them. So for some reason in the UK, uh, if you buy gold coins, I, I don't own any gold coins, by the way. Although that's what somebody would say if they own gold coins, but I don't own any. <laughs> but nonetheless, if you buy like a gold sovereign, there's no VAT on it. And, and so you don't pay any tax. You just pay, you pay a little bit above what the gold price is, but you pay a, a, a smidge over the, the value of gold. So if gold goes up 10%, chances are you can sell your gold coin for about 8% more than you paid for it, roughly. Maybe 7, who knows. But but if gold goes up, you get your money back. But if you buy silver, you need to go up, it needs to go up fucking massively for you to get your money back, never mind anything else. Like, if you buy silver, it needs to go up kind of nearly 30% just for you to get your money back. Some might call that volatility. Well, it's not volatility. It's like a 20% fee when you buy it for silver, right? That's the thing. So, like, if you had to buy shares in a business and, like, you got charged 20% of the total cost, you're really starting with, a like, a backwards... You've got a... That business has got to grow by 25% for you to see any returns, right? That would be shit, wouldn't it? You know, nobody would buy shares on that basis. If you're going to buy silver, you've got to do the same, you know? crack on this way. Now, unfortunately where we just were there was no uh, convoy which kind of sucks. Let's dumb it down a bit chat. Would you rather be a gingerbread sized human or a human sized gingerbread? I'd definitely rather be a gingerbread sized human. Then Emily Blunt could keep me in her pocket. be fine if you were a if you were a human-sized gingerbread you'd get eaten like I'd eat you I only meant pocket I'm not saying anything dodgier than that so you can all make your own fucking like double entendres I just I, I stopped at pocket and that's where I'm sticking Excalvador, thank you for the nine months, dude. I might have already said it, but thank you, dude. Really don't think I can eat anymore, can I? Probably not. I've been meaning to buy Bitcoin for about six years and I've never done it. Who would win in a fight between a T-Rex and Spider-Man? Had the discussion today at work. Inconclusive. Who would win in a subject by t between T-Rex? Well, well, here's the thing, Boomy Boy. T-Rex is, is fictitious where Spider-Man actually exists, so how can you even have that discussion? 
One's an actual character. I've seen it in a documentary from the documentary makers Marvel. Whereas the other was fiction. I saw it on that one invest that, that Spielberg made with the dinosaurs. That was fiction. With Jeff Goldblum and Sam Neill and shit, you know. So one actually is real and the other one doesn't exist. I don't know who would win, but I hope it would be T-Rex, to be honest. I, I, I would hope that T-Rex would beat Spider-Man, because Spider-Man's basically shit. <laughs> everything about... Uh, every, no, Spider-Man's not the worst of the, of the superhero stuff. I quite like the dude that plays Spider-Man, but it's so boring now. Like, like most of those films are so boring. Like, ugh. I'd quite like it if they did like another uh, Revengers Assemble type one where they all just died. Like they all just died and it was all over and that was the end of the Marvel. They're all done. And then maybe they could have like five years off and then like like bring it back and it was all like it was all a dream. It was all a all Iron Man's wet dream and now he's rusty. Yeah, we'll have that one. <clears throat> but it, it would be nice if they could just have like a five year break. They're on about uh they're on about bringing back the, the the main characters that have all just been kind of retired, aren't they? Like they've run out of ideas. Kang's in prison. Uh or Kang's not in prison, but Kang's now can't... The actor from Kang is done. Uh, they're on about bringing back, like, the old characters, like... Uh, I can't even say them properly. I was actually trying to say Captain America, but I'm so used to saying Captain Underpants, I couldn't get his name right. <laughs> it, like, like bringing back Captain America and, and Iron Man and all the others... Like, they've always got to get out of Jay field crap, field free card. Even if they kill a character off, they can just bring in one of them from the multiverse, can't they? Oh, let, let's kill another Iron Man off. We'll bring another one in from another multiverse at some point. It'll be fine. Who would win in a fight between John Wick and Chuck Norris? I really hope Chuck Norris. I hope Chuck Norris. I preferred the missing in action films than I do the John Wick films. Chuck Norris is not a real fiction, a real person. He's a work of fiction. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Uh, Jimmy and Sapien, thank you very much for the bits. To be a gingerbread sized and run up the leg of an ink of. of the Angel of Verdun, blimey. Secondhand silver is VAT exempt. It still tends to be priced in, though. Like, you don't get silver at spot price or close to it very often, do you? Like, it... If you take the coins, like uh, like when you sell a coin, you can't sell it at VAT free. So you're right, if you can buy them second hand. But for, I've never bought a silver coin, but I don't think you get like the English coins at spot price. Like like Britannia's, for example. Because Britannia's had VAT on them when you sold them, when you bought them. They do retain a bit of their price, but not as much. So it's kind of, I'm not explaining that very well. But let's say you bought a Britannia for 24 quid. The spot price was 20 pounds you'd probably might be able to sell it for 22. That makes sense. Reptilian, thank you. I will have a look at some point. But you... And that's naive, really, because you're not really going to get the spot price on it, I suppose. But you get a little bit maybe more because it's British silver, I suppose. But Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think silver is so... Uh, you need to keep so much of it. Like, if you're going to use silver as an investment for your life... You're going to need to get, like, if it's like your pension or something, you need, like, a fucking hundred kilograms of it by the time you retire, right? And even that's probably not enough. I just, I don't, don't see it personally. All of those numbers were just made up out of the pie in the sky, but... 
Yeah, you'd need like a garage of fucking silver. The villain from No Country for Old Men is your pick as best superhero. I would quite like to see uh, Anton Chigurh kill a few Marvels. Yeah, that'd be good. He could uh, he could use his uh, his uh, special uh, air gun. That would be nice. Yeah, I'd be quite like that. What about pieces of eight? You'll need at least seven of them. Yeah, exactly, Master. I guess I guess it's a small part, like anything else. Like it would be, you know. But I don't know. I'd imagine it's quite fun, though, right? If, I guess if you're collecting silver coins, I would imagine it's quite fun. Like, cause like once every now and then you can get out, get them all out, and like have like this like like philander around with them. I I would imagine if you touch them, you probably make them worth less money, I suppose. But imagine getting out and like spreading out all your silver coins all over the place and feeling like you're in Ducktales. Yeah, it'd be kind of fun. But maybe you do that like once a year, and then that, what? Then what else do you do? I, I, my character does look like he's been through it, doesn't he? I don't really need to go to the well. So we probably should go to the well. So, MTH. So what can he do to actually claim the gold, then? There's some maritime dude that's found a, a shipwreck full of gold and silver, but it's not, it's not, it's, he can't lay claim to it and won't say where it is. Is he not entitled to some kind of, like, finder's fee that's worth saying, or what? Now that is kind of useful. I could, I'm could, i going to hold it just for now and not fix anything, but we'll be using it soon enough. Where is the shipwreck then? Because surely if it's like, surely if it's, if, if a ship sinks in international waters, then you can claim it. Would it not be, it was, must it be like in British waters then or what? Like, I thought that stuff that's adrift at sea, or stuff that you find at the at the base of the ocean in international waters, is like for you to get. That's weird, isn't it? I don't really understand. Doesn't matter. I'm never going to go to the bottom of the sea, whether it's in fucking twenty foot of water or two thousand feet or twenty thousand. I ain't going. You've got gold in Nigeria. You just need eight hundred dollars to get it out. Oh my god. There's a horrendous TV show in the UK about these these old old ladies and sometimes old blokes that get conned by people pretending that they love them and sending them money. It's so sad. On that subject, if you've got an elderly grandma or grand or granddad or relative, at some point try to just like have a conversation. So many of these people have got kids that were unaware of it happening and stuff, you know. My God, please keep an eye on people and what they're, where they're sending money. It's so sad, like, people getting ripped off by, like, like they've got some pen pal that needs £10,000 because they're some drama. And they, there's people in the UK that have literally lost their house, remortgaged it, remortgaged it, and then, then lost it and lost two or three hundred grand sending it to con artists pretending that they love them. It's so fucking sad.
This happened to my wife's grandma. She sent thousands of dollars dollars to a scammer. That sucks. Pretending a child got arrested in a foreign country, yeah. There's so many scams right now, though. Like, the amount of emails. My missus gets loads of them. Like, she... Whatever... Some company has sold her email address at some point. But she gets emails pretending to the, be the post office about a failed delivery or pretending to be Amazon or... Prete Lots of you guys will as well, but she gets them, like, a couple of times a week. I get them every now and then. She gets them some way more. Maybe more than that. Like, but... Like, she's forever getting emails pretending to be a company. It sucks. Watch The Beekeeper. This is what she... Yeah, I, I, The Beekeeper's at the cinema at the moment, but it's coming on streaming soon enough, isn't it? I might try and watch it when it is. There hasn't been a good Jason Statham film for a while. Maybe that's it. Bowening, there hasn't been a good Jason Statham film. I don't know. I I think uh, I think Lockstock was pretty decent. No, it wasn't Lockstock. Sorry, I think Snatch was very decent. Snatch is an amazing film. I didn't mind the first first Transport. That was okay. Uh, I don't like any of those ones with Sylvester Stallone, and I don't like the uh, the Fast and the Furious ones. I didn't really like Crank. I did watch it. It was kind of a bit. Kind of, I didn't really like it, but it was a ugh, five out of ten. I still watched it though. I never know what to say when I'm prompted to dare my subversary. Poopy poop wee bum. I like pizza. <laughs> Poopy -poop, poop wee bum. Well, fair enough, King George. Scott Estelle, King George, thank you very much. I tell you what, King George, that is. Maybe that's you, but maybe it's not because that's insane. I don't think it is you, but. After you said poopy poop wee bum, we've had a gifted sub bomb from poopy pie, poopy pie poo poo. Holy fuck! There's some, there's some serious scatologists around the place today. Holy shit! Uh, low aim. Thank you very much as well. That is not him. There you go. Like they clearly it's not poopy. Yeah, they're poop pie. That they're, you're another dude or dudette. Uh, slingshot bunnies. Thank you for the bits. Never admit you're a philanthropist, no. Low Wayne, Poopy, Poopy, uh, King George, thank you very much. Revolver was okay, I haven't seen that in a while. That's crazy, look look at that, the, 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 the chance of that, King George, you're both kind of coming in at the same time. Operation Fortune, yeah, I did see that, that was okay, that's Guy Ritchie, wasn't it? Well, Frank is a true story. <laughs> I've not seen the Meg 2. No, I don't think I've seen all of them. In fact, I might have seen the Meg, but it wasn't memorable. I think I have seen it. Yeah, I saw that, Jay Grand, a, a series based on The Gentleman. That would be cool. I really enjoyed that film. Gentleman is a great film. It's it's one of Guy Ritchie's better. Certainly one of his best he's done for a long time. You know, I, I thought it was good. Hugh Grant can't do any wrong, can he? Bad enough. I'm carrying too much junk. Uh, 
Hopefully, thank you, Jake. Thank you so much for the new sub on YouTube. Thank you very much, dude. Mark Davies, thank you for the 16. Hi, Mike. How you doing? Hope you're good. That prostitute may say differently about Hugh Grant. Well, I don't... It could have been Hugh Grant or it could have been anyone else. She was still going to be doing what she was doing, you know? Just wrong place, wrong time. I, I don't fully understand like how anyone really uses uh, that kind of service. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to get an erection in that kind of scenario. I'd be too nervous. It was quite a long time ago, wasn't it? The real question there is, like, ima imagine you're going out with Elizabeth Hurley and then you find that, that that's uh, just goes to show that the, the, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. <laughs> Divine Brown was her name, wasn't it? It was a long time ago. But Hugh Grant can't do any wrong, by the way. Like, like he's been in some really cool things lately. The Gentleman being one. Uh, Paddington 2, uh, the very recent uh, Wonka film. He's good in that as an Oompa Loompa. He's, he's having like a renaissance I doing different things, you know. It's kind of cool. m &S, thank you very much. Uh, interesting. Well... I'm sure she's uh, like getting on the phone right now, dude. <laughs> ECNS, thank you very much for the prime as well. I don't know. I feel like I should be making that into a word, but EC, thank you. Yeah, it was pretty good in Dungeons and Dragons as well. Crazy news, I just saw online the ball boy Eden Hazard kicked in a, a decade ago. It's worth over 50 million due to a vodka brand he developed. Holy shit. I've not seen the new Godzilla movie, no. Yeah, he was decent. In, I, I really like that Wonka film as well. I, I don't really go a bundle on musicals, but I did like that. Can we just have a little sit up here and see if there's anyone there for a sec? That Borville was the son of the chairman of the opposition club. He's not some success story rags to riches. Ah, oh, there we go, look. I, I'm not really that keen on the, the Godzilla films. The, the, that one with Charlie Hunnam with the mechs, the first one, that was kind of okay. It wasn't Godzilla, but... That kind of a film, right? That was alright, but Nine months. Woo. mostly they're a I bit shit, say, aren't they? Your stream looks amazing on my computer. Like the the actual Godzilla films, I, I don't, I can't say I'm a huge fan. I think, yeah, Pacific Rim was the name of it. The days where you would watch a film like that and be like, oh my, like like when the first uh, fucking hell Jurassic Park came out. The, the actual effects of the dinosaurs were wowing you in a huge way. Like, I remember seeing it at the cinema. I was only about 12, obviously, but... I, the effects were, were such a big deal. Even, like, for the first Independence Day, like, the effects seemed like a huge deal. But now, because effects have moved on so much, you don't get wowed by effects in the same way. And so, you don't... Like, going to see a Godzilla and, like... Godzilla looking kind of real and huge is not enough anymore, you know. <laughs> I think we've moved on a touch. It's not it's not enough just to be like a great big vaguely looking like it's real dinosaur.
They need this thing called like plot and storyline. And one thing I've learnt about Godzilla over the years is that he can't talk. Which makes plot and storyline somewhat tricky. Especially if you put Matthew Broderick in there. Fucking Matt Broderick and fucking Ferris Bueller's day out bullshit. Godzilla's a shit actor, exactly. Yeah, he can't act for shit. He's got no range, is he, Godzilla? He ain't got no range. He can only play one part. <laughs> He's the Jack Nicholson of dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, I've talked about the Ferris Bueller thing for a bit, but no, I don't like Ferris Bueller. I think if I was at school and Ferris Bueller was there, I would have wanted to punch him in the face. The only thing stopping me would be the fact that I couldn't punch anyone in the face. I I can't I, I haven't seen Ferris Bueller in a, in a long time, but he's a dick. I can't stand him. ready for a tundra. I've got the scope. I've got the bullets. Just need the gun. Don't you sit on the fence. No, I won't. I actually wanted to... My missus has never seen Ferris Bueller. And I, I was trying to talk her into watching it the other week. Purely because I wanted to see if she... I think she will hate Ferris Bueller too. too. I could be wrong. But I wanted to try and get her to watch it, but she wouldn't. Uh, do I like to keep the PU off the SKS? I do when it's damaged, yeah. It's no good when it's damaged, really. It's, it's not very easy to use. Uh... But on top of that, I'm not, I'm not really using the SKS for long range right now, so... I don't think I've ever seen the film Glory, and the reason I haven't is because he was on the front cover of it, and I, I can't fucking stand him. Sorry, Matthew Broderick. I'm sure he's a very lovely man. <laughs> Maybe not if he's driving in the UK. Uh, but, or was it Ireland? It might have been Ireland, I can't remember. But anyway, nonetheless, I I, I just, I don't know. I, I Just one of those people. Everyone has that. There's definitely people that hear my voice and fucking hate it. You know, I see Matthew Bred Broderick's face and feel the same. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice. Mine is Tom Cruise. Absolutely hate his face. Blimey. I, I can't. I, one of my favourite films of all time is The Colour of Money, which is him in a, as a very young dude. And uh, So I, I can't hate Tom Cruise. He's, he's Vince. Vince Laurier, in fact, is his name in the, in the film. Prodigy of, uh, Prodigy of Fast Eddie Felsen. Yours was Paulie Shaw. I think everyone had a little bit of that, but I think that was one of Paulie Shaw's sticks, wasn't it? <laughs> I 
I think Tom Cruise did a good job of turning himself. I know, I know. In real life, he has some interesting thoughts on things. You know, like, like, we don't need to go into Scientology though. Uh, but his persona, like, there was a time where it wasn't that great. But a few good cameos in a few films, and that, like that, you said that film Collateral, and the same in the one where he had that cameo as the crazy boss in. What is that film with Robert Downey Jr. and Ben Stiller? That one. Tropic Thunder. I got it on my own. That kind of improved his persona a little bit and made up for the craziness when he was going out with Katie Hopkins and he was bouncing around on the, the chair on the sofa and whatnot. Wogan, dude, national treasure. I know he's Irish, but he, Terry Wogan's fucking hilarious. I, I, uh, I, I like Graham Norton, but I used to enjoy watching the, uh, the fucking Eurovision, the Eurovision Song Contest when Terry Wogan did it. He was fucking hilarious. I like. I think Graham Norton's funny, but he's just not as funny as Terry Wogan was great at that. I, Terry Wogan was brilliant. I, I went. To, I've said this on stream a lot over the years, but I'll say it again. Who cares? But I, I went to a screening of like a, a recording of QI when Stephen Fry used to host it, and Terry Wogan was on it, and it turned out to be a uh, a children in need special. And so at the start of the show, uh, Pudsy Bear was sitting down, and then after a couple of rounds, Terry Wogan came out as like the surprise guest, and he was just fucking hilarious. He was like it had. The guests were David Mitchell, obviously Alan Davies, and Terry Wogan, and Ronnie Ancona. And Terry Wogan was the funniest one in the show by miles. He was so just witty. He was great. Have you listened to No Such Thing as a Fish? I haven't, no. I've never really listened to a podcast in my entire life. Not one. <laughs> that's that's quite a sweeping statement, isn't it? Obviously, I've listened to, like, YouTube videos and whatnot, which could be considered podcasts, but uh, I've never gone to a place where you get podcasts and listen to one, ever. Such a cultured man. Well, I, I just listen to the talk radio instead. It's like a podcast, but it's live. Is the train convoy not to your right? Don't think so, dude. Yeah, like Spotify, yeah. And I've got Spotify, but I don't listen to podcasts on it. Nico Leonard has started Twitch, is he? Dude, he should he should hit me up. We could collab. That's something that's crazy, actually. I, no, I'm, this is a little bit of a flex, but I I probably get more live or live views on YouTube than Nico Leonard does, and he's got a million and a half subscribers. That's fucking stupid. I guess it's a different format, but he's a huge YouTuber. Uh, but as a live co, I, there's a collab there, right? Let's let's make it so. <laughs> I don't I don't see him playing Daisy somehow. Uh, I feel like I've come up here and not really checked for dudes very well, but never mind, I've done it now. Where is everyone? Uh, Chernerus seems dead. Well, Beardy, I've just been out in the middle of nowhere in the west side of the map in the forest, so this is the first base where we might have bumped into someone. And we still might yet.
Uh, Dime, thank you. Cheers for tuning in, dude. Appreciate it. There's tack back everywhere. But this is the thing with Cherner, is this server's got a shitload of people in it, but I've, I've... And I did the same on Alteria, to be fair, but while I've been trying to get gear, I've been avoiding where the players go. This is the first place where we'd have a higher chance of bumping into players that I've been for a long time. Since maybe Kamenka, possibly the Prison Island, and even those, they're quite often quiet. I've been killed here plenty of times over the years, we need to be a bit careful while we're here. I'm hoping we'll see a zombie with a plate carrier, but there ain't many Zeds, are there? I'm gonna drop the PU, fuck that. Don't need it. Definitely don't need that. Already looted this one, didn't I? That's pristine. I'd like that, but... Mm. <laughs> oh, M16. Holy sh... And a defender vest. Wow. bullets in there than that. That wasn't very many more, was it? Just making more problems. More loot, more problems. I've got 99 problems. And the loot's definitely won. Is the M16 a good gun? Yeah, it's cracking, dude. Very good. Pretty powerful. Uh, it's pretty much, along with the Org X, about the most powerful assault rifle. The FAMAS might be fairly close as well. I, I've not checked the stats, but the M16's obviously only burst fire or, or single fire. But in terms of damage per round, it's it's hard to knock it. It will knock a player unconscious quicker than uh, quicker than an AK-101 or an M4 or anything other than an Org X, pretty much. The Org X is about the same, is it? It's just whether you like the sights or not. I happen to really like the iron sights. Some people don't, but I think many hours on on modern warfare, playing hardcore search and destroy, destroy with no uh, with no red dot. I always went for the suppressor.
Where did it go? Bloop, bloop. Didn't intend to make this much noise. Where did the oh it went there? Let's go. Before I get myself killed. I've got too many guns. I've got too many guns itis and I'm not about to stop them. I'm not going to drop them either. Motorboating, the sound change is only on experimental, dude. We're on stable at the moment, so they've not changed it back. We've just not got to the new patch yet. Uh, Neckbeard, thank you for the three months. Paul O'Halloran, thank you very much for the new sub. Cheers for the support. Mellicat, thank you for the resub. Guard Troll, uh, come come on Rams. Uh, thank you very much as well. Yay Rams. I'm going for the Detroit Tigers in the in the foosball. The Tr Detroit Tigers can do it. If they can't do it, no one can. Drop the crossbow. I already did do. Dropped it ages ago. Is the football on? Wolverine. No, I, I think you'll find it's uh, it's not Wolverine in Japan. It's Tigers in Japan. <laughs> they don't have Wolverines in Japan, do they? Don't. They have... Uh, what cats do they have in... Uh, I don't know what they have. Funny, we were just saying earlier, it'd be nice to see Diaz return to some form. And then he's fucking scored, isn't he? That's good news. Hello Kitty, yeah. yeah. I know it's the Lions, by the way, but when I, whenever I say anything about American football, I always get it slightly wrong. It's just, like, my favourite thing to do. I, who's, the mo who's the quarterback for the Detroit Lions, by the way? Jared Goff. So I can call him Jeff. So, like, the, the quarterback's Jeff. Jared Fogel. <laughs> he goes by Jagoff, does he? That doesn't sound legit to me. That sounds like the sort of thing that people make up. Yeah, that's good. I'd like to be like watching the foosball, if I'm honest. I'd quite like to watch the Liverpool game, but I'm not. I'm streamering. On top of that, I uh, I don't I don't have access to it either, so I can't watch it anyway. Chocolate starfish. This should be no surprise with a name like that. But you're a bit behind, dude. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the goalkeeper has one me. Uh, nor me. I'm on the radio listening. Ooh. I did have spicy chicken pitters today. Yeah. Rather, this is bad because I'm trying to be a bit healthier. I, so far, I'm sticking to the no drinking, but I'm not sticking to anything else very well. But I had KFC for lunch, so I've had double chicken today. I'm literally trying to eradicate chickens one meal at a time at the moment. I, 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 I didn't really want to, but I got so pissed off this morning uh, and was running out of time. So I thought, fuck it, I'm having KFC for lunch, which is not very good. And it's got gluten in it as well, so I had to take a glutenolytic tablet and play the... Uh, the uh, will the tablet work roulette. Well, yeah, you can always find a link, but the, I, I've watched a few of the dodgy links over the over my years, let's say, and the frustration of trying to watch a sporting event via a dodgy link is enough to make me not bother anymore. You know, like 
Like, they never work properly. They're always getting broken. You spend you spend 30 seconds in every minute trying to stop it from freezing, and I just can't be bothered. I'm sure there's some better ones. Fourteen billion chickens a year. I was going to say a day would be a bit much, dude. We'd have to have like a whole planet for chickens. I, uh, I don't know. I'm saying, pardon me, excuse me. I only yawned. Poulet, poulet. <laughs> I played Spaggy's Miserable Apocalypse once upon a time, Hawk. I've not done it in ages. I've been, I've answered this a bit, but I've been meaning to try it again for a while. In fact, earlier today, it occurred to me that I should play it. Exactly today, I thought about playing it again, but I haven't done. Neckbeard, thank you very much for the seven months. Just for the support, dude. Thank you. So I sometimes go to the castle from here, but I think we should go to West Evac, try and get some more 556. Five, yeah, I, I've not I've not played it very much, like I say, but the uh, the Miserable Apocalypse, I, I feel like, is the sort of thing, even if you're experienced, you have to have, like, many goes at, and then sooner or later, you find a knife and the ability to make a fire and a few tins of food and a can of drink or whatever, and you get that life where everything falls into place and then you're set. I, I feel like it's probably a bit like that, but I haven't played it in a while. It, it's very much, obviously, a PvE experience, so you play it for the challenge, I guess. You're not probably not going to be getting too much PvP. I think I died like 40 times in 8 hours, getting to Gorka was a triumph, holy shit. One hundred and forty thousand chickens used to live here. Tough Dart, thanks for the prime, cheers for the support dude, thank you. I'm not surprised you didn't get very far wasted. On oh, you've had you've had quite a break from Daisy. You know you got to get a, got to ease yourself back in. <laughs> Sorry, it's a low blow. <laughs> Bilbo, dude, thank you very much for the support. Bilbo Baggins, Bil Bilbo 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 Ball Baggins, thank you. Don't yawn, it's bad luck. Not much I can do, I done did it already. It's too late. Don't blink too fast or too slow, it's bad luck. That sounds absolutely 100% right. Well, how many chicken shops in the UK is really KFC in a good option? Real, well, there aren't that many chicken shops where I live. I don't know, like, I'm the chicken connoisseur does a lot of reviews in London. It seems like there's a different chicken shop on, like, every street, right? Most of them called Favourite Chicken, and I'm not sure they're much better. But anyway... In where I live, the, the choices are limited, let's say. You can't beat, you can't knock the Colonel's special recipe anyway. You can't knock it. It's special. Secret. 
I don't think Nando's and KFC really compare. Nando's is something you go in and eat like like a meal in a restaurant. Whereas KFC is something you get in your car and you drive home and snaffle it in private, sitting in your pants while the while the the crumbs from the things like spill down, spill down your man boobs, and then you wipe your greasy greasy fingers on your pants, underpants. <laughs> They're not the same, are they? KFC, you're not uh, you're not eating in the restaurant so much. Then you have to do the, like, pick up all the crumbs quick before your missus gets back. Pull your pants up, put put your top back on, and make sure there's no chicken residue knocking about the place, because if, if there's no throw on the sofa today, and you're going to get yourself right in trouble. Or you could just let the dog lick it up. <laughs> Liverpool are playing Fulham, Fulham in the cup. KFC is way too expensive to be on the same level as McD's. I don't know. Maybe there's a slight increase in price. I don't, I don't know. McDonald's is getting more expensive by the minute. They all are, aren't they? Maybe it's more in, more expensive to, to twice, twice fry chicken than it is to stick a slab of meat inside two pieces of bread. doing here this this is really starting to peeve me off peeve me off is not a good let doesn't even cut it i've got too much shit let's drop the nine mil for a start That's annoying. All fast food is way too expensive. Well, I think everything's gone up in price, hasn't it? You know, but inflation. It, everything's gone up, but it's just reflective on the costs, isn't it? You know, like everyone's electricity bills and gas bills and whatnot have gone up. Well, so is the place that's cooking the food, you know, like they have to pay the increased bills too, I suppose. It, I, obviously, it's uh, it's a pain in the ass, but it's true, isn't it? You know, like their bills went up same as yours did, which is why the price has gone up. It's crazy how many people are like, like it's great. It's great for people to earn money and stuff. But the amount of Just Eat and Uber Eats drivers and stuff, like, if you go to any McDonald's, there's usually three or four picking up at any given moment on any given day. So, despite the fact that it might be more expensive, there's still people paying for it to be delivered to their door like every fucking day, constantly. So they're doing something right. Like it's crazy the amount of fucking like, like delivery drivers going to pick up in any given one all the time I've never used Uber Eats or anything like that I just 
I, I'm not I'm not judging anyone that does. If you see value in it, then do it. You know, it's like anything. You know, if it's valuable to you, do it. I don't care, right? But I just couldn't do it. I couldn't pay someone to go and pick something up that's around the corner. I'm sure there are people that aren't able to drive or can't get there or all, all sorts of reasons why they can't get out. Maybe they've broke their leg or whatever. There's I'm, like if I was injured, I could I could probably see myself doing it. I guess you know, but. Nonetheless, it's crazy how many people are doing it. I couldn't. <laughs> you already do that with them. Not quite, Redline. Because, like, if I wanted, I don't know, a particular cable... Where I live, there isn't a Best Buy or an equivalent. I'd probably have to travel the best part of 20 miles to go and get it. Like, if I wanted a McDonald's, there's one in the town I live, right? There isn't everything that Amazon sell in the town I live. In fact, far from it. And also, Amazon, obviously you pay for Prime, but it's normally cheaper to buy the product, and it comes next day, and the cost is not that much to get it delivered, right? Not really free, because you're paying for Prime, but I'm also getting the service from it from other things as well, but... Don't think that analogy works very well. You can't compare Amazon personally, I don't think, to Just Eat. I can't just go and pick up the same thing in an hour that I order from Amazon. Just for example, in the UK, you can buy whiskey on Amazon, you know. I can buy, uh, let's say, say I wanted to buy Boone Haven 18. It's expensive, I, I, but there isn't a shop in my town that sell it. They don't sell it in the supermarket. I'd probably have to travel 30 miles to buy it, and it would be more expensive than on Amazon. Three pound cans of coke, fuck. Well, you're not paying three quid for the takeaway, I guess. You're paying three quid for the delivery. But if that's what it is, it's not too bad. I've never even looked, but I just can't... I can't get my head around it myself. Never even looked at the price, obviously, but... Let's keep the pristine ones, I suppose. A box of rounds for the M M16 is good. This is not a good spot to do, but let's do it anyway. The delivery fees and the food is more expensive. Ah, the truth out, say. Dude, if you've got no car, I can see it, you know, I just, I just can't, I, I can't do things on principle. I, I just can't, I can't, I, I just can't see myself, I'm, I'm sure that'll change, I'll change my mind at some point. There'll be a reason why I change my mind and I use it, but right now I can't see myself doing it, you know. Where to next? I think we might go to Tissy. <laughs> yeah, they do, Hutch. You're right. Uh, Hut clutch in the gas shop and the... What was the other one? The shed, they do. I, I do normally loot them. I'll go and loot them. But you're right, I do normally loot them. There's normally bullets under the till. I guess they could be bullets for the M16 or maybe even a scope. Sorry, maybe even a, a mag.
How can I live without a slightly better quality second knife? I think there's another car along there that I didn't check as well, like a Humvee or something, but I'm not going to bother. Bilbo, thank you again for the gifted sub. Samuel Kip, thank you very much for the support. Really appreciate it. Paratus, thank you for the five months. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Paratus, Samuel, thank you very much. Uber Eats is a massive scam for drivers. Drivers aren't even thinking of the cost to maintain their vehicles as a result of driving. In the end, they just lose money. That sucks company I used to work for was really tricky with that. I, I used to work for a company called Candy King. Now, it may have changed since, and, and they were a good company uh, in many ways, but, like, they uh, they sold pick-a-mix into stores, and they had merchandisers to go and fill the, fill the fill the concessions up and make sure they were they were in good condition and whatnot. And they used to get something like 17 or 18 pence per mile. Now, it might have gone up a little bit since then, because of the petrol prices, but, like, there's no way people were getting wear and tear on their vehicle. They, they were probably getting just about the cost of the fuel they used back. But they were not getting any, any money for wear and tear on their vehicle. And if you were doing a lot of miles, you were going to be spending an awful lot on upkeeping your vehicle to earn kind of minimum wage whilst running your car into the ground. It, it was really tricky. Motorboat, and you, 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 you did Uber Eats for every year, making fifteen hundred to three k a week. Holy shit, dude! Fair play, by the way. I bet you, I bet you work like a fucking train for it, which is an admirable thing. I'm, I'm meaning. Uh, damaged. On. Take. No, I don't need to take the bullet. As we can just load it. Paratus, thank you again. Here's for the support, dude. Thank you. Where are we at? I don't know if I want to go to Tissy, actually. I think I might I might go around... Uh, I think we might go towards Vibor and Starry and VMC and whatnot and just try and find someone to shoot at. There was loads of action yesterday. If I go to Tissy, I'm basically going to Tissy for... Uh, for NBC loot, and I, I just can't be bothered. I, I want some action. The lights out streams are on YouTube already, voided. They're saved on the they're saved on the uh, live channel. Uh, there's only day two and day three because day one effectively was cancelled, so it's a two day event. Days two and three are on there now. Casper, uh, by the way, thank you for the follow on YouTube. Beardy Mr. Williams, do you think you might be a troll? I don't think you're on your regular account, Beardy Mr. Williams. I think you're on it. I bet your account has been set up in the last month. <laughs> Let's have a little click on your name, shall we? Account created 32 minutes ago. Oh, so, so what you've done is got banned and then you've set up a new account. Well, th thanks for, for joining in again. It's always interesting when you get a brand new account that's talking about something from December. Uh, yeah, what was your real name? Yeah, you were having an account before, dude. That's bullshit. Even Twitch knows you're a likely ban evader. Just so you know, I like when you type type, it's coming up next to your name, likely ban evader. So you need to speak to Twitch. Someone ban him, by the way. Let's not bother. He's clearly a troll.
Twitch have got some tools now for, for flagging people. So if somebody like gets banned and then creates a new account and comes back, it flags on the chat. Obviously, you guys don't see it, but the mods and I see it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They're, they're pretty good at stuff like that. They have got quite, quite better, quite a lot better over the years. There are there are plans to increase the bitrate per scarable. I I signed up to a beta while I was off sick about ten days ago. Uh, thanks for the heads up, those that that did Redline and some others. I'd already signed up for it, but nonetheless, it it, it was still helpful because if I'd missed it, I'd have been annoyed. Uh, but yeah, I, I've signed up for a beta, so when that starts, I should be able to start streaming in better quality on Twitch. Yeah, Starbucks, I won't be doing 4K, but I'll be doing hopefully 1440p. Wasted, I, I missed that, I've just seen somebody reply. Wasted, 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 wasted. Where are you? Did you see YouTube now allows you to give YouTube members early access to your videos? I, I, I did see that. Like when I set the memberships up, I, I had the choice to give them, uh, to give benefits, and, and I, I've got to be honest, I chose not to. Uh, beyond emotes and such, you know, like I. Uh, I, th I think, like, having a Patreon-type thing is kind of cool, and I, I, what I don't want to do is start creating, like, a haves and haves not kind of thing. You know, there are some benefits. Like, with Twitch, you, if you sub on Twitch, you don't see adverts, and that is a palpable benefit, but it's 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 not the same as getting a video a day early or something. I'd rather just release it for the people that want to see it. I'm so convinced I killed him. I think Patreon's kind or similar kind of things make sense, and if they work, they work, but if you want to get, like, same with that as well, same with uh, YouTube memberships and stuff, if you really want to grow it, you really need to add value to it. And that's a wise thing to do if you're trying to maximise your revenue streams, is to add value to the membership, add value, ship, value to the Patreon to get more people to sign up. <sighs> it's not, I don't want to do it. I don't want to add value to a paywall. Uh, I, I like. There are some streamers, for example, in the past that have turned adverts off and used Patreon. Uh, I, I don't know if he still does it, but Soviet Soviet Womble, for example, did that. I like Soviet Womble a lot. I love. I like some of the videos he's made. A lot of them, and I respect the way he's done it. You know, it's a cool way, but. Personally, for me, I don't want to do it that way, you know. I'd rather just put the adverts on and then let the videos be there. Taffa, yours doesn't say anything. What does mine say? I'm getting some serious dude where's my car uh, sort of vibes. What does yours say? Yours says dude. Oh, dude, what does mine say? Sweet. <laughs> Cosmic, yours just says first time chat, hello. What does yours say? Uh, massively biased Newcastle fan who's gone a bit quiet about Newcastle's chances since it turned out to be true that they weren't as good this year. <laughs> I've no idea if they're in well. I hope so. I agree with that, Starbucks. I think Dan Clancy's doing a good job. 
in, in the time, I still think Twitch get things wrong. And I, like I was saying earlier about how I disagreed about revenue shares on gifted subs. I do think the change they've just announced is a positive thing about Partner Plus. I'm not sure about the whole Amazon Prime thing and whether that's good or bad, but it's been done. There's nothing we can do about it. But nonetheless, I think Dan Clancy is doing a good job of relaying to the audience. He's a much more out in public figurehead for Twitch. I can't even remember the dude that, that was in charge before, but he wasn't very good. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to throw him under the bus, but he was very much a manager via memo, you know, like if Twitch wanted to make some change something, they'd just spend about six weeks writing some fucking carefully worded business letter and then send it to you, you know. There was no person coming out and telling you like it is, you know. At least Dan Clancy is there and talking, you know, like he does stream, he does go into Twitch streamers and he's he's prevalent within the community. He seems to get Twitch a little bit. The previous dude didn't. How do you notice players at distance with stuff popping in and out? Steel balls, it's just more like like really being able to pick up on like like a few pixels that look different, knowing the scenery, knowing the terrain, knowing where players are likely to be and whatnot, you know. A lot of spotting players is two things. One, map knowledge, so you really get a feel for where players are likely to be to know where to look. And two, not doing what I'm, not, I'm doing now and making yourself not be seen, right? If you take the right route, stay in tree line, stay in bushes, take your time. If you plot your way around the map really, really carefully so you're not seen very easily, you're going to see a lot more players because you're going to be seen a lot less yourself, you know. The, the best thing to do to spot players is to not be seen yourself because it gives you more time to see the players, if that makes sense. When's the last time a bear attacked you? I think I got attacked by a bear a couple of days ago, Monday, I think. On Deer Isle, I just let it attack me rather than shoot me. Do I use monitors with a built-in crosshair? No, I think that's cheating. It's a hot take. Cheating is maybe a, exploiting, maybe is a better word, but I think it sucks. It's it's something that's part part of gaming for some people, but I think it sucks. I think it's shit that that monitor companies doing shit like that. And even more so, there's apparently now AI coming out that will... Uh, God, I, I hope that they don't actually exist, but there's been a few, like a Linus Tech Tips video on a monitor that will utilise AI. And what it does... It didn't fire first time. Is it looks at your minimap and sees where players are. Let's say you're playing Call of Duty. This is... Fic like, right now it doesn't exist, but it will do soon. You've got a UAV in Call of Duty. It will look at your minimap, see where the players are on the minimap, and then put an outline on your video screen of where the players are. Like, it's literally like hacks. It's like getting hacks. It's like using your monitor to cheat, but it can't be detected. And it's, it's going to ruin gaming. It's literally going to ruin gaming. Like, it's, it's like, how on earth can you play an, an open world game where some people's monitors are turning the mi minimap into a 3D, like, through walls, like, basically like getting ESP or wall hacks from, from the, from the minimap. That's what they'll have to do, won't they, Berwinning? They'll have to start making games that just don't have minimaps. You won't get that feature. I think that was the other side of the hill over towards the airfield, but we might as well go. Who play games without a mini map? You can play you can play shooting. Tarkov doesn't have a mini map, Daisy doesn't have a mini map. There's loads of games that don't have it. 
a, a, a little mini map in the corner of the screen that's always on is not a, a necessity for any game. So I would hope they'll probably just take them out. There is a convoy spawn up the hill. You're right. I'll keep going this way and I'll, I'll have a little scan over to the right. Fake news, all games have mini-maps, okay. <laughs> uh, there's no discussing with that. You need to put some little winks or cappers neck beard, okay? It'll help. Sam Fox Strip Poker didn't have a mini-map. Hey me. Please explain why you run around with no gun out. Because I'm not in a fight. If I'm at the airfield, I'll always keep a gun out. Right? I always forget about the Amazon thing. If you're running like here, we are fairly close to the airfield, but it's this is not so dangerous. I look pretty geared right now. If I've got a gun in my hands, it, it doesn't always work, of course, but... If someone's going to be friendly, they're much more likely to not shoot you. Like, you could be running across a field in someone's crosshair and they choose not to shoot you because you're running with no gun out. Now, it you, might not happen a lot. Keep running. You might just die. But every now and then, you won't die because you're running with no gun out. I've had it this year alone already, at least once, twice maybe. But people will choose not to shoot because you're running with no gun out. Whereas if you were in that same scenario and you had a gun in your hands, it's far safer for them to shoot you. So, it's more like a like an intent. If you're in, take it to the extreme. If you happen to be an Electro with an M4 and it's in your hand, chances are you're looking to shoot new spawns. But for whatever stupid reason, if you happen to be an Electro with an M4 and it's on your back, chances are you're not there to shoot new spawns, you know. And now, that's not necessarily definitely true, but it's a good guide, right? And players do play, not everyone, but some do play that way. So if they see you looking aggressive, they'll kill you. No convoy, unfortunately, just the one that's always there. There could be loot at it from a previous convoy, but I'm going to try and get to the heli. I'm not sure. It, it might be more that way. I don't think it's here. I think it's over there. But we'll go and check this one first. Pools of, yeah, the mouse might be a different kettle of fish altogether. You may well be correct. But on a map like Chernerus. Yeah, itty bitty. I agree. Like, if you're in a military base, you might as well have your gun out anyway. Because you will get shot anyway. You will. Molecube, thank you for the prime. Skisto, thank you for the resub. Uh, Jamie and Mark Anthony, thank you for the resub. I should have filled up the canteen, the canteen while I was there, really, but never mind. This is taking ages to get to where I think the hell he is. I, I, I don't think it's the one that's close to us here. I think it's more to the left, but there is one that's just on the other side of these trees and not very far. It could be there. Mr. Griff, I've not tried the Daisy Modern Armour Reforger yet, no. 
I know a lot of people did, and you can uh, you can play Chernerus, but with the new engine and sort of have a look at it and whatnot. But I've been avoiding it just for now, uh, for a number of reasons. The main one being that it's still a military simulator; it's not really DayZ, and the zombies are not really, from what I've seen, they're not really there yet. But I may try it at some point. But I'm kind of hoping that I won't have to, and there'll be new stuff for DayZ. I don't use any NVIDIA filters or anything, Tyler, no. I use the game as it comes from the dev, so I don't change anything in the NVIDIA stuff. Aside from things like activating G-Sync, which improves, like, the, the smoothness of the game, but it's, it's more like a an FPS and performance thing. It's not really a uh, visual thing. It could have been over there. I might be wrong, but I think it's the one that's down here in the trees. It's possible to get poison from an onion food can, little midget. We met somebody the other day that had. If you uh, if you eat the whole can in one go, unknown food can potentially make you sick. Half time it's still Liverpool nil. Sorry, Liverpool one full and nil. Very cool. So they've got a two goal head start at the moment, right? So, I, I, well, they're two. Uh, Fulham need to score two goals to bring it back to level, which is kind of good. They can afford to drop a goal. I never check that hunting stand. I'm not going to now either. But. starting to doubt myself now, but where I think it is, is just up ahead this way. If not, it might be back over there, but... Away goals don't, know, but I mean, Liverpool won 2-1. 2-1 at home, so if Fulham scored two goals, then that would be equal on away goals and home goals or anything anyway, you know, so... But it doesn't mean any odds, you know. Right now, like, Liverpool can do... Like, if Fulham score one, Liverpool have still got three, basically, right? I thought I'd see it from here, actually tell you where it could be. It could be the one over by that red and white house just over there. That's right in the open if it's there. Fuck. That's not one I really want to go to. It's fucking deadly. There is one in a gap in the tree somewhere around there, but it's not there. This is not smart, is it? I definitely shouldn't be in this field. Are there any guns at helis which you can't find at the convoys? In theory, no, but... At convoys, I seem to mostly find FAMAS's DMRs and Org A1s for the most part, and FALs. I found FALs. Convoys seem way, way better. At helicopter crash sites, you can find DMRs, but they seem a lot rarer. Whereas at, at, at helicopter crash sites, it's you get seem to get more things like AK-74s and like other more kind of normal guns. But helicopters are definitely not as good as convoys to check. Aren't you getting bored of playing Daisy at some point? First time chatter. Are you not getting bored of watching? <laughs> no, I'm not. Because I'm streaming and it's different, dude. I, I really enjoy streaming. Streaming is different to just playing. I understand the question, dude. I do get asked it quite a lot. but uh, And it's the same boring analogy I give, to be fair. But it's like asking a radio DJ if they're fed up of playing music. If they... I know, if they're a country and western DJ, don't you get fed up of playing country and western, but they're, they're presenting a radio show. They're not just playing the music, you know. And likewise, I, I really enjoy playing DayZ. It's my favourite game of all time, but streaming DayZ is a really different thing, you know. Really got, got the line of this helicopter wrong. I can't fucking work out where it is. It must be back here somewhere.
There's one there. There's one potentially there as well, but they're not there. There's a, there's also one that, that can spawn in that field. So there's one there, one there, and one over there. Another one potentially over there somewhere. Would you get bored of 30k plus a month? Why me? No. It might be near Vavilova, that's kind of where I'm going back to now. Hicka Matt, thank you for the 15 months, dude. Scott, hello, how's it going today? It's been a bit slow, actually. I did the first half of the stream on Alteria, and uh, I died a lot. And then I got one half decent life and then died. And I've switched to Chernerus and it's been quiet. Partly because I've been looting for so long, but now I'm ready for action, kind of. And I can't seem to... Uh, well, I've spent my, well, the last ten minutes running around in a circle looking for a heli site, but... I can't seem to find the action is the issue. Tompty, there's a couple of different ones around here as far as I remember. Oh, fuck. Am I on official service? No. Changing about Daisy or Ad, what would it be? I'd like to improve the zombies. The zombies are a bit broken still. I don't mean in terms of how hard they are to kill or even the melee necessarily, but how they behave, how they aggro, how they pathway. They have improved a bit in the new experimental. That's cool. Thanks for the bits, dude. Thank you. Somebody was asking me about Pal World yesterday, and I hadn't seen anything about Pal World. Are you going to try it? And I didn't know anything about it. And last night, I went to Twitch, and I watched about five seconds of some Pokemon flying about. <laughs> I didn't even turn the sound on. <laughs> I literally just turned it on, saw some flying Pokemans, and thought, fuck that, and then immediately went away. <laughs> That's as far as I got. I didn't even turn the sound up of the stream. <laughs> so yeah, Pal World won't be for me, I guess. It's not my type of game, no. Power World. And yeah, that, I saw some drama this morning about Power World saying they might get some trouble from Pokemon, but I don't think they've done any direct copies, you know. They've got some, some similarities, but I don't think any of them are directly copied, you know. I don't know. Seven million copies? Holy shit. I guess they're making a lot of that because of the Pokemans, maybe. Room. Well, what I saw this morning is that the person that had outed the directly stolen 3D models had changed the size of them a little to make it look like they were directly stolen. So uh, I'm not saying you're definitely wrong, but I saw a fleeting headline that suggested that the evidence was a bit bogus for that. Again, that doesn't make it definitely true. Just clock the golden eye waiting room music. Sweet. Keep on running, dude. Thank you. I'll do my best. Here's for the support. Reedy, thank you very much. Ticker, thank you as well. I think there's one up in the trees near here, which is where I think it might be. There's, 
There's one down, lower down. This way. Which you're right, I probably would have seen from Lopatino. But there's one up here somewhere in the trees as well. There it is. It's the one down here. I can't believe it. Nintendo seem to spend half of their life just mad. Could have gone. I should have gone for a piss, really. Never mind, could have. I kind of vaguely need a wee, but I was so desperate to get to the heli, I didn't go for a piss. I wanted to get, and get here and find it. I think the uh, the smoke doesn't range in, maybe because of the angle I took. If, you, if you're more than a kilometre away, the smoke doesn't render in anyway. Right, I'm not sitting in the chair properly. I need to... I need to get in the chair properly. I pushed my chair back when the server restarted and not sitting properly. Definitely need a gun out now. sound to be there at all. At least I didn't get that direction from it whatsoever. Sorry guys, one sec. Do you have a back scratch of a streaming? Because I have one for watching, yeah. Don't give me ideas. I'll get a I'll get a back scratching person. No, I won't. Wanted Emily Blunt lookalike for back scratching. That that's not the way you can do employment. Just so you know, just as a heads up, that wouldn't be allowed. I died earlier pushing to get to a heli site a little bit quicker than I should have. I feel I'm pushing a little bit quicker than I should be for this one too. Oh. Don't need MVG sites. Let's just get to the trees, double quick. I was kind of hoping we might get like a, even maybe a 60 round 556 five, mag or a 30 or a 40 or something, you know, like, you do get them at convoys quite a bit, but you, 
like I say, the helicopter crash site loot. Even on servers that have got, like, not necessarily booted, boosted loot, but slightly more loot at helicopters and convoys, they still seem shit, the, con the helis. Like, you can be playing on a server like Zero or Day One or Karma Crew and whatnot. The loot in the map isn't really any more. But the helicopters and convoys seem to sometimes have more loot as such. But they, they really don't. The real Emily Blunt wouldn't suffer any doppelgangers in the house. Yeah, that's true, Sip. Nice, nice uh, compliment to Mrs. TRMZ there. I'll pass that on. Does anyone call me TRMZ in real life? No. I don't do an awful lot of talking about uh, what I do in real life. Like, really hardly ever. It's one of the things that's really cool about being a streamer is that it's it's really like for the people that are in this chat and me right now, you know, like it kind of feels like a little club you're part of, but then when you're not streaming, you're not in the club. Gen Z, it's it's not a flex in in like where I like the kind of people I'm likely to meet. Most people don't know what Twitch is, so it really isn't a flex. I don't meet many people that would be incredibly impressed that I'm a Twitch streamer or a YouTuber. It, it's actually quite rare. My most common thing is more explaining how you make money from YouTube and Twitch because people don't understand. And then when they realise you play a video game, they're like, what? Are you a kid? You look a bit old. They, people don't really get it. That'll change over time because... Uh, well, it, it will, like... Gaming has changed. Loads of people like playing games until their 50s, 60s, 70s and whatnot. Hasten to add I'm in none of those brackets before some fucker starts, but... <laughs> Drop loot. Drop loot from a fight. Now, I've told the story a few times, but once upon a time I went to one of my uh, my other arse mate's birthday and I sat down on a table and this lady was there that asked me what I did. And I'd never met her before and I started telling her what I did and she literally, while I was still talking, got up and walked away. <laughs> That's what she thought about what I did. Like, I, 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 I kind of... <laughs> uh, I, I kind of felt like... Uh, Getting a bit irate, but I didn't. Like, like, there's no point flexing about earnings and things, but I, I could have kind of like quantified it a bit. But obviously, that's not the way to be. There's a few people vaguely interested. The dude that cuts my hair always asks me how it's going, and he watches like uh, he watches mostly YouTube shorts. But he watches he's interested in golf, and he watches a few golf YouTubers, and he understands about it, and he he's kind of suitably impressed with it himself, even though he he's not really doing it himself or anything. But it's quite rare, you know. The person that asks me most about how it's going more than anybody else is my other half's dad. Uh, he, he asks me how's it going, but I think he's more like. Are you providing for my for my daughter kind of thing more so than actually really how it's going? I, I, I would imagine. I can't remember the name. It may well watch Rick Shields, but I've no idea. Try being an accountant. Dean, I... Years ago, I used to work in a shop that did, like, TVs and hi-fis and stuff. And the owner of the store used to fix TVs and hi-fis and used to sell them. So if somebody asked him what he used to do, he used to tell people he was a social worker. 
because nobody will nobody used to ask questions because if people if he asked him what you do and he said I own my own shop selling TVs and hi-fi someone always said oh I how do you use video plus I'm really struggling with my hi-fi can you help me how to tune it in how do I do this how do I do so uh, he uh, he used to say he was a social worker to avoid all the stuff <laughs> Uh, uh, what's your wife's job? Uh, she uh, jacked her job in uh, just over three years ago to help me doing this. She's uh, running, running, running ladies. So she was a uh, in uh, she was working in a lab as a quality control engineer. Like making sure that the the lab was like everything that they were selling was to spec, and uh, like e everything was being made on the assembly line to spec and whatnot. And if there was any issues, like what the procedures were to fix it and all that kind of stuff. I'm glad we ran around for that heli for fucking 20 minutes. It was worth it, wasn't it? Not at all. Now she's effectively a tax dodger. I wish she was. Her tax bill's almost as big as mine. Server seems dead. It's not. Uh, uh, uh. Server is full. How much you want to bet you'll end this quiet run at that hospital just down the way from an insta-kill sniper you never see? Plus Rod, that's exactly the kind of thing that happens on a run like this. Adam, you like Andy Dufresne. You're the Andy Dufresne. I hope you don't start doing the warden's taxes. Salvation lies within, dude. Did I say love you by? No, I fucking didn't. Reedy, yes. I, like, we're both... Uh, what I do is... Uh, I, I'm registered as a limited company and we're both directors, yeah. I'm not married, Adam, no. We've been living together for uh, five and a bit years. We are engaged. Like, the lockdowns and many other things have delayed any other things, though. Do you say love you by when you finish making love? No. Can you can you you kill someone? No. Yes, they're riding under that rock. <laughs> ah, there you go. Look, I just splurged him with the the flamethrower attachment. Carlos, Steve, I can neither confirm nor deny. Skippy, no, I didn't take it that way. It's all good. I was going to shoot that rock, but I was worried I might, like, uh, kill some kind of, like, crustacean or some kind of, like, insect. <clears throat> there might be some kind of, like, little crab or freshwater thing living under there that I've disturbed its local environment, dude. We'll have Greenpeace on our case.
can of food. I've got a fucking shitload of it. How's the no alcohol for 75 days going? Fine, I'm not really missing it, to be honest. I'm not really doing brilliant. I did say this earlier, but I'm not doing brilliant at when eating healthily. When you offered me this job and said my payments and benefits would be under the table, I didn't think you meant your computer table. You did say I wouldn't get much, though. <laughs> Damn right. Just for the support, first kill. Black Label, thank you very much for the support. Reedy, thank you as well. Yeah, I, I've not had any alcohol for... I can work it out. Saturday was 14, Sunday 15, 16... 17, 18 days, so not not that long so far, but Almost I'm not really not really bothered about the alcohol. Thank I'm just God not I I my, my diet hasn't ready. improved enough yet. Like I had KFC today of all fucking things, for example, you know, I'm, that's not great. But Ernsty, thank you very much for the sub, dude. Thank you. Eighteen days with no I kind of not missing it, just missing the will to live is all. Yeah, there is that. I'm not, to be honest. I I have to be honest, I, I for about three weeks I had alcohol every day around Christmas, like two weeks before and coming up to just after New Year's Day, roughly. And I I, I kinda liked it in some ways, but I, I like in others it, it just makes me feel worse. I, like lack of energy, bad sleep patterns, my skin on my face gets so I get all like rosacea from alcohol now. I like I get really pink skinned like I've been drinking whiskey every day for my entire life after I've had alcohol about three times now. The Fergie look, exactly, yeah. McLanger, three, 23 years, eh? Blimey. Lots of players are in the server at the coast as a freshborn. Maybe. We found a lot of action yesterday around Starry and, uh, well, around where we're heading to now, so we may well be getting some action fairly soon, but... I don't really want to do any more looting. I would very much like a bigger mag for this M16, but I don't think I'm going to bother trying to find one. I say blimey. Yeah, I do say blimey, Mariner, yeah. Redbreast is great, monkey. Yeah, it's really good. I've been trying, I've, I've really, maybe I've not been trying until after Ishkino tents, but I'm doing my best to find dudes, and I'm trying to go, I'll head towards Starry, I think, which is where we got lots of action yesterday, but it's been tricky so far today to, to make it happen. No fucking dudes. Ezra, yeah, I actually did. I haven't weighed myself in about a week, but... I, may, maybe less actually, but more than a week after I was no longer sick, I'd still kept all the weight off. So yeah, maybe because I'd stopped drinking alcohol at the same time, that helped. But I lost nine pounds when I had a sickness bug and I didn't put any of it back on like a week to ten days later. However, maybe uh, a few KFCs like today might assist with that, but we'll see. I think partly why it didn't is that I was possibly artificially high. Like, if you have a bit of a binge, like, like you can put on quite a lot of weight in a short amount of time, but it's not all fat, if that makes sense. Like, if you if you have, like, two weeks of overeating and overdrinking over Christmas, or three weeks, as I did with the drinking anyway, like, there isn't, it doesn't matter how hard you try, you can't put on, like, a stone or, like, 15 pounds. Maybe you can, but you could put on physically, say you could put on 15 pounds in three weeks. But the second you just start eating like normal again, within a week you'll lose half of that. Because not all of what you put on was fat. A lot of it is just like fucking story. You like storing extra water and extra shit. Fuck knows what it is. Literally shit it could be. <laughs> but you do, you do put on extra weight that isn't fat. You know, not all of it is. So yeah, that, that might be partly why I didn't put it back on. I was probably slightly over 
overweight, as it were. Three and a half thousand calories is one pound of fat, assuming you don't burn anything, obviously. You know, if you're burning three thousand calories a day, you have to eat a lot of calories to put a pound on a day, you know, like... I've had some fights in Vibor lately as well, but uh, maybe not today. Maybe we could have a look at VMC. There was people on VMC, like we had loads of fights around VMC Hill yesterday, didn't we? Maybe we could go there. Oh, no, no, it's never quite that simple, but it's kind of like a rough guide, I think, that three and a half thousand calories thing. I do feel like I've always been able to put on weight real easy. Like, like my, just taking an example, my two kids, one of them, they both eat pretty much the same stuff, but one of them, like, can hold uh, her weight a little bit more than the other. I'm trying not to be indiscreet because... I love my kids equally, but one can eat fucking chocolate and crisps all day long and not put any weight on, and the other one can't. Is the basically the way it is. I, it just seems completely unfair that, that. But some people seem to have a metabolism that works a way differently than others, you know. But my two kids, they like. Unfortunately, one of them's got my metabolism, which is you you eat a third of a milkshake and you put on fucking half a stone. O H L L Bonji. The other one, I think, has got more of a mum's, where she can eat crisps and fucking chocolate and fizzy drinks all day and be like a sparrow. Like, like, like sparrow's legs. I'd be staggered if we don't find some action fairly soon. I just hope we find some action where I get a kill or two before I die. A great buzz. Yeah, I've not done a very good job the first few days this week, but I was walking crazily for most of last year, and I'm going to try and carry that on this year. I'm not going down the gym or anything, but I, I walk like an extra walk of about an hour and a half nearly every day. But so far this week, on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I've not done it once. Because I had to take my mum to the hospital on Monday, then stream. I had to take my mum to the hospital yesterday and then stream. And today I spent all four, four fucking hours doing my banking and trying to sort my fucking tax payments out. And so there was no room for any anything. But I'm trying to walk every day where I can. Barring surprises. Jungo, take it easy, dude. Thanks for coming in. I think BMI is uh, is not right for everyone. People are very quick to discount it. I am overweight, and I know I am. I've got too much belly fat. Right, even now I've lost some weight, but I've got to, I should lose a bit more. But people discount BMI because of examples like that 116 kilo squatter you just mentioned, right? Like a rugby player, a professional athlete that's really muscly is not a good example on BMI, but most of the people that say stuff like that are not professional athletes or training rugby players. They're fat bastards like me, you know, like... BMI might not be perfect, but most people that are in the obese scale probably are a bit overweight. That's the truth. Not most... Most of them aren't fucking li li lifting Atlas drones and training for the world's strongest man or something, are they? You know, like, The reality is, for most people, it's not a bad guide. But it might be flawed if you're very tall and very muscly. But if you happen to be normal height and a bit flabby, it's probably a reasonable guide.
Oh, I've even looked at the hill and everything. Watch me run over there and there'll be a fucking squad. Sour killed half of the fucking server around me yesterday, didn't he? Hunter, I'm not looking to try anything like intermittent fasting. No, I don't, I'm, I'm sure it works, but we've had these conversations a lot, believe it or not. But uh, I, I, I'm not quite doing well on the eating healthily front yet. I'm, I'm not, I've not adjusted properly since Christmas, but I'm, I'm gradually doing better, right? But I don't want to do any tricks or gimmicks or anything that will work that's not really just a normal way to eat. Intermittent fasting may not be that, but... Last year I lost 43 pounds. I put on a little bit. I think I'm, I think I'm now about 30 pounds lost. I think over most of November and December, I think I put 13 pounds back on. So I'm net 30 pounds down, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I, I'm going to lose weight again this year. I'll, I'll lose more, but I don't want to do intermittent fasting or anything else like that. What I want to do is breakfast, lunch and dinner and exercise a bit more and just let it gradually fall away. That that seems to be a much better way for me. Anything else like keto or even intermittent fasting and stuff, as soon as I stop doing it, I'll put the weight back on. To be fair, I, November and December, I did put like 13 pounds back on, like I say, but uh, I, uh, I think that's a combination of the cold weather, raining shitloads, not walking as much as I wanted. And the alcohol that I started drinking from early November that I wasn't drinking at all from May till October. I can soon uh, get back into the swing of it. Yeah, I, I like. It's not actually abnormal to put on a little bit of weight in, in winter anyway. It's almost like a human thing, isn't it? Or like a we're almost preconditioned to do it. But nonetheless, I. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure all those things work, but I'm, I'm, I've done a lot of diets in my time. I've done a lot of yo-yoing. I feel like losing pound a week by walking a bit more and eating a bit less is far, far more sustainable in the long run than intermittent fasting and trying to lose crazy weight in short time because you, you do pile that back on always. Or half a pound a week. It doesn't really matter. I'm have a quick look behind. just so many players here yesterday it was insane and today so far it's not that Alex how you doing hope you're good thanks for coming in I haven't got loads of time left, but I'm doing my best to try and uh, find some action beforehand. You know, like I didn't think we've been on we've been on uh, Chernerus for about four four and a half hours. I've been geared for quite a while of that. I didn't think it would take this long to try and find something based on. I'm on the same server as yesterday, and the amount of action and squad play and crazy shit that we got involved in yesterday. I just don't know. Like we're not even hearing that many shots. Maybe it's because half and of the server's re-gearing because they all died. $32.67. One euro per pound. 30 pounds is really great. I am impressed. Ernstie, dude, thank you. Cheers for the support, man. Thank you very much. Tower made everybody rage quit. Well, there's a load of new people in today then because the server's still full.
How come I never build a base? Because I'm streaming, dude. Like, right now there's probably somewhere close to 5,000 people watching in total, maybe a little bit less. Roughly. I don't know. But streaming to that many people and telling them where your base is that you're building doesn't involve keeping your base for very long. Well, that car wasn't there yesterday. This car was here, but it was upside down, was it? I don't remember seeing it, but you may well be right. I know they were talking about an upside uh, down car, but I was running around here. I never saw that one, but you may well be right. I'm not uh, reading chat just for a mi minute because yesterday that tree line there all around here all around the other side there it was all so fucking busy with players it may not be today it might have just been the way it was yesterday and perhaps people were dying and then running back and dying again kind of thing and it was like like self-fulfilling in a way but it might not be like that today but I'm a little bit conscious of players. Fucking hell, I just done a. I really thought there was somebody prone there. It's just some rocks in the fucking grass. Jesus. Really has been a while since I've seen someone. I once shot a rock like that on the north northwest airfield. That was a good day. Headshotted it, I did. Did I hit it? Yeah, of course I did. It wasn't a player. Very nice, Paul. Thanks for the update. 20 minutes to go. Liverpool-Chelsea final is kind of a good one, I think, you know. not definitely happened yet though. Oh, there has to be people around Starry, just based on how yesterday was. I know I've not been to Tissy or the airfield, but they're not necessarily the best places to get action. Certainly they weren't yesterday. Partly the reason why I came this way was just so I didn't spook those, those boar. I wanted to leave them where they were.
Cage, I, I don't think Zero are going to add an Aussie server, I'm sorry to tell you, dude. Uh, it's kind of tricky to do that, like, because I'm... Let's say if I was hosting servers, right, I'm going to host them near where I am, because they're, that's where I'm going to play, you know, like, starting a server that the whole community you've built... I, I know I have viewers in Australia, but I'm not going to play with, like, 300 ping, and so... Like, for example, in the Zero servers, if, if Happy Bomb started one, uh, he wouldn't probably play on it, and a lot of, lot of other people wouldn't play on it, and then it wouldn't be full, you know? Like, it's with regards to vanilla servers, or more lightly modded servers, let's say, it requires a few streamers in it to help fill it up in the, the in early stages. The Zero servers are full now because of the Zero community and nothing else, but streamers help a little bit as the shop window in the first place, you know? Uh, which is why you've got servers like Day One, because of Smoke, and then a lot of other people that played on it too, and and so on. It's it's really hard to sustain a server without that initial kick. Just having the name Zero and being in Australia wouldn't make it full. It would need to have a few people on it consistently for a while to attract people to it. If that makes sense. Fulham have just scored. Well, there we go. It's a good job I added after saying Chelsea Fulham would be a good. Sorry, Chelsea Liverpool would be a good final. It's not definitely happened yet. It's a good job I didn't uh, leave that out, and uh, that way at least I'm not being complacent. Right. Get back behind that wall. I just want to quickly scope out one more time. Then I'm going to run across. The nice thing with a wall like that is if, say, I got shot from there and got knocked unconscious, I'm falling behind the wall. They, they can't finish me off. That's such a big deal. It might not stop me getting hit, but it would potentially stop me getting killed. I'd say that's got to be like 800 to there, maybe more, but let's just have a look. But it's more. Eight, 860 there, so it's like... 960 a thousand to that. <laughs> I killed like four or five players in, in, well, at least three, maybe four over there yesterday. Where Burwinning died around there. I'm going to head towards Starry, but before I do, I'm just going to quickly fill up at the well over at Kras uh, Cabernino. I've got two ca two bottles, one canteen, one bottle, and might as well uh, get the hydration up and then fill up, and then we'll head over that way. If streaming wasn't my profession, would Daisy still be your most played game? Definitely. Daisy was my most played game before I ever streamed, I think. I'd got about... I think I'd got about 25 days in Modern Warfare roughly. Uh, which is a long time, 25 days playing a video game, but I, d I definitely got more than that in DayZ in the first two years. Uh, I'd say in the in the first year. I, DayZ was just so much of a breath of fresh air and like, like the right game at the right time for me. Irrespective of YouTube, you know, I just played it to death. I, before I ever made a YouTube video, I was like... I would be playing. I'd be playing with a couple of buddies or whatever, and I'd start playing at like 9 p.m. when the kids went to bed, and then I'd look out the window, and it was getting light the next morning and stuff. You know, I, I haven't had that. I had it with early Modern Warfare a little bit, but nowhere near to the same level. Hardcore Search and Destroy was my... Th I loved Hardcore Search and Destroy on uh, Call of Duty.
I didn't really mind the map. I can't remember the maps really well. I, I was quite keen on Ambush, which was not the most popular, but I really quite like Ambush, but I liked most of the maps, you know. Uh, there wasn't many I didn't like. I didn't like the one with the kind of rockets, the more open one with the kind of, like, rocket launcher missile things. I can't remember the name of that one. Very Block was great. Crossroads was great. Uh, there, there was loads great. I can't remember the names of them all now. Yeah, back when COD was still fun. The one that turned me off was COD Ghosts. Coincidentally, talking about right game, right ga time, COD Ghosts came out when the PlayStation 4 came out, which was around October 2013, roughly, from memory. And the reason I can timeline that is because in December 2013, I started watching Frankie on PC's video, videos and then bought DayZ and then started playing DayZ. So it was almost COD Ghosts not being very much fun that pushed me into that pushed me into trying out and looking into getting into PC gaming for DayZ. Boss Bailey, happy birthday, dude. Overgrown was a cool map. It wasn't, it wasn't, I don't even think it was on Hardcore Search and Destroy. I don't remember it. But Overgrown was fun for, like, domination and whatnot. But, but it, honestly, it seems such a long time ago now. Like, I don't even know when Modern Warfare was, but it feels like it was a different person playing it. It was so long ago. It's like talking about playing Sonic or something. No, it seems that long ago. Yeah, Overgrown wasn't any good for Search and Destroy, I don't think. Bondu, where it was pretty positive for me, I guess, yeah. I don't think I would have become a YouTuber if I'd carried on playing Call of Duty somehow. I released one little video on my YouTube channel. I deleted it, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have done, but... Before I started making DayZ videos, there was one video on my channel, and it was from... I uh, can't remember. One of the ones with a grenade, and it, it was just like a... A 60-second clip of me, or maybe a 30-second clip, of me... Like throwing a nade and sticking it onto a player and then the whole of the team dying. I think I killed five players with one stick on. So I stuck it on a player and he died, but he was next to everybody else and they all died. That's the only thing I ever put on YouTube for about ten years. It might have been about 2009 maybe, I can't remember. It didn't get many views. Yeah, I liked Ambush was the one with like the road running down the middle in it. Like every COD map, there was three routes. You could either run over the road or you could go under like the sewers. But I kind of liked it. We killed two players here yesterday as well. And it's clearly a lot quieter and there's not as much going on. But I wonder if because there's not four of us... Like yesterday, today I'm on my own. Yesterday there was there was three other players with us. So it only takes one to see a player or one to be seen. And then it draws action and then that action can go on for a while. So maybe that's partly it. You know, if you're in a bigger squad, like if you were a lone wolf plotting around, you can perhaps go unnoticed. Like we could have had big squads near us today, but they didn't see me and I didn't see them and... The main positive for me today so far is that whatever I did titting about with my NVIDIA drivers this morning has made everything run smoother again. So 
the game feels beautifully smooth again today, unlike it has done for the last four or five days. Felt ropey as fuck. That starry sobor neckbeard. Got some behind and to the right. Possibly, I didn't turn round because I was too busy trying to focus on whether the only one was here or not, but could have been more Grishino, could have been the airfield. That's over towards VMC, that's, that's where, I, where I just came from. I'm going to go towards that. Fuck it. Uh, this will be the last chance, guys. I'm going to go and try and get towards those shots. They're back over towards where, around where that car is, or maybe VMC Hill, but they're around there. Uh, we may well be able to get into that, but I literally was there about 10 or 15 minutes ago, and it was dead. Now there's fucking shots. Here's the problem. I'm so desperate to try and get some action. I'm running across open fields trying to get straight to it. I'll probably just run straight to a bullet now, won't I? But it happens when you're five hours in on the same character and you've not seen anyone at all. Three minutes plus stoppage time, one all. Oh, come on. I'll take that. One all away at Fulham. That's okay. And it's not ideal, but it'll do. They're in the final. That's what matters. But it's not, it's not happened yet, you know. It could end up going extra time. You never know. I hope not. Well, I'm a pretty decent. Don't mind. Uh, I was always going to aggro him, but I, I really didn't want to. Hi, Heatman. You're right, dude. Ernsty, thanks again for the tip. Slackintosh and Angelus, thank you for the resub. Of course, the the uh, the unwritten guaranteed rule in Day Z is, of, of of course, the main one is, as soon as you get to roughly the area where the shots are, there'll never be any more shots until they shoot at you. <laughs> that's all. That's guaranteed too. I thought I had a uh, epinephrine, but I don't have it. Got a pox and an epoxy, but no, no epipen. actually at BMC, I think. I'm going to aggro the boars now. Now 
Now we've got to be a bit wary. It's not just the shots. It could be aggroing other players from like over there. Like I know we were just in Krasno, but sorry, Cabanino. They could be coming from the north. We could end up getting pinched by someone else coming to investigate. So just because the shots were there, it, we, sh we should probably start by looking a little bit north and just see. When it, I'll stop in a bush and end up getting shot from above or possibly south. I suppose. Seen him the other side there. Seen one running around the other side of that barrack there, I think. Four added minutes. Eh? Call it 500 to the wall then is about right. That was happening yesterday. That's weird, isn't it? That anti-aliasing. There's a zombie in there. Oh, player on the airfield there. Pink armbands. We saw them yesterday. Or player on VMC. 650. I think that's probably pushing our luck, but let's wait and see. 28 months. Here's to you, kind sir. That's weird, isn't it? We were just on VMC Hill hardly any time ago. Now there's players there. They were looking south. There's one going up. He's also a pink armband. This rain is going to make it impossible to see these fucking... get my gun range back down. That was a blaze, I think. Lucky he missed, really. Can't make it. Oh. He went as well. I don't think he died. He dropped, though. I saw him drop just as I did, but I don't think he died. Well, that just about sums up how it was going to go. That sucks. Ah, oh, fuck me, dead. He insta-killed me as well. He must have hit me in the head. I don't know what gun he had, but, like, I didn't tank a shot and go on con like he may have done. He's probably just hit me in the head, which fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, five hours just to die. There we go.
And let's do it all again tomorrow. I can hardly wait. Fuck's sake. I did kind of predict that, though. He came from north. I did say we've got to be really careful about getting shot from above. And sure enough, we got shot from above. I enjoyed the loot route, but it's so frustrating when it goes like that. And unfortunately, that's the way it can go, you know, for anyone. You know. Uh, Angry Beef, thank you for the 28 months. Uh, cheers for the support. I'm pretty sure he dropped as well, but I think he only went uncons. So he'll probably get back up. Refunded points as always. I don't know what to but fair play. Uh, Angry Beef, thank you very much for the 28 months. Guys, that's it from me. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a better run tomorrow. I'll probably start on something other than Chernerus. I'm not sure what, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I don't think I want to do another five hours before seeing a shitload of squads. <laughs> we'll try and do something else tomorrow. I enjoyed Alteria, but we didn't get a good run. Maybe we'll do some of that. Maybe we'll see. Anyway, that's enough from me, guys. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. I really, really appreciate it. There's many streamers you can watch. Thank you for choosing to watch me. Hopefully we'll have a better run tomorrow. I'll catch you then. Take it easy. Love you. Bye.